American Comics, Create the Man in Black, Start Interviewing the Three-Body Problem Author, Vice. Chapter 76 Three Plans, Shocking the World, The Men in Black's First Modification to the Move Mountain Project. It almost completely solved the biggest drawback in the mountain moving plan. That is, to give up half of the world's population. 10,000 planetary engines will consume almost all human productivity and resources, and there are still decades of hard work. The space under these engines is also limited, but it needs to accommodate the production and living areas of the entire society. Can't accommodate everyone, because once too many people live in, food, housing, daily necessities, etc. will not be able to be supplied, leading to a collapse. And according to the revised opinions of the men in black organization, if it can be realized dot 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 it means that human beings can still live on the ground. And something like a shield doesn't need to be constructed as complicatedly as a dungeon. Just select an area, frame it, and that's it. In this way, even on the ground, it can still resist severe cold and various harsh environments. Everyone thought that the first amendment to the Yishan project was already very powerful, but the second amendment of the man in black completely collapsed everyone's three views. The second item. The solar system reserve plan. Earth's materials are also limited especially to maintain the operation of the engine and the operation of the deflector shield. Whether it is a planet engine, or it can be used as an ecosystem for 24 hours. Oh no, the deflector shield that has been running continuously for thousands of years requires a lot of energy consumption. According to the previous plan to move mountains, the general population will be discarded and people will live underground. The operation of the engine also requires a large amount of material, which is burned in a heavy nuclear fusion reactor to maintain it. When the earth is where it should be, the surface may have to be hollowed out. Now. Because the population has increased by half, the energy required to maintain the deflector shield has to be doubled. It can't be thousands of years, the earth has no crust, only magma is left. What's the meaning of O2? Therefore, in order to ensure sufficient energy supplies, the mountain moving plan needs to pack up and take away several major planets in the solar system before leaving the solar system. Venus, Saturn, and Jupiter. These planets can guarantee the long distance voyage of the earth, and will not affect the development of civilization due to resource constraints. Speaking of which, some planets appeared on the PPT dot 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 except for Mars, almost all the planets in the solar system except the Sun! Exclamation mark. How is this possible? Seeing this second plan, someone immediately exclaimed, There is no way we can do this! You know, now they are struggling to even take away the Earth, let alone take away other things. The progress of the mountain moving plan is almost one step at a time, and the bumps and bumps take away the others? This is almost hollowing out the solar system. It is impossible for human productivity to achieve this even if it is double tenfold. This is also, even the Chinese representative didn't know how to respond. They were the first to propose the project of moving mountains, which is already a very outrageous plan. However, it is no scientist who has done precise calculations and concluded that human beings can accomplish the most extreme things. It can be said to be the straw that broke the camel's back in the moon belt. How could it be possible to take anything else? This matter dot 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 you don't have to worry. These planets will be packaged by us men in black. Since this plan is proposed, it will definitely not be impossible. Seeing everyone was excited. Kinyan smiled slightly and interjected. Kinyan might not have brought up packing planets before, but now dot 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 it's too easy for the man in black. Seeing Kinyan's confident appearance taking care of such a big matter, everyone looked at each other, and then sat down slowly. Although he seemed to accept Kinyan's words on the surface, the complexity in his heart was almost on his face. After all, this kind of thing is too outrageous. Seeing that everyone was quiet, Jiang Bihai continued, with the first two items as the premise. The third item is that we want to change the final destination of the Earth. As he said that, the PPT turned into a star map with two lines on it, one was long and the other was much shorter. Originally, the destination of the mountain removing project was Proxima Centauri next door dot 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 but now, our destination will become. Jiang Bihai pointed to the end of another straight line on the star map. Kepler, seeing the label of the fixed star system, the originally calm representatives stood up again. Are you crazy? Kepler is nearly 500 light years away from Earth. You know, the reason why they used Proxima Centauri as the final destination before is because Proxima Centauri is very close to the solar system. 4.2 light years away. However, even if it is such a near Proxima Centauri, the Earth will have to sail on the road for 2,500 years. This is undoubtedly a long journey. 2,500 years, nearly three or four hundred generations. This is already a very brave plan. Kepler, 500 light years, according to the current situation, human beings will have to walk on the road for at least 10,000 years. The time consumed by the distance is not a multiple of 500 divided by 4.2. Most of the time is spent on acceleration and deceleration. The longer the distance, the more time you can accelerate, the faster the speed and it takes more time to decelerate, so the time consumption is actually a U-shaped curve with the distance, at least 10,000 years. That's too long. Even the bear representative shook his head constantly. 10,000 years is too long, 
No one knows what will happen in 10,000 years. It's too dark and hopeless for a wandering civilization without a fixed star. Human beings have only entered modern civilization for 200 years. There is also a reason why the destination is Kepler. Jiang Bihai also guessed how far a galaxy 500 light years away is to people today. However, some things must still be said. First of all, Proxima Centauri is a three star system. Very unstable, and at the same time, it is not suitable for human survival. The Earth in Proxima Centauri is like talking about where the furnace goes. It would be better to just float in space without fixed star with. Jiang Bihai took out the materials of Proxima Centauri, including some actual photos, from the three-body civilization. Seeing the harsh environment of those planets, everyone just thought dot 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 this CG is really real. You may think, in 2500 years, the Earth's technology should be able to develop enough for human beings to adapt to the environment of Proxima Centauri. Jiang Bihai asked rhetorically. Everyone nodded, especially the Chinese representatives. They agreed very much. The Chinese believe in blood and descendants very much. They believe that their descendants can be like themselves in the future, overcome all kinds of difficulties, face up to difficulties, and continue civilization. Then unless you can become a civilization of level 3 or higher in a short period of time... Dot 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 the environment of Proxima Centauri is not something that low-level civilizations can forcefully adapt to. Having said that, Jiang Bihai switched to another long slideshow. This is a creature similar to Jelly, with two forms, one with only a layer of skin left, and the other looks much plumper, but still looks very strange. This is the native life of Proxima Centauri... Dot 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 they call themselves Drisolarans which means that there are three fixed stars in their home galaxy, question mark. Wait, what do you mean, Proxima Centauri dot 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 as aliens? Jiang Bihai's words inadvertently startled everyone. Definitely. Moreover, the civilization of the Trisolarans has reached the apex of the second level civilization. Even so, they cannot continue to survive in the mother galaxy. We have had contact with them before, and now we have even more close cooperation. Although this was something from another world, Jiang Bihai didn't blush at all when he said it. Kinyan snickered aside. The selection of Jiang Bihai is indeed correct, this person is bragging. Oh no, when it comes to things. He has a thicker skin than himself. Part of the base we built on Mars is the technology of the Trisolarans, and even many Trisolarans are still working for the men in black. If you are curious, we can actually bring Trisolarans to meet you some other day. Jiang Bihai pretended very well, and even proposed to bring the Trisolarans to meet, which made them very excited. Real? Even if the people present are all people who have experienced countless storms. But aliens, I have never seen them in my life. And this alien is still from the fixed star system so close. It is definitely true that the duty of the men in black is to contact the third type of life. Is it strange that there are aliens? Jiang Bihai asked back with a puzzled expression. That look is just unbelievable. Even Kin Yun, watching from the sidelines, felt the urge to give him two punches. But I have to say that Jiang Bihai's performance really satisfied Kin Yun. Perfectly localized the organization inadvertently, even without telling a single lie. It is natural to make people think that the man in black and the three-body man are both from the local universe. This is also Kin Yun's request. In this world, he didn't want to expose the information that the man in black came from another universe for a short time. Because, he still wants to do things in this world, he is afraid that he will encounter some difficult problems or a high-level civilization that is too powerful for him to follow the vines to find the door link of a dimension. Therefore, he wants to hang his skin on the earth and give himself a way out. Three-body people, Proxima Centauri Level 2 Civilization. In the short talk of less than half an hour, the information revealed by Jiang Bihai during the performance was almost exhausting, difficult to digest. They all looked at Jiang Bihai and Kin Yun with strange faces. This organization of men in black dot 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 is really awesome. Under the eyes of so many big countries, no one knows the existence of men in black. They have even had in-depth exchanges with aliens and some people are working for the men in black. They are the upper echelons of humanity. What a shame. I don't know at all. So, Proxima Centauri is not a suitable place for Earth. Kepler would be a little better. What's more, the distance you are worried about is so long. After you have the resources of the entire solar system, is this still a problem? Moreover, with the protection of the 593 deflector shield, the structure of the planet's engine will be unprecedentedly stable and you can even use the deflector shield technology on the propeller. Going to Kepler may even take less time than going to Proxima Centauri. Coupled with the technological progress in the process, with such sufficient resources, hundreds of years are enough? Question mark. I heard that it only takes a few hundred years to get to Kepler. Several people were stunned. Hundreds of years. Can deflector shields be used on thrusters? Definitely. Maybe faster is also possible. Why do you say that the deflector shield technology is the most powerful core technology of low-level civilization? It is because force fields can be used in too many places for low-level civilizations. Under the cover of the force field, even the material of the object will change. Similar to enchantment. Without force field protection, the power of the planet's engine cannot be too high. Not because the reactor cannot output such a large power, but because the material cannot bear that kind of thrust, 
and the earth's crust cannot withstand it and is easily broken. Huge amounts of engines originally have to bear huge recoil forces. Why build a dungeon under the planet engine? It is because the foundation of the engine is very deep and very strong, and the dungeon is only convenient where the foundation is matched. If the deflector shield can be covered on the main keel of the engine, and derived to the crustal plate, the power of the engine can almost be output to the limit under this kind of protection. It is no problem to double it. Trisolaran's mothership is also very huge, but because it is not nuclear fusion, but antimatter, it does not have the pure power of this kind of fusion engine. Therefore, maybe after the deflector shield becomes popular, it is possible that the Earth will fly faster than the Trisolaran fleet. This is the difference between different technologies. Definitely, going faster also consumes more energy. According to normal expectations, if it is really necessary to fly to Kepler within a thousand years, the engine may have to burn a Jupiter to complete. Definitely, another reason to choose Kepler is, we men in black are going to find the black hand behind the destruction of the sun. This movement may be a bit big, and it may attract other more powerful advanced civilizations in hundreds of thousands of years. Proxima Centauri is too close. In order to prevent the Earth from being discovered by other civilizations, Kepler's distance is just right. Still haven't gotten over the shock of having aliens next door. Jang Bihai's words in the next round almost caused their hearts to stop suddenly. The man behind the destruction of the sun. The man in black wants to take the initiative to find it. Chapter 77 Physical Body Anti-Nuclear Bomb Scare Countries In fact, one of the reasons why they can now sit down and talk with the unofficial men in black organization. It is because of the helium flash of the sun that they also believe that there may really be a certain advanced civilization behind the scenes. But, believe it or not, they didn't intend to do anything from the very beginning, they just wanted to survive and run away. After all, human beings are no match for the enemy that can destroy the sun. It's good to be able to run. The man in black wants to find the mastermind behind the scenes. What is he planning to do, right? This is too brave. You can't do this dot 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 in case you annoy each other. We. The representative of Mifang twisted his face, worrying about Zhao. The civilization that originally destroyed the solar system may just want to destroy the sun secretly, and do it at will. But what Qin Yan meant was to prepare for a while, so how about knowing who it is? Don't you know that the earth is saving itself? What if you are bearing the earth? This time, before Jiang Bihai said anything, Qin Yan snorted coldly. How to get along with the third type of life is the business of us people in black. As for your task, it is to protect yourself. Running away is enough. The men in black don't need anyone else to teach us how to do it. Whatever you think, that's our plan. Whether you agree or not, this is our responsibility. If you think you can interfere with our decision, then you can try. Kin Yan didn't even have to guess what the Mifang representative thought. He knows the way of thinking of the people of the United States all too well. It's nothing more than not wanting to take risks, thinking that if the man in black offends someone who doesn't dare to offend, wouldn't it hurt the earth? The Chinese representative pondered for a long time and finally nodded seriously. In principle, we agree with the plan of the man in black. Although I don't know what you are going to do with the man behind the destruction of the sun. But, after all, people are already riding on our heads. They have already committed the evil act of destroying the sun, so we are not friends, but enemies. Enemies, we must deal with them in the same way as enemies. It's such a joy to have friends coming from afar, but if it's a bad guest, you have to treat them with sticks. The Chinese representative's speech was full of domineering, even if it was an unknown enemy it still did not show the slightest weakness. So, to deal with them, we must not back down, and that's what we need to do. We will fight side by side with the men in black organization. The Chinese representatives could see that the man in black wanted a greeting to the man behind the scenes, and this greeting did not seem like a friendly way to get along. This is obviously a fight. Since it was a fight, and it was because the opponent chose to attack humans, the opponent also wanted to participate. That's not necessary. Hearing the Chinese side's look of wanting to go out to fight with him, Qin Yan felt a warm feeling in his heart. Even if you think about it with your feet, you know the strength of the enemy, but you still dare to take the gun. Maybe this is the blood of the Chinese? In the revised plan, there are still many details to be done, which cannot be separated from China's productivity. What you need to do is to put all your energy on the earth and let civilization continue. As for the rest, we will do it ourselves. When the Chinese heard that the men in black didn't want them to participate, they frowned. However, this should be a war, a fierce battle. Without the support of the country and the public, you are alone and helpless. According to Qin Yun, they will complete the project in a short time and take the earth with them. And the men in black stay in the solar system to draw out enemies. He doesn't know exactly what the man in black is going to do, but just analyzing it from the tactical level. This doesn't look like a fight at all, but a break. That's right, from his point of view. A civilization that can destroy the solar system is definitely very powerful. It is impossible for the whole Earth to beat it. Even if the organization of the men in black is mysterious and powerful, it is still a member of mankind after all, based on human civilization. How did it survive? So, isn't the meaning of the men in black organization to let the Earth run first, 
and then they stay to attract the other party's attention? After all, if there is no one to stop and attract the enemy, the earth may still be discovered and chased to destruction. The reason why he thinks this way is because Chinese people will do this. The bravest fighters and top talents tend to take on more responsibilities, leaving the chance of life to the general public. The responsibility lies. This is our business. You don't need to think about this issue. And, behind me, there is more than one person. After all, the men in black are a large organization. Kinyan believes that the organization now has the ability to deal with some difficult enemies. Kinyan is not afraid of civilization below the medium level. However, what Kinyan said once again confirmed the thoughts of the Chinese representatives. Behind him, there is not only one person. This is a group. A group that, at critical moments, used their lives to make human beings continue to flee, and stayed behind to die with honor. The Chinese representatives don't know how many people there are in the men in black organization and when it was established dot 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 but they can stand up in this crisis and choose to die for everyone dot 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 there is no doubt. This is a group of brave people. A. He silently straightened his somewhat rickety back. He saluted Kinyan with a military salute. Everything you have done, mankind will always remember. Kinyan was a little confused when he saw the military salute of the Chinese representative. Huh? Why is this suddenly so respectful? He never expected that the image of the men in black organization would change from a mysterious private organization to a group of great comrades ready to sacrifice for the world in the hearts of the Chinese representatives. Zhang Bihai smiled slightly when he saw the actions of the Chinese representative on the stage. Compared with Qin Yun, he can understand the thoughts of the Chinese representatives better because he is also such a person. This kind of misunderstanding may be a good thing, and it can better allow the men in black to carry out their work. However, just when the atmosphere among the few people became somewhat tragic, Representative Mao Xung whispered with several other representatives, and finally Representative Mao Xung coughed and said, Your plan is indeed very grand, even several times more exaggerated than China's plan to move mountains... But the investment will also increase a lot. Basically, the productivity of all the countries and people on the earth must be invested. Once this plan is started, the economy will definitely collapse. Hearing this, Representative Yu Fang exploded instantly, picking up his own crutches. He pointed at the noses of the people opposite and started cursing. You still have the face to talk about the economy. The world is about to perish. Don't use all your strength to ensure the survival of mankind. Still talking about economics. What's the use of economy when the world is gone? A bunch of stupid dogs. The Chinese representative is so angry, because the reason why the mountain Yashan project is progressing so slowly is because a lot of capital world is holding back. For some capital predators. The end of the world will be a hundred years later, and they will not be alive at that time. I earn so much money in this life and put it all into saving the world for free. Why not keep it and enjoy it? There are many people who have this idea. Basically, rich capital predators think this way. Because if they don't carry out these plans, they can enjoy life beautifully. But if they carry out, they have to pay... Why do I have so much money? And if I don't enjoy life, it will be spent in a future that I can't see in a hundred years. Isn't this nothing to look for? Facing the scolding by the Chinese representatives, many people showed shame on their faces. Most of the people present are still inclined to save the world. But they are not the only ones who have the final say in the country, and they are not as cohesive as the Chinese people. Cough representative Mao Xun coughed again, and then said, I don't need to mention economic matters. If the plan is feasible, we will continue to do it even if we don't care about the economy. After all, saving the earth is the most important thing at present, and it must be the first priority. Hearing these words, the Chinese representative breathed a sigh of relief, slowly sat down. This kind of attitude is what a high-level person should have. But, the crux of the matter is that we don't know if this plan will come to fruition. Everyone looked at the PPT next to Jiang Bihai. This plan is too exaggerated, and there are many technical problems to be solved. Do we really have the ability to complete it? Just think about the ecological circle mentioned here, the deflector shield technology. Does this thing really exist? These are all empty plans. Hee <laughs> hee, technical problems. No matter what you do, there are technical problems. If you don't solve the problem, it will be fine. If you don't do it, how do you know it can't be done? Wherever the sun is placed, it will become better by itself. Wherever the earth is placed, it will run away by itself. Hearing this, the Chinese representative ridiculed again. Qin Yun smiled slightly, and gently put his hand on the shoulder of the Chinese representative. Don't worry, sit down and talk slowly. After pressing the Chinese representative on the seat, Qin Yun looked around and found out everyone's eyes were on him. Then, a straw white pistol suddenly appeared in his hand, and without any hesitation, he shot Zhang Bihai. Build. A sharp sound flashed. And then, a light spot shot out from the muscle of the gun. It hit Jiang Bihai's body. Jiang Bihai was taken aback, and subconsciously wanted to escape. But, he ran faster than the speed of light, and was hit almost as soon as he saw the light. At the same time, a ripple appeared in the place of the junior high school. It was as if a stone had fallen into a pond. A certain point of light slowly dissipated in the middle of the ripple's gun. Seeing Kinyan shoot suddenly, 
Even if it was aimed at the person Kinyun himself brought, he couldn't help but get nervous. After shooting Jiang Bi Hai, Kinyun fired three shots at the ceiling without any hesitation. Biu Biu Biu. Then dot 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 under the shocked eyes of everyone, three holes were broken in the ceiling. Countless gases formed a white mist and dispersed. After a few seconds, the white mist dissipated, and except for the small hole, there were hardly any traces of damage. It seems that a tough knife edge has been cut on the tofu. The B-32 shaped laser gun has a maximum temperature of 30 million degrees at the converging point, which can melt almost all substances. Kinyan introduced the laser in his hand, standard for men in black. This scene made everyone take a deep breath. Some even stood up boldly, walked to the bottom of the cave, glanced up, and saw the sky. Apostrophe what the hell? This scene almost made him stare out his eyes. You know, the conference room. On the eighth floor. And this building dot 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 has more than fifty floors. That is to say, Kinyun's shot just now pierced through the entire floor. Forty floors were pierced through without any effort. Moreover, this building is not an ordinary building, but a tactical meeting building of the United Nations. The security is extremely high, basically every floor has protective armor in the floor, in order to prevent being attacked. Even if the missile hits it, it will blow up seven or eight floors at most. Such a small gun directly pierced forty floors and hit the sky. Don't worry, I've calculated, I can't hit anyone. The timing and angle of Kin Yun's shooting were also carefully calculated with the help of Sofen, which ensured that no one would be hit even if he penetrated through so many layers. Just when everyone was shocked, Jiang Bihai on the side complained helplessly, Boss, can you tell me in advance next time you shoot? I'm going to be scared to death by you. Just now Jiang Bihai was really frightened. He has also played with a standard gun in Kin Yun's hand and he fully knows the power of that gun. If this is really a shot without protection, people will die on the spot. Hearing Jiang Bihai's words, the crowd reacted. At that time, Kin Yun's first shot seemed to hit him. You, are you okay? Someone rushed up and looked at Jiang Bihai, then at the ceiling, then at Jiang Bihai, and then at the ceiling, looking back and forth repeatedly. You can't hide the disbelief in your eyes. He is equipped with a portable deflector force field shield, which can withstand almost all attacks on the earth today, including small yield nuclear bombs. As he said that, Kin Yun fired two more shots at Jiang Bihai, scaring the people around him to take a few steps back. However, all attacks were blocked by an invisible transparent ripple on his body. Before departure, in order to protect Jiang Bihai's safety, Kin Yun lent Jiang Bihai the protective wristwatch he bought at the system store. After all, Jiang Zhao came here with his real body, and he himself was controlled by the T-1000 remote control. He didn't want any accidents to happen to Jiang Bihai. He was a very useful agent. Miniature deflector shield can resist nuclear bombs. See the effect of the shield, and the ripples visible to the naked eye. Nothing is more convincing than this. The deflector shield technology. It is actually true. Besides, has it been applied so maturely? The power is also far beyond everyone's expectations. Can withstand such a powerful attack. It is simply invincible. If only everyone had a. However, this is our special internal product which belongs to the pinnacle of a third level civilization. The deflector shield technology we gave you is a second level. It can't be so small and still have this power. Although the man in black has analyzed the technology of the deflector shield, he can't make the current individual portable shield purchased from the system store. The technology still needs to continue to iterate. Up to now, there is still only one Kinyan watch with more than 1000 watches, and I am reluctant to spend money to buy more. What's the difference? Someone already looked at Jiang Bihai with bright eyes and asked. The second level deflector shield. There is no way to make it portable, but as long as the volume is large enough, the power can be similar. And it can't wrap organisms, it can't achieve breathability and material exchange, it can only wrap non-living organisms, that is, it is airtight. If you can make a planetary engine as big as it is, it can even wrap the entire Earth and use it as a planetary shield. But it's not necessary. It consumes a lot of energy, and the internal oxygen and heat supply is also laborious. Kinyan briefly explained the difference between the two levels of deflector shields. However, his words made everyone's eyes shine. How could it be unnecessary? Exclamation mark. This is a shield covering the whole world. If there is really one, the Earth, wouldn't it become a battleship? Or the kind that can resist nuclear bombs 24 hours a day? Chapter 78 Attack Alert Diplomacy is no small matter Taking the Earth on a long voyage In fact, the most important issue is the strength of the Earth Strictly speaking, the Earth is a planet with a low density The structure of the Earth's crust is also unstable Push it up, and all kinds of disasters are prone to happen Also, the speed is very fast when sailing And you will definitely encounter small planets and the like along the way In the case of one party accelerating If there is a fish that slips through the net and is not intercepted It will be devastating to the Earth but this deflector shield, if it is really a shield that can cover the whole world, doesn't it mean that it is equivalent to installing a solid shell for the earth? If you encounter something, just hit it. What else to intercept? Brainless. The protection level and safety of the earth, I don't know how many levels are higher. As for the biosphere, 
It is actually very easy to solve, only need to build two shells. One large shell does not provide life support equipment, and there are countless small shells that provide life support equipment for people to survive. For a while, everyone subconsciously began to plan the details of the modification plan proposed by Kin Yun. Jiang Bihai and Kin Yun looked at each other, and they both saw smiles in each other's eyes. Sure enough, seeing is believing, hearing is believing. No matter how good the PPT is, it will not be as shocking as this shot. That's not right. The second level is airtight. The particle flow of the engine can't be launched into outer space, and there is no thrust. You can make an extension pipe outside the atmosphere, arrange the shield shape along the pipe, and expose the propeller port. Isn't that all right? Do you know how many nozzles reach the engine and how high it is? I don't know how much construction costs such a large pipeline will cost. What cost are you considering at this time? Didn't they all say that they want to move other planets in the solar system? Use those resources to build. Speaking of this, all eyes were on Jiang Bihai and Kin Yun for a moment. In the plan they proposed, there are two very important technical points. The first was the deflector shield, and now, they've seen it. For real. If this kind of black technology is true, what the men in black said, they will pack up other planets in a short time. Maybe it is possible. That picture is so beautiful. What we said, we will do. While Kin Yun was speaking, Jiang Bihai also took out a USB flash drive and said, here are the technical catalogs and technical rules of the deflector shield that we wrote together with Tri Solaran. With that said, Jiang Bihai carefully handed over the USB flash drive to the Chinese representative. For a moment, everyone looked straight at the USB flash drive. Ah! Why is it for him? The Chinese representative saw that such an important thing was entrusted to him, so he quickly kicked it into his pocket 193 very naturally. The Chinese side has the highest ability to execute the plan, and the productivity aspect is also the most reassuring for our organization. I believe that only the Chinese side as the leader of the plan can allow us to achieve the expected goals. There is also a reason why Kin Yun handed over the USB flash drive to the Chinese representative. Xu said it was worth money and it was worth money, but Yun actually didn't think much of it. However, after all, it is for them to use, and it must be for the most suitable people. Giving something to China must be used to save the earth. Dot 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 to others? If it was given to Mi Fang, maybe they will continue to use it to build some kind of Arkansas. After all, the Ark with a partial shield seems to be more in line with people's understanding of spaceships. This is what Kin Yun is not happy to see. In the world of wandering earth, the most worthy of help and salvation is the civilization of the world under the leadership of China. If you really say 123, in fact, most people just make up the number. Dot. Just when everyone was still about to say something, suddenly, a loud siren rang through everyone's ears. Woo tilde. What's the situation? Is this an attack alert? Are we under attack? When the Chinese representative heard the voice, he thought for a while, but his eyes lit up. Something must have happened. The meeting is going on tomorrow. As he spoke, he pulled Kin Yan and ran towards the door of the conference room. Sir, please follow me. I will protect you. Jiang Bihai also hurriedly followed. The others were also a little flustered and hurriedly called and asked. For a while, the originally stable meeting room became a mess. The Chinese representative reacted quickly, and disappeared with Kin Yun and Jiang Bihai almost immediately after the alarm sounded. Wait dot 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 assault siren. It's not about the three holes, is it? The representatives from the Mi side suddenly became smarter, because their leaders were often attacked. So the reaction is faster than others. When everyone heard this, they all put down their hands and looked at the three holes in the ceiling that lead directly to the top floor. Then, almost at the same time, foul language began to explode. FK. This is F King. Where are the Chinese? Exclamation mark. And the man in black? MTFK. This old six. Take people away. Depend on. And when the people in the conference room are full of foul words. Kin Yun and Jiang Bihai had already entered the elevator surrounded by the Chinese. When the elevator door closed, a ch the Chinese representative burst out laughing. I didn't expect such an interesting thing to happen in this building. It reminds me of when I was a kid, playing football and breaking the next door neighbor's window and running away. Kin Yun also smiled slightly. I have to say, are you putting children's means on diplomacy? The Chinese representative quickly said, means it doesn't matter whether you are an adult or a child, as long as it is easy to use. It's just that I didn't expect that you would directly hand over such an important thing to me, and you trust me so much. He patted the pocket with a U disc in it feeling a little emotional. It's an amazing feeling, coming from the trust of an almost stranger. Sooner or later, things will be used. As for who to give them to, who to trust. What I trust is not you, but the country behind you. Hearing this, the Chinese representative not only didn't lose heart, but straightened up his waist, and said with some pride, then I should be really proud of my country. Re-understand, I believe in Zhu. You can call me Lao Zhu. The two reached out and shook hands again. My surname is Kin. You should call me Agent Q. I understand. Lao Zhu made a knowing expression. Then he pointed to a girl next to him and said, This is Hak Xioxi, 
You can call her Xioxi dot 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 my secretary. Kin Yun looked at the girl beside him with some surprise. The girl is wearing a professional attire, and she is well organized, but she still feels that the internal materials are very good from this formal attire. She is also very pretty. Kin Yun thought this girl was some kind of nurse bodyguard or something. No way. People always have a misunderstanding of good-looking girls, thinking that they are a flower screen. After all, in the Chinese job structure, high-level secretaries are almost equivalent to successors. With Lao Tzu's status... Dot 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 his successor is so young. Moreover, being able to introduce herself on such a formal occasion without forgetting to introduce her shows that Lao Tzu still values this Xioxi very much. Pretty young. Ha ha ha. The world is always going to be handed over to young people. I may not see how this plan will end up. I'm getting old. Dot dot dot. It will always be you young people who will finally step into the starry sky. What I can do is to lay a good foundation and pave the way for young people and future generations. As for how to go, Lao Tzu shook his head with some emotion. This huge plan also consumes a lot of time. At his age, he probably won't see the end of the plan. When Xioxi heard the voice, she shook her head. Mr. Zhu. Dot dot dot. You will definitely see that day, and we will all work hard for it. Lao Tzu didn't speak but just patted Xioxi on the shoulder. Kin Yun was a little emotional. This is the handover of generations of human beings, and this is how civilization continues, especially with what humans in this world are doing right now. It's really amazing to be able to start, to be honest. After all, the final crisis will not occur until a hundred years later. A hundred years. Few of this generation in the entire world can survive. The so-called dead birds are up to the sky, and they will not die for tens of thousands of years. If they are all dead, let them be flooded, but there will still be a generation of people who choose to work hard for the next generation, even if they have to dedicate their lives and see no hope. Perhaps, this is also the spirit and shining point of human civilization? Kin Yun is different, he may be able to live for a long time, and he will see countless scenes like this when he is sleepy. Old Zhu, you will definitely see that day, I promise. Kin Yun smiled. He is not prepared to let the earth take so many years. It may be a bit difficult for Lao Tzu to pick a pick tilde. Hearing this, Old Zhu was taken aback for a moment and then burst out laughing. Okay Agent Q, I believe you. If I don't believe you, why would I take you away? Hearing this, Kin Yun rolled his eyes. Needless to say, the reason why Lao Tzu took himself on the road, isn't it because he wants to win a first move, a day? Come on, you want to be the first to take the deflector shield technology into your hands? Hate to tell you the truth, this technology is so good that it was almost born for the project of moving mountains. Although it will be made public sooner or later, it is always good to research and apply it in advance. In such a big era, Self-preservation in terms of technology will definitely not work. After all, only global cooperation can escape the solar crisis. This is also the reason why although Lao Tzu took Kin Yun away and other people in the meeting room scolded him, he didn't do anything. However dot 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 one step ahead also has advantages. At least one can understand the general outline of this technology first, and take more initiative in future production and construction planning. I still have some things to deal with dot 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 let Xioxi take you for a walk first to see dot 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 this world. What Lao Tzu thinks is that the world may look different in the future. As an old man, he still misses the blue sky and white clouds. However, Kin Yun got it wrong dot 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 look at this world. Could it be that they guessed that they are not from this world? Can you guess this? Subconsciously glanced at Jiang Bihai, Jiang Bihai shook his head and gave Kin Yun a reassuring look. From his point of view, no matter whether it is Lao Tzu or anyone else, it is completely impossible to guess their origins. Kin Yun nodded, and also chose to trust Jiang Bihai's judgment. The elevator door opened, and Lao Tzu left with a few people, leaving only Xioxi standing aside. Agent Q, Agent Z... Dot 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 please? He stretched out his hand to signal the two to follow. What Kin Yun didn't expect was that Xioxi took them out of the building and walked towards the seaside. Many people can be seen running nervously on the road. The siren has been withdrawn, but people who don't know the truth still think that the building has really been attacked. Seemingly aware of Kin Yun's gaze, Xioxi smiled and said, Since the space elevator was destroyed by an attack last time, Everyone is indeed a little nervous. Dot 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 but don't worry, someone will explain all this and won't expose you. Kin Yun nodded. I'm not worried that the guy who attacked the space elevator got caught. When the earth is in such peril, is there anyone else who does this kind of thing? To be honest, this disgusted Kin Yun very much. There's always someone holding you back when you're doing big things. However, the biggest reason why Kin Yun paid more attention to the space elevator attack was because Kin Yun was afraid that these people would delay his plan. Kin Yun will be very angry if several attacks in the future disrupt the construction progress. No, Xioxi shook her head. So far we haven't found the culprits. Dot 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 they are very mysterious. As she spoke, Xioxi looked at Kin Yun curiously. In fact, in this world, there are not many mysterious organizations like Kin Yun and the others. This is why it is easy to gain trust after the appearance of the man in black. The crisis of the earth will lead to the differentiation of countless groups within human beings, some yearning for the good side, and some wanting to make things worse or destroying them.
There is no doubt that Kinyun's organization is looking forward to the good side. However, this kind of mysterious organization has different strengths, some are strong and some are weak. But they are all hidden under the human society. Like the man in black, he went directly to Mars to build a base, and did not hang out on the Earth. To be honest, this is the first time Xioxi has seen it. Thinking of this, Xioxi stood by the sea, looked at the distant scenery, and asked curiously, Hasn't it been a long time since I saw such a scene? Hearing Xioxi's words from the side, Jiang Bihai narrowed his eyes instantly. You are indeed Laozu's secretary. You speak so well. This simple sentence, but asked a lot of things. Seaside, long time no see. Whether Kin Yun says yes or no, can reveal a lot of information. If yes, it means that the people in black still often return to the earth, and even live on the earth, and the Mars base may be used for other purposes. To put it another way, explain the second. The places where the men in black are located are closer to the sea. If you say no. It means that the man in black has a high probability of putting all the main personnel on Mars, and will not return to Earth for a long time. Even if this is not the case, it means that on Earth, the men in black may live in the outback. This information is very useful for them to analyze the organization of the men in black. Thinking of this, Jiang Bihai quickened his pace, pretending to touch Kin Yun's arm inadvertently. Kin Yun didn't think much about it at first, and was just about to answer when he felt Jiang Bihai's touch, and swallowed the words abruptly. Guys, is this the start of a confrontation? Only then did Kin Yun realize that Xioxi was talking nonsense. Mada is indeed a beautiful woman with a heavy heart. Diplomacy is no small matter. Jiang Bihai, you and Xioxi have a chat first, I'll get back to you. Kin Yun picked up an old-fashioned communicator dot 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 the mobile phone, ready to hand over everything to Jiang Bihai. This is also the reason why he brought Jiang Bihai here. Old Yu Tiao, you should play with Lao Yu Tiao. As your own boss, it is better to control the general direction. Okay. Boss. Jiang Bihai stepped forward and inserted himself between Xioxi and Kin Yun. Xioxi was also stunned. She didn't expect Kin Yun to be busy without saying a word, but he still smiled and said, Work is important, Detective Q. You are busy first. Talking with Jiang Bihai should be the same. Maybe it's better to talk? After all, Jiang Bihai is the younger brother, and I can be considered as the younger brother of Zilao. The younger brother and the younger brother should communicate better. However, for some reason, Xioxi always felt a bad premonition when she saw Jiang Bihai's simple and honest smile. Dot. Chapter 79 Terrifying Computing Power Almost like a god. However, after only a few minutes, Xioxi, who had been smiling all over her face, had already started to smile. You can even feel the stiffness on her face. The brief exchange between the two of them can almost be described as hell. For example, Xioxi asked, Agent Z. You should be about the same age as me. How long have you been working? She wanted to know how long Jiang Bihai and the others had worked with the men in black, so as to analyze whether the members of the men in black's organization were recruited from the society or cultivated secretly by themselves. However, how did you answer Jiang Bihai? I can't remember exactly how long it was, but it must have been a long time since I joined the Space Force in 2008, right? 2008. Space Force. Xioxi only felt that Jiang Bihai seemed to reveal something but it seemed to be nonsense. You know it will be 2070 soon. You started working in 2008 now you are in your 80s or 90s. No matter how you look at it, it looks like a person in his 80s or 90s. But he didn't know that what Jiang Bihai was talking about was a date from another earth. For another example, Xioxi asked, this portable shield on your body looks very powerful. Does each of your agents have one? That's not true, only I have it now. Oh? Is it because the technology is difficult? The smaller things are more difficult to make. This is known to all technical people. Not to mention that although the portable shield is small, according to Kin Yun, the power ratio is even higher than the large one. I don't know how many times. The third level and second level shield technology dot 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 the men in black have it, but they are only given the second level. Therefore, they really want to know if it is possible to get the best of the third level, even if the cost is high. Originally, this was just a simple temptation. But what did Jiang Bihai say? His answer left Xioxi speechless. The technology is not difficult. But all of them are not equipped, because I am the weakest in the whole bureau. Other agents can resist nuclear bombs and are not afraid of danger. There is a magician who can tear open the space with his bare hands, stepping on thousands of light years, and another who can run at the speed of light, and nothing can hit him. I equipped this just to protect my safety. Kin Yun introduced other members to Jiang Bihai, and Jiang Bihai also had some understanding of Wandu Ancient One Quicksilver and the others. Knowing the potential of these people, Jiang Bihai seemed very innocent. But are these words human? Tear open space with bare hands? Exclamation mark. Running out of light speed? Xioxi only felt that Jiang Bihai was running the train with his mouth full. Why don't you say that you can destroy the universe with just one snap of your fingers? Jiang Bihai's words were true and false, and they were spoken very seriously, as if they were true. Instead, Xioxi only felt a headache. Can't we have a good chat? Cough cough cough. Agent Z joked. Ha ha ha. 
You really have a sense of humor, Xioxi said awkwardly. Sense of humor? Boss always says I'm too straight, but you're the first one to say I'm humorous. Jiang Bihai seemed very happy when he heard the compliment. Xioxi. Qin Yun was playing with his mobile phone at the side, but his attention was on the two of them. Listening to the conversation between the two, I almost didn't laugh out loud. Jiang Bihai is really a talent. There is not a single lie in his mouth. But when these things come out of his mouth, it makes people feel like they are talking nonsense. Is this the art of conversation? Seeing Xioxi like this, she probably won't want to say anything again, right? Agent Q, do you want me to show you around? Xioxi gave up completely, and was not going to deal with Jiang Bihai anymore. This person is simply not good at anything, and does not leak at all. Seeing that Kin Yun had already put his phone in his pocket, he thought it would be interesting to chat with Kin Yun. Wait tilde. However, Kin Yun stretched out his hand to signal, and then looked at the road beside him with interest. The road is very close to their beach, which is less than 5 meters away. I don't know when it started, but the road that was a little deserted started to become lively. This road, usually there aren't so many cars? Kin Yun suddenly looked at Xioxi and asked. Yes, because this is near the United Nations building. The street next door is actually a very wide 8 lane street, which diverts all the nearby traffic, and most people will not take this small road. Xioxi was asked by Kin Yun and subconsciously replied. Kin Yun nodded thoughtfully. What's the situation? It's looking at Kin Yun's expression. Xioxi also sensed something was wrong, and her expression changed. Could it be that dot 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 someone is really going to attack here? Thinking of the recent series of attacks, Xioxi dare not be careless. Hastily pressed down on his earphone, and then said, Attention the security team, we, wait, don't worry. Kin Yun interrupted Xioxi's behavior. Actually, this matter is quite interesting. As he spoke, Kin Yun pointed to the street on the right. In the block 300 away from us, on the road with the most traffic, a serial car accident happened seven minutes ago. A white cargo truck lost control in the automatic driving lane, broke through the railing and hit 19 normal cars one after another. One of them was loaded with a foam building. Kin Yun's eyes seemed to see through countless buildings, as if he was standing at the scene of a car accident. The self-foaming building material vehicle happened to hit a fire truck filled with water, and it expanded when it met the water blocking the entire road. That kind of building material belongs to the world that has been researched for the construction of various giant structures. It can expand rapidly after encountering water, and it can be shaped. The self-foaming material of the truck can block the entire lane of the platform. Is that why there are so many cars here? Hearing Kinyan's explanation, Xioxi heaved a sigh of relief and put her hands off her ears. If it was just caused by an ordinary car accident, it would be acceptable. Kinyan shook his head. This is just the beginning. The automated road squad arrived at the scene three minutes ago and checked the autopilot chip of the car that was out of control. The chip caused a breakdown due to overload, which was characterized as a natural accident caused by an electronic device error. Kinyan recounted the scene almost verbatim. You know this as well? Xioxi was stunned. The autopilot troubleshooting team had just checked the scene. How did Kinyan know? He was standing here just now and didn't see anything at the scene. How come it's as if he saw it with his own eyes? Speaking of this, Kinyan pointed to a red off-road vehicle at the end of the road. This car had an accident a month ago. Although it was repaired, the suspension angle was offset by 0.4 degrees. Jiang Bihai and Xioxi also turned their gazes to an off-road vehicle that was waiting for Ed on the side of the road, about a hundred meters away from them. The owner of the car is a person who likes to drive by himself. He rarely uses automatic driving. People who like off-roading always have some minor problems with the car, and he doesn't care about it. After all, he usually goes to various places. He was going to the repair shop today to do a new wheel alignment. But last night, he drank with seven beauties until the early hours of the morning, so he activated the autopilot for an unprecedented time, and at the moment he was screaming in the car sleep. 1. Xioxi? What exactly are you going to say? Xioxi was in a daze at the moment. Kin Yun's sudden topic made her at a loss, how did she start talking about it? Kin Yun smiled slightly and continued, on that road just now, the automatic driving judged that it could not pass, so I chose this road, but when the vehicle left, the left front wheel was stained with a small piece of self-foaming glue of about tens of grams, because his suspension angle was offset, and the autopilot hadn't been driven for a long time, it wasn't calibrated, so, after 12 seconds, he would press on the curb, close to the sidewalk, under Kin Yun's explanation, the red off-road vehicle began to move slowly. Surprisingly, after walking for a while, the car actually began to tilt to the right, getting closer and closer to the sidewalk. Question mark Xioxi looked at Kin Yun's look of a prophet, although he didn't know why he said these things. But it feels really awesome. Later, the cup of coffee will be spilled on the ground, and it will be crushed by the self-foaming wheel. Coffee? What coffee? Xioxi fixed her eyes on the red off-road vehicle and then stared at Xioxi in surprise. The off-road vehicle really touched the curb. The time is also a full 12 seconds. After feeling the scratch, the automatic driving also started to calibrate. Angle offset detected. Calibrating. Subsequently, 
the off-road vehicle is ready to return to the correct lane as soon as the direction is hit. However, when the vehicle rubbed against the curb, a pedestrian happened to pass by with a cup of milk tea, and was taken aback by the movement of the vehicle. Damn it, your sister. Can you drive? Why are you driving on the sidewalk? You don't have eyes. FK. However, looking through the window, there was no driver. He actually scolded even more fiercely. FK. It's AI again. Bunch of idiots. As he said that, he threw the coffee he just bought and hadn't taken a couple of sips towards the red off-road vehicle. The coffee spilled on the wheels of the off-road vehicle and flowed down. As the wheels turned, soon, I touched a lump of self-foaming glue that was stained on the previous highway. Question mark. The scene in front of me was actually predicted by Kin Yun. Before Xioxi was surprised, Kin Yun continued. Five seconds later, the styrofoam will absorb water and suddenly expand, hit the car, and then the dump truck will lose control. Five seconds is very short. It is exactly the time for the foaming agent to take effect. Before anyone could react, the red off-road vehicle suddenly slanted on the spot, and then directly hit a dump truck. Zero dot 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 asking for flowers. FK. The driver of the dump truck did not expect that he was driving normally and someone could hit him from the side like this. Hastily turned the steering wheel. Tear. What? Everything that happened before my eyes was really too fast. In the blink of an eye, the red off-road vehicle lost control and the dump truck headed sideways. Then, under the horrified eyes of Xioxi and his group, the huge amounts of dump truck rushed towards them in a daze. Not good. Get out of the way. Xioxi was startled, and was about to drag Kin Yun to hide aside. However, it didn't pull. I saw Kin Yun continue to look at the dump truck calmly as if the huge amounts of construction truck wasn't hitting him, and said, the driver of the dump truck is not in a good financial situation. A few days ago, because he had no money to pay back because he gambled with others, he removed the automatic driving system on the car and exchanged it for 10,000 yuan. I decided to drive myself to make money for a few days. It's just that what he didn't expect was that when disassembling the automation system, his brake fluid pipe was knocked off. Nine seconds ago, the last drop of brake fluid leaked out and the brakes had already failed. Effect. Following Kinyan's explanation, the driver of the dump truck constantly honked his horn and stuck his head out. Get out of the way. The brakes are out of order. Get out of the way. Xioxi is also in a hurry. It only takes two to three seconds. Why is Kinyan still not moving? Get away. However, Kinyan still stood there calmly. Seeing that it couldn't be pulled, Xioxi gritted her teeth and prepared to hide by a nearby tree. But he found himself held back by Kinyan. Kinyan's somewhat cold hands tightly grasped Xioxi's arm motionless as a rock. Zero. What you do? Just when she was about to struggle, the dump truck suddenly turned 180 degrees. Then, it rolled fiercely into the flower bed beside it. The huge amounts of weight instantly crushed the flower beds, and then countless construction cement poured up. This scene, however, frightened Xioxi to the core. The dump truck bumped into it just now. Her first reaction was to hide in that flower bed. If Kinyan hadn't pulled herself back, she might have been dot 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 broken to pieces and buried in place. The ground stakes on the sidewalk are raised at exactly 12 o'clock every day. Kin Yun's words brought Xioxi back to reality. At first glance, it turned out that the automatic piles of the sidewalk were raised. It is because of this ground pile that the dump truck changed its direction two seconds before it hit them, and it rolled over under the action of generosity and gravity. This, Xioxi just felt that what happened just now was too dreamy. Everything seemed like a coincidence, but it was extremely accurate. As long as there is a one second error or a little accident in the middle, None of this will happen. You dot 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 these. Xioxi's tone was still a little trembling. The amount of information was really too much in just over 20 seconds. I didn't do it. I didn't have to create these accidents against myself. Kinyan shook his head very seriously. Accident dot 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 it's not an accident. It's a murder. Xioxi took a deep breath and said very seriously. If one thing is a coincidence, then it makes sense. But everything, all together, is there really such a coincidence? Exclamation mark. No doubt. They were attacked. And it was a very sophisticated attack at the door of the United Nations building. If it wasn't for what Kin Yun said, who would be here this time? Who would be the one who died? Even after the fact, the investigation might just think it was a coincidence. Come here. Arrest that. The man in the blue down jacket at the door of the Jushin convenience store. Also, all the drivers and vehicles involved will be taken away for investigation, including the styrofoam truck on the nearby highway, Xioxi said into the earphone. Soon. A lot of plain clothes appeared out of nowhere and rushed towards the man who threw the coffee before. Among so many coincidences, the water thrower is the most suspicious, the one who threw the water. And all these people are actually fine, Kinyan said with a smile on the side. The reason why that person threw water was because he used to be a taxi driver. After the popularization of automatic driving, he also lost his job. So what he hates the most is the intelligent AI. When he finds out that the red off-road vehicle is self-driving, so it just rubs against the side of the road. His fiery temper will definitely make this kind of action. 
Xioxi slowly stopped her movements. The eyes looking at Kin Yan are full of complexity. How dot 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 how do you know this? You mean these were really just accidents? Definitely not Tilda. Kin Yan narrowed his eyes, looking at the dump truck beside him. It's interesting. Chapter 80 Behind the scenes, Kin Yan's performance shocked the audience. Kin Yan was able to know this in advance, and everything came true according to what he said. Dot 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 definitely because of Sofen's reminder. Sofens have been placed on the earth of this world. As a two-dimensional supercomputer, Sofens' computing power can almost handle most of the things that will happen on the earth. Definitely only for a short period of time. After all, people's subjective consciousness is still the main reason that affects everything. However, this matter was not done by Tomoko. Behind, there is another black hand. This black hand also has the ability similar to Heizizi, or the computing power is not low. This is undoubtedly a murder, but the planning is so precise. From the beginning to the end, the black hand never showed his face, but hid in the dark, making a series of coincidences connect together, and recalling the outside world. This method is also the most defenseless. Perhaps, the only thing that can show this black hand is the car that got out of control at the very beginning. However, the self-driving chip of that car was burned and it was difficult for Sofen to trace the source. This accident was extremely meticulous, and even the situation and psychology of each participant were accurately predicted. Just the right amount of suspension offset, just the right amount of rage X cab driver, even at the last second, allowing for the victim to dodge, and the pedestrian automatic pile that rises on time will overturn the dump truck and crash into the flower bed. All these calculations, for any person on the earth, will be intimately contacted by the dump truck. However, Maybe the mastermind behind the scenes didn't expect that Sofen had already analyzed everything before the incident happened. Kinyan didn't move either. At this moment, Xioxi only feels that her scalp is numb. Even though she had seen so many great scenes with Lao Tzu, she still never expected that there would be someone who could create such a perfect accident. 960 I. Thank you very much, Agent Q. If it wasn't for you, I would have been assassinated. With lingering fear in her heart. Xioxi bowed to Kin Yun. Thank you for saving my life. Although I don't know how Kin Yun managed to understand everything, it is an indisputable fact that Kin Yun saved her. Without Kin Yun holding her back, she was already buried in the flower bed. Do you really think this is intended to kill you? Kin Yun smiled, then shook his head and said, Our whereabouts are random. No one can predict where we will go, and we will stand here and watch the sea. Besides, if someone with such a method wants to kill you, I will never know you, and I will not stand here with you. You are already dead. When Xioxi heard this, her pupils shrank slightly. You mean dot 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 this is directed at you? Kinyan nodded. This method doesn't look like a human method, but more like a program, or an intelligent life. Because Sofans can do the same thing. Their activities are random. No one knows how long they will walk to the beach and how long they will stand there. To be able to arrange such a sophisticated drama in such a fast time, perhaps only Sofans kind can do it. Who is it? Numerous suspects appeared in Xioxi's mind and even representatives from various countries were included. Could it be that Mi Fang did it? By the way, didn't you say before that there were many attacks, but the murderer was not caught? Space elevator or something? After being reminded by Kin Yun, Xioxi seemed to have thought of something. All the previous attacks were clueless, and there was not even a single evidence or suspect. In comparison, today's accident can already be regarded as a small scene. The ones who attacked us, the space elevator, and the digital life laboratory dot 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 are all a group of people? Kin Yun tentatively murmured to himself. Perhaps dot 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 not human, dot 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 not human. Reminiscent of Kin Yun and their identities, Xioxi couldn't help coming up with a bold idea. No dot 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 it apostrophe s dot 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 the sun. As she spoke, Xioxi pointed at the sun, but the meaning was obvious. Could it be the man behind the scenes who wants to destroy the sun? After all, isn't the men in black an organization that specializes in dealing with aliens? Being attacked by aliens also makes sense logically. It shouldn't be. Jiang Bihai suddenly expressed his opinion. Civilizations that can destroy the sun... Dot 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 indicate that their direct strike range has already reached the solar system... Dot 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 this kind of civilization will not look down on Earth people. In their eyes, we are nothing but ants. This kind of small action is only possible when their strike range is not within reach. Now... Dot 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 impossible. If aliens really attacked us... Dot 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 should directly attack the Earth, not this small scene. Jiang Bihai pointed at the dump truck. He is very experienced in this kind of thing. Because, they have lived under the coercion of Trisolarans for many years. Jiang Bihai should not understand too much what these aliens with a higher level of civilization than the Earth think. The Trisolarans also made small moves, but that was because the Trisolarans fleet was still far away beyond the reach of the earth. Especially after fully accepting the Trisolarans civilization, they are too aware of what means the high-level civilization has. Once the Trisolarans can attack the earth, it is completely impossible for the earthlings to have the ability to fight back. What Agent Z said makes sense, I trust Agent Z's judgment. Kin Yun nodded. Jiang Bihai's ability to speak meant that he was sure. Kin Yun still believed in Jiang Bihai's brain. Then, 
Who the hell is it? Xioxi only felt a little pain in her head. Just when she was still trying to analyze and analyze, suddenly many special agents came running not far away. Secretary Ha, huh? it's not safe here. We're here to take you out. It turned out that the security personnel who had been hiding in the dark had arrived, and they were worried that they would continue to stay outside when this happened. Agent Q, it's really dangerous outside now. Why don't we go in first? Xioxi is also afraid of another such attack. Now even if he sees a child passing by on a tricycle, he will subconsciously take a half step back. There is always a feeling that something is going to happen. Okay, Kenyan didn't care either. This time he planned to stay in this world for a few more days. Anyway, as long as things were done well, surrounded by security, they were about to leave when they heard a faint cry from the direction of a dump truck. Help! Help! It turned out that the driver of the dump truck woke up and was calling for help in the cockpit. Sir, just leave it to us. Go with the secretary first. The security personnel on the side took the initiative to say. Afterwards, he motioned to the men on the side to save people. I don't know if the dump truck driver was lucky or not. Good luck because someone came to the rescue in a minute. The reason for his bad luck was that when the vehicle rolled over, a steel bar just pierced through his body. At the moment, mud is pouring into the cockpit. The security personnel are not professional rescue teams, so it is difficult to get him out. In a short time, Kinyan waved his hand. It will take at least three minutes to get him out. But in 30 seconds, the mud will drown him and fill his lungs. If it is drowning or something, even if it is suffocation for three minutes, it can still be saved with current medical methods. But these are all construction materials. Once the high concentration mud is poured into his lungs, let alone three minutes. It took a minute to catch the fish and no one was saved. Kinyan ignored the blocking of the security personnel and slowly climbed into the cockpit of the dump truck. Just as the security personnel wanted to stop her, they saw Xioxi shaking her head. She also wanted to see what Kinyan could do without any equipment in this situation. The security personnel had no choice but to stop their actions, but their hearts were full of motherly criticism. We can't save it. But you can. It's better to hide quickly to avoid accidents. If something happens again, you might lose your job. These second generations are really difficult to serve. Some people have even said bad things in their hearts, but their good professionalism still makes them keep watching their surroundings to prevent other suspicious people from approaching. Kenyan's identity. These security personnel do not know. They only know Xioxi. Xioxi is Mr. Zhu's secretary, and the person who can be accompanied by Xioxi must be a big shot, and even ordered to die by the superiors, even if it is to protect their safety. But Kenyan is so young, in their hearts, they already believe that Kenyan is a certain second generation. However, what Kenyan did next left them dumbfounded. As a construction vehicle, the dump truck has changed the manufacturing process earlier than decades ago. Bigger, stronger, and sturdier. After a round of technological explosion in alloy technology, even the cockpit is made of special alloys. Now in this world, special alloys can already be made cheaper than steel. Although cheap, the strength of the material is much higher than steel. It is almost impossible to break open without tools and equipment. However, Kenyan just stretched out his hand and grabbed the door. Then, just swipe! Exclamation mark. There was a sharp metal friction sound and the alloy door was torn off so abruptly. FK, this scene almost scared the security personnel next to him to death. They are all elites from various armies, otherwise they would not be responsible for the security of the United Nations building. But even if they have seen many soldier kings, they have never seen anything like this. This man tore open the alloy door with his bare hands, even without any effort? Exclamation mark. Is this still a human being? Help me, save me. The driver of the dump truck at the moment, except for his head, most of his body had already sunk into the mud. Seeing this scene, he seemed to be grabbing a life-saving straw, and used all his strength to shout Zero. It's okay, don't be afraid. Kinyan smiled slightly, stretched out his hand, inserted it into the mud, and grabbed the steel that pierced him without even groping. Then the palm of a hand changed shape in the mud, turned into a sharp blade, and cut the steel like cutting tofu. With a little force, he grabbed the driver's arm and pulled him out with one hand. At this moment, everyone present was silent. Unbelievable to see such a picture. Xioxi also opened her mouth slightly. She originally thought that Kenyan might just use a gun to smash the cockpit to save people. After all, that laser gun is really powerful. But she never expected it. Kenyan's way of saving lives turned out to be like this. Thanks. Level 4 of the dump truck thanked excitedly. But after, after the car accident just now, I don't have much strength anymore. Even when he spoke. There was blood gushing from the corner of his mouth. Kinyan gently put him on the grass beside him, then squatted down, and said slowly, You don't need to thank me, if you want to thank you, please thank your daughter. She got the first grade in the exam today, and the topic of the full score composition is, My dad. Hearing this, the weak dump truck driver was stunned. He didn't know how Kinyan knew all this, but the image of her daughter still appeared in her mind. You have a good daughter, but you are not a good father. From now on, don't gamble. Kinyan sighed. Here. 
The driver of the dump truck looks like he is going to die. In the school 12 kilometers away, his daughter is reading her composition on the podium at the moment. In the daughter's world, his father was drinking, gambling, and beating her at every turn, and she was doing the housework and cooking every day at a young age. But dot 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 she, who lost her mother at a young age, has only one relative in this world. Therefore, this man is also the whole of the daughter's world. In the composition, the girl did not write a bad word about her father. In her eyes, even though her father is bad in every way, he also buys things for himself, pays for himself to go to school, and takes her to the amusement park. Although that was three or four years ago. To be honest, if it wasn't for this daughter, Kinyan wouldn't even bother to save him. After all, Kinyan is not a superhero. He doesn't have the energy to save everyone. I just hope that this man can change a little after going through this life and death crisis, right? Hearing Kinyan's words, the dump truck driver was also stunned. You. How do you know? Kinyan didn't speak, just stood up and waved his hands. Let's go, send him to the hospital later, and help with the medical expenses. A car accident destroyed a truckload of goods, the car broke down, the family had no savings, and the body was seriously injured. His daughter may be hungry for a long time. This is the only thing Kinyan can do. Surrounded by security personnel, Kinyan gradually walked away from the building until he lost sight of his back 5.9. At this time, the driver of the dump truck reacted. Suddenly burst into tears on the stretcher. Daughter, my daughter, I will never gamble again. At this moment, no one knew what he was thinking. I just saw him crying and looking towards the place where Kinyan disappeared. Weak crying spread all over the street. In the elevator, Xioxi also looked at Kinyan with a complicated expression. It seems that there are countless words to say but I don't know how to say them. Finally asked, Agent Q... How do you know everything? Kinyan glanced at the camera in the elevator, and said thoughtfully. The development of science and technology can bring unimaginable productivity to human beings. But at the same time, many new problems will arise. The internet is a good thing... But the more developed the internet, the less privacy everyone has. From the beginning of big data, you browse the recommendations given to you by shopping websites. And if it continues to develop, no one in the whole world will be able to survive alone, and everyone will be transparent. Nowhere to hide. If you can become a program and live in the electronic world, maybe you will be omniscient and omnipotent. Huh? You mean? Xiao's eye looked at Kinyan strangely, as if to say, evildoer. I can see that you are not human at a glance. Don't get me wrong, I'm human. Well, the kind that can have children. Kinyan laughed and teased. But Xioxi coughed twice. Cough 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 tilde. Good guy. Can you say such words? Kinyan continued. Have you ever thought about this attack, maybe it was controlled by such a guy who lives on the internet, if this is the case, everything can be explained. Chapter 81 a 10 comma meter flashlight, the earth is going to be destroyed. When Kinyan heard that there were always people attacking behind the scenes in this world, he felt something was wrong. Moreover, it is able to wreak havoc under the noses of almost all powerful countries, and there is not a single tail left. This kind of thing is too difficult in such a developed modern civilization, especially when the man in black arrives and soften controls him. He still hasn't detected who did it. There is only one possibility, or these people can escape Soften's monitoring. This is impossible, or, they are not human at all. Before moving the mountain dot 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 didn't you have another plan? You mean dot 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 digital life? That project was shut down long ago. Soon, Xioxi thought of the digital life project that was listed together with the Yashian project before it was staged. It's just because of various issues such as morality and law. Although it was carried out for a period of time, it was forcibly closed. The digital life plan dot 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 reasonable, the idea is right, but the direction is wrong. Kinyan shook his head, according to the original plan of digital life, it is to combine human memory and programs to iterate out an intelligent life with human conscious memory as the main body. Actually, this is just another level of intelligent AI, digital life is said to be life, but in fact it has nothing to do with life. An intelligent program evolved based on the human memory database is, after all, a program. When a person dies, he is dead. And this program will not be the original person, but just a continuation of memory in a certain sense. This is completely different from the quantum life backup instrument. What the quantum life backup instrument involves is the person's information and sense of existence in the universe. The soul and the body are nothing more than particularizing people and changing places. However, there is no way to do this, as the current technology of the earth has not yet reached this level. So, are you skeptical that the previous research on digital life was actually successful? and there is a digital life already surviving in the online world. Xioxi was greatly shocked. She never thought that the project that was forcibly closed after such a short period of time was actually a success. But why did it sabotage our plan and attack the space elevator? Who knows? Kinyan shrugged. However, if you really want to catch it, it's very simple. We can help with this matter. To deal with intelligent life, the men in Black 21 have already done it once, so don't be too familiar with it. Xioxi was silent, thought for a long time, and finally said, 
I have to report this matter to Mr. Zhu and discuss it with the leader. There are too many secrets involved in this matter, and there are even many shady things. If a third party is involved, Xiaoxi can't decide. It's okay, just think about it and contact Agent Z. Qin Yan pointed to Zhang Bihai. Zhang Bihai smiled honestly beside him. Yes, just ask me if you need help. Xiaozi, for some reason, Xiaoxi always felt that seeing Zhang Bihai's smile gave people goosebumps. Then let's do this first. I've lost a lot of time today. So I'm leaving first. Qin Yan looked at the time, and before he knew it, it was already afternoon. Walk, Agent Q. We have prepared a place to live. You are exhausted, why don't you rest for the night? As soon as she heard that Qin Yan was about to leave, Xiaoxi hurriedly persuaded her. How could you just leave like this? My pants are all tucked. No, our plan has not been verified, at least until the expert team works overtime overnight to verify the plan. Can you leave after several meetings to confirm? Agent Z is leaving and I'm just going to prepare a big gift for you. Qin Yan smiled slightly. What he meant by leaving was not to leave this world, but to speed up the progress and fulfill the promise of the previous plan. As he said that, Qin Yan waved his hands, ignoring Xiaoxi's melancholy eyes and his sincere feelings of persuasion. Get on the elevator and walk towards the rooftop. In the end, only Zhang Bihai was left with a smile on his face. The two sides looked at each other, Xiaoxi was a little helpless. Does Agent Z want to rest? She wanted to report to Mr. Zhu about her work so she planned to put Jiang Bihai down. The main reason was that she couldn't talk to Jiang Bihai at all. Jiang Bihai still had that simple and honest appearance, and replied, It's okay, I'm not tired, I'm just strolling. Xiaoxi. Time passed slowly. To Xiaoxi's despair, Bihai really just walked around for a day. Almost walked around their building. He even got acquainted with many people. For such a long time, Jiang Bihai has a very detailed understanding of the power structure of the earth and various top-level personnel. This is far more comprehensive than the information obtained from Sofen monitoring. After all, human beings still have to communicate to feel each other's thoughts. This is also irreplaceable by intelligent programs. But, Xiaoxi felt a little uncomfortable, she hardly got any useful information from Jiang Bihai. Just listening to where Jiang Bihai is talking about running the train. In the evening, Mr. Zhu's office. What? Agent Q is gone. Zhu frowned when he heard that Qin Yan had left. How do you let someone go? You know what the scientists said when I went to the Academy of Sciences today? With that said, Elder Zhu took out a report. The deflector shield technology they gave, from a theoretical level, there is no problem at all. It can be applied directly. Even with our current production equipment, it can be directly manufactured. News. Do you know what this means? Speaking of this, Mr. Zhu, who has always been relatively calm, said a little excitedly. This means that with this technology, we will officially enter the stage of star civilization. The shield looks like a simple defensive technique. But there are too many places where it can be applied. If there is no shield technology, with the existing technology, if you want to enter space, you will face more than a hundred times more problems. The simplest ones are debris in space, meteorites. The current spaceships and space planes are just time shells. Once the shell is broken, the whole ship will have problems. If it is handled well, a part of the hull is discarded. If it is not handled well dot 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 the whole ship will be GG. With the shield technology, it is completely different, and the fault tolerance rate will be greatly reduced. As long as there is no problem with the energy equipment, even a person riding a three-wheeled motorcycle with a propeller can still say that he is driving a spaceship in space. The chain reaction caused by the shield technology allows them to design the spaceship without having to consider many cumbersome things. Achieve huge amounts of leaps in terms of structure, volume, functionality, and carrying capacity. I stayed, he said he would prepare a gift for us. Didn't. But the other agent he brought didn't leave. Xioxi said cautiously. Gift? Elders was taken aback. What gift should I prepare? This shield technology is already the greatest gift to all mankind. Now, it should be time for them to think about how to repay the man in black. While the two were still talking, a technician in a white coat hurried to the door of Mr. Zhu's office and knocked frantically on the door. Xiao Liu, what's the matter? You're in such a hurry. Zhu, Mr. Zhu, hurry up. Come to the command center on the 13th floor. Seeing how excited the technicians were, Mr. Zhu didn't dare to delay. It was obvious that something big had happened. When they arrived at the command center, countless people were already in a mess. The detected target is still getting bigger. OMG, what is this? Elder Zhu and Xioxi also looked at the big screen and then they all froze. I saw that a long cylinder suddenly appeared on the screen. This is. Ten minutes ago, it appeared on our deep space radar at Mercury, and then we put the lens in this direction. The person who spoke had cold sweat on his forehead, and subconsciously drank a glass of water. When I first observed him, it was only over 100 meters long. Now, it has exceeded 2,000 meters, and it is still turning into woods at an extremely fast speed. 100 meters? 2,000 meters? That's almost a 20-fold increase. Moreover, this thing is not a natural thing at first glance, 
but a man-made product, could it be? Elder Zhu only felt his heart tremble. It reminded me of the conversation I had with Kinyan before. Is this an alien warship? However, what kind of alien warship can be said to grow bigger as it grows in size, getting bigger and not deforming in any way? Dot 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 is that scientific? We suspect that this may be an alien apostrophe s dot 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 weapon. You see, it has a semicircular head at the top. The technicians start by giving them the objects in the analyst's picture. However, it is facing Mercury, not the Earth. Is this going to attack Mercury? There is nothing on Mercury. There is no doubt that the Earth is the only living planet in the solar system. Even if aliens come to attack, they must attack the Earth. With such a big battle, how is it possible to attack Mercury? Could it be deploying? Will it turn on us when it's deployed? Someone gave his guess. Old Zoot, what do you think? Soon, someone set their sights on Mr. Zoot, waiting for him to express his opinion. At this time, Everyone lacked a backbone. I look with my eyes. Elder Zoo said something confusing. Is there something at the end of that thing that can magnify it? Elder Zoo pointed to another part of the huge round head in the picture. Wait a minute. It will take ten minutes. We will adjust the attitude of the satellite. Mercury, among the eight satellites of the solar system, is the closest to the Earth. And even if it is the closest, it is not small on a cosmic scale. About 200 million kilometers. The communication delay between the two is high, and the message delivery has to wait about ten minutes. Ten minutes later, the picture began to change. The camera seemed to start to adjust the angle, and finally aimed at the end of the unknown object. This is, however, the picture at the end made everyone dumbfounded. I saw a fan-shaped light beam, blissing out from a certain black shadow, facing this huge amount of object. And that shadow, does it look like a person? How can it be? Although the pixel of the satellite camera is high, but this is the angle of the backlight, and only a human figure and his posture can be vaguely seen. It feels like an old photo from the last century. Wearing clothes, with one hand in pocket, the other hand is holding something facing a huge object. Body. The fan-shaped light beam shot out from his hand. Professional people. Do professional things. Isn't the detective gone yet? Someone invite him over. Seeing this scene, Elder Zhu was a little stunned, but he seemed to have thought of something, and hurriedly asked someone to invite Jiang Bihai. Agent Z. Most of the people present didn't know what happened in the past two days, and they had never heard of any detectives in black. It's just that I don't understand what Elder Zhu asked this person to do. This is about to be invaded by aliens. What can one person change? By the way, do you feel that the thing that is getting bigger looks like a flashlight? Xioxi, who had been silent all this time, said suddenly. As soon as these words came out, the originally noisy scene instantly became quiet. They looked at the still-changing behemoth in the picture and found that it really looked exactly like a flashlight. However, soon, someone smiled awkwardly. Ha 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 dot 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 ha. Secretary Howe is really humorous. She is quite calm at times like this. It does look like a flashlight. But how could it really be a flashlight? Although it looks like it, but this is in space, and now this thing is almost 10,000 meters long. Such a big 373 thing. How could aliens have nothing to do and come over with a flashlight? What to do if you are full tilde this must be a weapon. Xioxi saw that the technicians were arguing endlessly, so she stopped talking. Just when the flashlight expanded to about 10,000 meters, the black figure stopped his movements. No change. Change stopped. Is this deployment completed? Exclamation mark. FK. What are we going to do? Exclamation mark. Seeing this scene, everyone present became impatient. Is this about to start an attack? But Mercury is still 200 million kilometers away from the Earth, and even if their current fastest aerospace plane rushes there, it will take nearly a month. After so long, the day lily is cold. It's over. The Earth is really going to die this time. Hey, saving the Earth. Dot 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 saving the Earth. Dot 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 after saving for so long. Don't you want to die? Don't be so pessimistic. What if they don't come to attack us? It sounds good. Anyone who has gone to school can tell that this thing is definitely an offensive weapon, right? Otherwise, what is such a big tip used for? You don't really think it's a flashlight, do you? Reading will make people have more knowledge, and it will also make people's thinking more complicated. Someone once raised a question, whether a drop of water falling from a high altitude will cause fatal injury to people under the acceleration of gravity. Countless scientists have discussed this. Only one child asked. Have you never been in the rain? What's happening now is something similar. In their view, things with this structure can only be offensive weapons, and only weapons are designed in this way. Look quickly. Here we go. A minute later, this huge amount of objects seemed to be activated, and a powerful light began to emit from his head. A dazzling fan-shaped beam of light shot out from the starry sky, and then shone on Mercury. Is it really attacking Mercury? Not attacking Earth. Surprisingly, what was originally thought to attack the Earth was actually launched towards Mercury. Many people wept with joy. But also many people's faces became strange, because, Mercury, doesn't appear to be destroyed. Pillars of light shone on the surface of Mercury dot 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 as if nothing catastrophic happened. The ground doesn't have any temperature change. This, under the illumination of the beam of light, Mercury remained intact, and the instant explosion of the planet as imagined did not happen at all. 
This made everyone think of what Xioxi said before. This thing, can't it really be a flashlight? Exclamation mark. Everyone was dumbfounded. What are you kidding? A 10, oh, 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 meter flashlight. Who is this? What is the point of doing such a thing? Wait. Mercury dot dot dot. Uh, damn it. Dot. Chapter 82 Playing Planets as Marbles? Exclamation mark crazy. Chapter 82 Playing Planets as Marbles? Are you crazy? Mercury's magnetic field is decreasing. That unknown object is still getting bigger. No. It's not that it's getting bigger. It's Mercury that's getting smaller. What? Exclamation mark. When the light first started to shine, everyone didn't notice any changes. But then, the satellite found that the flashlight was still getting bigger after it was lit, and the speed was getting faster and faster. That's because, their detection satellites are in the Mercury synchronous orbit, and they are also irradiated and become smaller. And Mercury, which was originally used as a reference object, is also getting smaller. Damn. So, Mercury is being shrunk? Exclamation mark. This is too sci-fi. Everyone suddenly realized that they had reached something they couldn't understand. The planet is being scaled down. The signal connection is unstable. The picture on the screen began to tremble, and then, snowflakes appeared. From less to more, in just one minute, they completely lost contact. Signal connection broken. What's going on? Has our detector been destroyed? Someone hastily kept checking the equipment. No. If, really, we see this. Our detector should be fine. It's just that the detector and Mercury have shrunk together. Soon someone responded. The size of the detector has shrunk, and the power has also shrunk. Therefore, it is very likely that its communication power cannot reach the level that can span such a long distance. Depend on. Then fire up the space station's deep space telescope. Scan with optics. Although they lost the signal of the probe, they can still see the situation of Mercury through the telescope on the Earth. Ten minutes later, the picture of the space station came back. However, everyone was stunned when they saw this picture. No more dot 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 Mercury no more. Originally, the position of Mercury was empty at this moment. The huge amounts of unidentified objects, as well as Mercury, have all disappeared. Of the eight planets, there are only seven left. For a moment, everyone was a little shuddering. This is to change a planet into nothing in just one hour. Such means, if placed on the Earth, can't we last an hour? There is no doubt that if that thing appears on the Earth, humans will not have any means to deal with it. Because even until now, they haven't understood what all this is. Was Mercury wiped out? It becomes smaller. But if it really becomes smaller, what about the mass? Will it not collapse after the molecular density changes? The law of conservation of mass doesn't matter at all, right? Just when the command room was quiet, a person pushed the door and entered. Agent Z, have you heard what happened just now? Elder Z got up quickly. For some reason, he always had the feeling that the man in black must have something to do with this matter. Oh, you mean Mercury? Didn't I tell you about this a long time ago? Jang Bihai looked very calm. Question mark. Say what? Isn't it just a modified version of the Yishan project? I thought there was something big going on, and the boss will come and tell you about it tomorrow. I have to go back and catch up on sleep. I'm so sleepy. As he spoke, Jang Bihai yawned. A kind of person watched Jang Bihai push the door open and leave in stunned amazement. Everyone's mind is full of question marks. Elder Zhu stretched out his hand, wanting to say something, but held back. He had some guesses. But this guess shocked him very much. Tomorrow, a gift? Mr. Zhu muttered to himself and looked at the hall. Everyone hadn't recovered from what happened just now. Taking a deep breath, he also slowly left the room. Tonight is destined to be a sleepless night. And it's not just the people in the command center who are witnessing this. Many people have noticed the disappearance of Mercury. After all, the solar system is just a little stuff. What did you say? Men in black blew up Mercury? Exclamation mark. Inside the building. Representatives from several major countries including representatives from France and me secretly gathered together. Speaking of today's things, it's not fried, it's gone. What do you mean by disappearing? What kind of nonsense is this? It's a planet. Can't you do magic tilted degrees? Representative Mi Fang rolled his eyes, wondering if Representative Fran hadn't woken up yet. FK. You fat bastard. I'm talking business to you. He slapped the table hard, and put a paper document on the table. When you and your secretary hid in the office to make people. Do you know what happened in this building? Representative Fran pointed at the lipstick marks on Representative Mee's face that hadn't been wiped clean and shouted. Wait. In fact, satellites from various countries have detected changes in Mercury today. Similar to what happened in the Chinese command room, it happened in almost every country's command center. Only the representative of Mi Fang seemed to be a little confused because of the beauty of Wen Wenxian. Alien attack? Mercury disappears. 10,000 meters of offensive weapons. Seeing these materials, the Mi Fang representative also realized the seriousness of the matter and sat up quickly. Is this the advanced civilization behind that? Why did they attack Mercury? I don't know. It suddenly appeared, 
and then suddenly disappeared. The degree of exaggeration of this incident made everyone very disturbed. I'm afraid that I will disappear in the next moment. Isn't this a hell? Just when the few people had just entered the state and were about to start talking about business, a series of news began to spread again. It's bad. Venus is gone. Jupiter too. Pluto. There are only Mars and Earth left in the solar system. FK, stop dot 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 but all planets are gone except Mars and Earth. One night, one whole night. All the planets in the solar system began to disappear one by one in the same way under everyone's eyes. When the first ray of sunlight shines in the morning, only Mars and the Earth are left in the entire solar system. Everyone has dark circles under their eyes, as if they are demented. We're going to run. We're going to run. This kind of thing is really terrible. You must know that among the eight planets in the solar system, the Earth is only a small point, and Jupiter is even more than 1,300 times the size of the Earth. As for Jupiter, it just persisted for more than two hours before it disappeared. No one knows how all this happened, only know that if this happened on Earth, it would definitely be a catastrophe. Run? How to run? The space elevator is gone. Our arc is only half built. Dot 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 the supplies are not fully equipped. Most Western countries support the arc project. For them, the life of the top is the most important. In fact, although everyone has passed the mountain removing project, the arc project has not completely fallen through, and the four plans are almost all carried out at the same time except for the already banned Digital Life project. The month-by-month -month plan, that is, the plan proposed by Mao Xi, who drove the moon, was merged with the mountain moving plan. The ARC project has also become part of the plan. If the engine on the moon is successfully ignited, it proves that the planet can be pushed. The ARC they built can also serve as a navigator space station to lead the Earth forward. So, in fact, the destruction of the space elevator has the greatest impact on their ARC project. Construction of the ARC came to a standstill. Half and half. Few people on board. We still have a chance. I originally planned to take away 200,000 people. Now I can only take away 10,000 at most. 10,000 is 10,000. Let's go. The representative of Mifang is already a little crazy. The excitement last night was too great. Are you crazy? We haven't fully prepared the supplies, and if any equipment breaks down, we will all die in space. No weapons are installed. Everyone will explode when they touch the meteorite fragments. After all, the construction of the Ark has not been completed. Although it has started to operate, it is just an empty shelf now. It is simply impossible to bear the risks brought about by interstellar voyages. Dangerous? Question mark. It's more dangerous to stay on Earth. And? And didn't you say that there is a shield technology yesterday? With the shield, the Ark can withstand it even if it is empty. The representative of the Never Setting Sun also said suddenly, I don't care how big the risk is, like representative me, I will run first. As for how long I can last, with the shield technology, how can we last until we die of old age? At this moment, everyone was silent. The selfishness of human nature is suddenly revealed to the fullest. In their view, as long as they get on the boat and run away, they can live until they die. As for the future, then leave it to posterity. There are four of us now. I agree on behalf of France. Mi Fang agrees. The sun never sets agree. For a moment, everyone looked at representative Mao Xun. He he. However, Mao Xun's representative didn't speak, just glanced at the others with a sneer. He turned and left without saying a word. Seeing Mao Xun leave without expressing his opinion, does this mean that he disagrees? Representative Mi Fang stood up quickly, and said to Representative Mao Xun's back, you will regret it. If what happened last night happens again, we will all die. Hearing this, Representative Mao Xun stopped. Then he looked at Representative Fang indifferently. Do what you want to do. Dot dot dot. I just know that I will not abandon my people and choose to run away. I remember what Representative Zhu said before. Civilization without human beings is not civilization. You guys are nothing but a bunch of selfish mice. It is not unreasonable that Mao Xun's month by month plan highly overlaps with China's mountain moving plan. Their purpose is the same. They all want to save more people. Instead of letting the so called people with status and status leave behind ordinary people to live. Arkansas. What's the point of such an arc and such a civilization? After saying this, Representative Mao Xun left without looking back. The representatives of the three countries looked at each other, but found that everyone was not angry. It's ridiculous, it's so naive. The lives of ordinary people are not as important as us. Yes, from ancient times to the present, people are different. How much money do they make a month? What contribution do they make to mankind? I can make countless people rich and unemployed with a single phone call. I have given so much to this world. I survival is far more useful than them. Don't worry about this issue. I can't care too much at this time. We represent the continuation of human civilization, and these people who are waiting to die on the earth will understand sooner or later. At this moment, the thoughts in their hearts were highly consistent. That is, less people, less mouths. Can't they get a few more people? Dot dot dot. We will start preparing the space plane, the rocket, and the candidates now. As much material as you can bring. Everyone nodded, ready to make arrangements immediately. The time is today, before 12 o'clock tonight, 
The Ark will leave immediately. They didn't dare to wait any longer. I'm afraid that what happened last night will happen again. Now we are racing against time. Our time is very tight, and the most important thing is to get the shield technology first. Otherwise the Ark may not be able to sail for a long time even if it sets off. After the technology is in hand, it's too late to manufacture and install it. But there are top-notch equipment on the Ark, bring some top talents, and when the time comes, we'll make one now. Is it in time? It is too difficult to arrange so many things in one day. Haven't all the preparations been done long ago? Behind us are the most powerful countries in the world. Believe in miracles. We can also create miracles. At this moment, everyone's blood boiled with excitement, as if they were doing the most important event in human history. It's just that they didn't think about it. What they are doing is abandoning the country they represent, abandoning their people. So, the most important thing now is to go to Representative Zhu first and bring the shield technology to the people. Okay. Let's arrange it first. Several people went back to their own rooms and made phone calls, telling their own people about running away. Today, they have a lot to do. After giving various orders via remote control, they gathered together again. Before leaving, he wanted to get the shield technology in Zulao's hands no matter what he said. This is also the key to the long voyage of their half-drawn Arkansas. However, when the three of them came to the Chinese meeting room to find Mr. Zhu, only to find that Mao Xung's representative was there at the moment. Moreover, yesterday's acquaintance, Qin Yun, is sitting in front of Mr. Zhu, Nuo Zhao, drinking tea. In the room, it is extremely quiet, and you can hear needles falling. Except for Qin Yun, everyone's breathing became weaker. What's the situation? Representative Mao Xung came here to complain. But a few people are not the vegetarians, they are all big countries, so there is no way to leak secrets at this time. After today. They will be the only people on earth who can survive. Representative Zhu, you should know why we are here, right? The Mi Fang representative also sat down, wanting to make the Zhu representative more conscious. However, he found that no one in the room paid attention to him. Even Mao Xung's representative didn't look at them, as if they had never been here. Ban. I'm talking to you. Don't pretend you can't see it. He slapped the table down fiercely, and was about to speak harshly, but before he finished speaking, he saw the bear representative looking at him in horror, then got up straight away and kicked him in the face with a flying kick superior. Are you aiming at the table? Exclamation mark. You're looking for death. How can you shoot the table? Ah, with this kick, he used almost all his strength, the blood splashed in the air and sprayed far away. This scene completely dumbfounded the three new representatives. This is the United Nations building. How dare you do it directly? However, before they questioned it, they saw that Mao Xung's representative didn't even look at Mi Fang. He scrambled to the side of Mr. Zhu and looked at a glass jar on the table. The glass jars are like those picked up by the side of the road the kind of jars that children put marbles in. In the jar, there are several small balls, the file size is different, and the material looks like it is made of soil. Because Mi Fang slapped the table just now, the ball in the glass jar yiping swayed a few times. No, are you okay? Exclamation mark. With that cautious look, those who didn't know thought it was some kind of bomb. It was only then that the representatives of the three parties realized that the people in the room were basically staring at the glass jar. Their existence seems meaningless. Question mark what's the situation? Chapter 83 Hydrogen Explosion Starring Resources for Level 3 Civilization Chapter 83 Hydrogen Explosion Starring Resources of Level 3 Civilization Wait dot 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 how did this thing grow so long? And the starring? After carefully seeing the structure of the sphere in the glass bottle, the two standing representatives were dumbfounded. There is no doubt that the marbles in the glass bottle in front of him are those planets that have disappeared. The method used is to use the props from the system to zoom in and out. Under normal circumstances, it is impossible to shrink a planet by zooming in and out of the scope of use of the lamp. Relatively recently, this is just a handheld device. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if the planet on the ground would become smaller if it was lighted casually? However, Kinyan didn't have only one zooming in and zooming out lamp. The system rewarded five lamps at the beginning. First use a zoom light to enlarge another light, and then use the enlarged light to take effect on the planet. It can be said that it is a bug. However, the effect is very significant. In the end, all those planets became marbles that can be played in the palm of your hand. Kinyan randomly found a candy jar and packed it. Actually, there is no need to be so nervous. Their structure is very stable. Seeing that Mao Xung was so nervous, Kinyan comforted him. Even Kinyan didn't understand the principle of shrinking lights, but it didn't prevent him from knowing the effect. This is proportional reduction and the material level will not affect the structural properties at all. Stabilize? It's scary even if it's stable. This is in a bottle dot 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 planet. Even the star rings of those planets are still there. This is very outrageous. You must know that the conditions for the formation of star rings are very difficult. First of all, a planet needs to have a large enough mass, so that the planet's gravitational force can be large, and the range that can be controlled by the Roche limit is also larger, so that those substances will not be destroyed or forcibly fall into the planet. It is also necessary to ensure that it is not too hot, not too cold, 
and other factors can form star rings. And now, the planet in this bottle is only that big, where does the gravitational force attract the star rings? Really stable? I just saw Jupiter bounce back. Xioxi said something silently. When she patted the table at Mifang just now, she observed that Jupiter was very active in the bottle, and even bounced a few times. This terrified her. You know, the mass of the sleepy star is more than 1,300 times that of the Earth. Adding up all the things in this bottle, I don't know how many Earths there are. Once there is a problem, it is impossible for the Earth to leave even 730 slags. Most importantly dot 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 Jupiter is a gaseous moon. To put it bluntly, it's just a cloud of gas. This cloud of gas dot 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 won't it dissipate? Oh, you said this. Kinyan stretched out his hand very calmly, opened the glass bottle, and then grabbed Jupiter in his hand under the dumbfounded gaze of everyone. Jupiter, Saturn, Aquaman. Uranus dot 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 these are all gaseous planets dot 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 so isn't it normal to be a little elastic? As he spoke, he put Jupiter between the index finger and thumb, and squeezed it lightly. FK This action startled everyone. Because, under Kinyan's force, Jupiter was deformed like cotton candy. The most frightening thing is that when it deforms, you can even see a series of reactions on the surface of the sphere, and there seem to be various electric current flames constantly emerging inside. Afterwards, Kinyan let go and Jupiter returned to its original appearance, is it very elastic, it's just a little hot ha ha ha, Kinyan smiled indifferently, just now, that moment just now dot 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 was a hydrogen explosion, exclamation mark, Elder Zoo is also technically savvy, and from the flashes on the surface of Jupiter, he sensed that something unusual happened, Jupiter is a huge amount of gaseous planet, most of the gas inside is hydrogen, Kinyan's pinch, in the proportion of the original world, is an unimaginable energy level for Jupiter. The high concentration hydrogen gas is forcibly squeezed together, and the friction and stress between the substances release energy crazily. Countless hydrogen gas was squeezed by a huge force, and a hydrogen explosion occurred. In Kenyan's perception dot 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 this might just be a little hot, but dot 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 if Jupiter really changed back to its original state, the few flashes just now would at least blow up seven or eight Earths. It should be, right? But don't worry about it, if you really want to make this thing explode. At least you have to press it with a wheel, and it's okay to squeeze it. Kinyan did some calculations, and if Jupiter is really small enough to trigger a fusion reaction, it should be pressed very hard, right? How come there must be a pressure of several hundred kilograms? The car runs over it dot 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 it will explode? Isn't this a few hundred kilograms of pressure? However, hearing this trigger condition did not make them any more at ease, but even more panicked, because it's too easy. Even calculated according to the acceleration of the Earth dot 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 even if you throw this thing out of the window and drop it on the ground it will explode instantly. Is this still safe? It's really fun. Do you want to try it? Kinyan laughed and pinched again in front of them. Don't don't. Xioxi hurried forward and grabbed Kinyan's hand. He didn't care about being polite or that men and women couldn't accept kisses, so he gently picked up Jupiter and put it in the bottle. Then carefully screw on the bottle cap and put it on the table again. She has seen Kinyan's strength before. This is a strong man who can tear open the alloy car door with his bare hands. If he really accidentally crushes Jupiter, the scene will be unimaginable. Detective Q, you'd better be careful dot 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 I'm old, I can't stand this stimulation tilde. Elder Zoo also had lingering fears, and asked helplessly, ha ha ha, anyway, I have already given this thing to you, how to deal with it is your business. Kinyan spread his hands, he spent the whole night collecting these planets, just to give them, it's useless for him to want these planets. You really gave us a problem. Elder Zoo looked at the glass bottle with an extremely complicated expression, not knowing whether to laugh or cry. He thought that Kinyan's revised plan to move mountains. What is the meaning of moving the solar system? At most, there is a breakthrough in spaceship technology or mining technology, allowing them to mine more useful resources in a short time. Unexpectedly, Kinyan said packing. It turned out to be packing all the planets in the solar system. In a glass bottle, it's just so magical. What's the problem? There are so many planets, all of which are thousands of times the mass of the Earth, which is enough for human beings to travel far and even enough for the earth to wander for tens of thousands of light years dot 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 you can build whatever you want, and there will be no shortage of materials, these are six planets, although four of them are gaseous planets, but the total amount of matter is still a lot, even Kinyan, the satellite of those planets, did not fall, and there were some tiny grains of sand at the bottom of the glass bottle, these resources are even enough for humans in this world to develop to a third level civilization, what else is there to dissatisfy, no dot 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 I was thinking, how to use this thing. Elder Zoo looked at this bottle of marbles, even though he had countless ideas in his mind, he still couldn't make a move. It's actually very simple let us know when you use it, and we will restore it to you. Kinyan waved his hand indifferently. Although these planets have different gravitational forces, there may be problems in direct restoration. For example, if they are placed too close, it will affect the Earth, but you can start with the smallest. For example, Mercury, or those satellites, before departure, 
the resources of these planets are sufficient. After the successful application of the shield, strengthen the structure of the Earth's crust and continental shelf, and put a few satellites such as Phoebe in synchronous orbit, or at the closest point. Very simple. From Kinyan's point of view, since the planet is in his hands, what is there to say? When the level of civilization is low, use low quality ones, and when the level is high, increase the quality. At that time, various problems will be solved. Really that simple? Elders Zhu was a little speechless. However, since Kinyan has brought everything, can they still refuse? It must be impossible, Kbat. However, Elders Zhu has a doubt, the means of your organization are indeed beyond our imagination. However, since these planets can be reduced, although I don't know the principle, is it possible? Felt it. Ksp. Mr. Zhu had a bold idea. If the Earth shrinks along with it, many things will not matter. Even the planet re engine doesn't need to be built. They directly build a small spaceship fast enough to take the Earth away. Isn't it more troublesome? Moreover, if human beings become smaller, the resources they consume will also become smaller. Perhaps one biscuit is enough for all human beings to eat for thousands of years. This technology can only work on ordinary matter for the time being, and it will cause problems for living things. Kinyan shook his head. It's not that he didn't think about it, but dot 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 the effect of zooming in and out lights is different in each world. The world of wandering earth is also a primordial universe. Kinyan has done experiments to shrink the living things and bring them to this world. Although there will be no problems with the body, the brain, or the soul, cannot withstand such changes. To put it simply, zooming in and zooming out a lamp, what is zoomed in is just matter, not the soul. Although a human body has shrunk, the total number of souls is still so much. It would be fine if the shrinkage factor is low. But after too many, the body will not be able to carry the original soul, and the person will become a vegetable. It's okay in the Marvel world. Maybe this is the problem of rule differences in different worlds. That would be such a pity. Elders aside, it is indeed a pity that humans cannot be reduced. But dot 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 enough is enough. With these dot 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 engines on the moon, it doesn't even have to be verified. Mountain moving project, you can start right away. Elders whose heart beats fast, because, after today, they can officially start the plan to move the mountain. As for why dot 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 it's simple. It's a question of thrust ratio. Although the planet engine uses a heavy nuclear fusion engine, it still needs the reaction of matter to drive it. Even if you burn stones, you have to burn a lot to move a planet. If it does not involve antimatter, dark matter, or a higher level of energy, it's just pure nuclear fusion, which still has to follow certain laws. That is, if you want to leave, you must leave something behind. This is the law that human beings have been following since the era of chemical fuels. In space, there is no gravity, no aerodynamics, only jets. But how much spray, how much recoil can be produced? How much material is needed to propel the Earth's voyage? This is all a question that needs to be verified. If the thrust ratio of the engine is not enough, it has not reached the theoretical state, and it does not even need to be more, as long as it is 10% lower. It is impossible for the Earth to complete the voyage. Not to mention going to the Kepler star. It may not be enough to burn all the crust that can be burned. Not enough left. But, with these planets, thousands of times the mass of Earth. The thrust of the planet engine is less important than the experimental results. With the current results, it is enough to go anywhere. After all, how can it be possible to leave a few Earth masses and not be able to run away? At this moment, Zilao's heart was extremely excited. Because, in this jar, he saw the future of the mountain removal project. The future of the Earth and the future of mankind. Representative Mao Xan also thought of this, and his eye sockets were even a little red. Looking at Kin Yun, he said word by word, thank you. Thank you for your contribution to mankind. The whole world dot 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 no. All human beings will remember you. This is a feat that is enough to be written in the history of mankind. On this day, for the Mao Xan representative, it was almost a day of great joy, great sorrow and great joy. The change in mood is hard to describe in words. After originally rejecting the proposal to go on the ark with other representatives, he was ready to die on the earth. But now it seems that he is ushering in a new era. The month by month plan will be completely merged with the mountain moving plan, and they will also sail away. However, while this side was still excited, on the other side, the Mifang representative who was kicked unconscious by the mocked representative also woke up. As soon as he woke up, he covered his bleeding face and roared angrily. How dare you hit me, barbarian. You will be punished. You wait. He has never encountered someone beating someone in the United Nations building. Mao Xun represents this is the first. You must know that although he is about to run away, he is still the representative of me, and he has nuclear weapons authority in his hand. Is Mao Xun crazy? Are you afraid of jumping over the wall before you leave? He hasn't figured out the situation yet, but he thought that the two representatives from the same camp as him would support him. However, they found that the representative of Fran and the representative of the never setting sun both lowered their heads, their faces full of despair. Representative Mao Xun looked at representative me and smiled. Elders also laughed, 
Sanctions. You should think about how to face the public. Facing the public, Representative Me has never considered this issue, because they will soon become the hope for the continuation of mankind, and it will be a few days before the public knows about it. Forget it. We have no chance. On the side, the representative of the never setting sun, who had seen through the situation, sighed and helped Representative Me. Since the disappearance of those planets was not caused by aliens. They have no reason to leave, and they can't get in if they want to without an external threat. The Earth is really going to be destroyed. Maybe other people can watch them leave. After all, it is a hope. But now, no one wants to watch them drive off the space station. The Arkansas, they have lost. When I made the decision to abandon everyone and leave alone, there was no more. No one wants someone at the top who is ready to leave everyone behind. Wait. Chapter 84, Wandering Earth Project Exposure. I am the head of the Earth. The truth is, too, there is no impenetrable wall in the world, and, let alone this matter cannot be kept secret. After all, there are a lot of things to prepare for running away. After a few days, I don't know where the news leaked out, or some insiders took the initiative to say it, and the matter was exposed. Caused an uproar. Representatives of the three kingdoms want to leave the people behind in times of crisis and leave the earth tilde. Is this a distortion of human nature or a loss of morality? This is our elected national representative. Their behavior completely angered everyone. You must know that because of the solar crisis, the economic situation in all countries is actually very bad. All walks of life, in order to maintain those large-scale salvation plans, have almost tightened their belts to live. The standard of living of ordinary people continues to decline, and the unemployment rate does not increase much, because they all go to work. But the money they earn is only enough to live on. Most of the production value has been pulled into space, into the moon and those giant buildings on the earth. This is an era in which although I am not saving the world, saving the world is closely related to me. Everyone is actually doing a lot to save the earth. But, you tell me now, we work from dawn to dusk every day, working hard for this era. But these people, because of such a little trouble, ran away at will. Who is happy with this? All of a sudden, in the three areas represented by the representatives of the three countries, countless people put down their work and began to march on the streets. Mitchell to die. F.K. We don't need such representatives. Our fate should be decided by ourselves. Garbage. Government. Public opinion, like a raging tide, keeps rushing towards the top. In order to stabilize the situation, the governments of the three countries could only forcibly pull down the three representatives in a hurry and also prosecuted them for crimes against humanity. However, just like this, it still couldn't appease most people's anger. For a while, the three kingdoms were in chaos. Even this shareholder trend has spread to other places. In order to prevent the chaos from spreading to the whole world, Mr. Zhu stepped forward. United Nations building, main meeting room. Numerous reporters will be packed around the venue, and almost all the mainstream media are present. Xioxi stood on the rostrum nervously. This is the first time she has delivered such an important speech. Under the stage, Zilao and Kinyan sat in the corner. Kinyan asked curiously, you let her attend such an important speech? Can you hold it? After all, Xioxi is still a young man, and the things to be announced today are not ordinary. What speech in this building doesn't matter? Elder Zhu just smiled. I believe that the world is always young people's. Play early, it's okay. That's true. Kinyan laughed. On the podium. Xioxi took a deep breath and glanced at the manuscript in her hand. Today, on behalf of the United Nations, I announced several important decisions. Xioxi didn't talk nonsense, she just got straight to the point. The first one, the Mountain Moving Project, the Monthly Project, and the ARC Project have officially merged, and we have completed the verification of the thrust calculation. All the academies of sciences have unanimously given a unified answer. The thrust ratio of the planet engine is enough to let the Earth leave the solar system. I announced that the Mountain Removing Project will be officially renamed, the Wandering Earth Project. Just the first news completely detonated the audience. Even in this kind of occasion, in such a serious place, there are still many shouts from the audience. At this moment, countless people are squatting in front of the TV, or holding mobile phones or carrying computers. Even those who were still marching and demonstrating, when they heard the news, they stopped what they were doing and stood there blankly. Verification succeeded. When did the engines fire on the moon? Why don't we know? That's right. Isn't there a live broadcast of me? It can't be a lie, right? Impossible. Representative me might do it, but the Chinese representative has never lied on this occasion. Bah. He is not our representative. He is a piece of shit. Because the verification process was not to conduct the ignition test on the moon as originally planned, but because of Kin Yun's gift. They changed the algorithm and turned it into a leader flying brick, so there was no need to conduct the moon ignition test at all. If someone else told such news, no one would believe it. However, in everyone's mind, China is a country that never lies. Many people subconsciously choose to believe. Afterwards, countless people cheered. Awesome. Are we saved? There is hope for mankind. We can survive. <laughs> At this moment, everyone is cheering for it. The successful verification of the thrust ratio means that the Earth will usher in a new life 
and human beings can also continue. Their sons, daughters, grandchildren, children and grandchildren will continue to live on this planet. However, this news still caused dissatisfaction among many people. Successful? Doesn't it mean that the Earth is about to enter the preparation stage? We won't see the blue sky and white clouds in the future. We all have to enter the underground city to live. Still entering the dungeon. The Yashian Project dungeon is fully loaded and only half of the people can enter. It's not certain whether you can enter. Doesn't that mean that the other half will stay outside to die? Yeah, when the time comes, the Earth will stop spinning. The thrust will burst out and those who can't enter the dungeon will die. Then it's better not to save it. Why do you want to carry out this kind of plan? Yes, we are going to protest. If the Wandering Earth project is not carried out, perhaps people today can live to die of natural old age in a hundred years. But once this plan is implemented, everyone's probability of survival will become 50% within a few years. This made countless people start to worry. However, Xioxi's speech that followed completely extinguished the objection that had not yet risen. Second, after the name change, the details of the Wandering Earth project will also change. The dungeon plan is cancelled. The location of the original dungeon will become a production industrial zone. The Wandering Earth project will build an artificial ecological zone on the ground as a place to live. Can accommodate everyone. Details will be announced on the official website. As soon as this remark came out, the moment they were discussing about protesting and opposing the Wandering Earth project, they froze for a moment. Can save everyone. OMG. This. Originally, the reason why most people did not support the Yashian project was also because it could save 3 billion people, but they had to give up 3 billion people. No one wants to be that half. But when this plan can save everyone, no one will choose to refuse. However, this piece of news was already shocking enough, but the shocking one made everyone even more dumbfounded. Third, the United Nations will officially change from a representative system to a parliamentary system. From today, there will be no country in the world. The United Nations also officially changed its name to a coalition government which will unify all countries on earth, politics, law, etc. Exclamation mark. Three pieces of news, one is more explosive than the other, especially the third one. Although changes at the management level may have nothing to do with ordinary people, this matter is also the most difficult. The world is so big and there are so many countries, no one can get along with other countries without gaps. Culture, geography, etc. are all different. Unite. Human civilization has developed to the present, and there has never been a time of unity. However, today, when the Vagabond plan is going to be implemented, it has to make this choice, because, such a huge plan cannot be decided by one family. It is about the world working together, and after what happened to the representatives of the three countries before, everyone realized it. If the management level is not unified, this plan will never be possible to complete, people always have selfishness. How about it? Elders who quietly talk to Kenyan from the side. It's good, a unified leadership can indeed be more cohesive in the face of this crisis. Kenyan nodded and also agreed with Mr. Zhu and his abilities. Zilao and the others were able to facilitate this kind of thing in just a few days, and the difficulties involved cannot be explained clearly in one or two sentences. They did a lot of work. I mean, what do you think about the position of President of the Council? Elder Zhu asked a question that surprised Qin Yun. Chairman of the Council, you ask me this? For such a thing, you should have been elected long ago, right? Yes. Dot 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 they mean, let me do. Elder Zhu nodded. Isn't that good ha ha, then you will be the most powerful person on earth in the future. So congratulations. Kinyan smiled and patted Mr. Zhu on the shoulder. Mr. Zhu got along well with him, and it would be beneficial for him to be in a high position in his future work. But, I want you to be the president of this council. Question mark wait. Hearing Mr. Zhu's words, Kinyan asked directly. What the hell? Let me be the president of the council. What a joke. Mr. Zhu, are you awake? Exclamation mark. I'm not a member of the United Nations. You let me take this position? Elder Zhu looked at Kinyan with a serious face. I said before. This world will be dominated by young people sooner or later. How long can I sit in this position? I'm old. The Wandering Earth project is a long-term job. I hope someone can witness it all from beginning to end. This kind of big project, if it doesn't change coach halfway, is the best. As for you not being a member of the government... Does it matter? Whatever you do, who will think you are not qualified? Strictly speaking, our hope is given by you, and only you are the most suitable person. Asking for flowers. Kinyan quickly shook his head. Don't leave this kind of thing to yourself. I'm an organized person, and the things and crises that the people in black need to face don't have to be here. To put it bluntly, my current job is far more important than being the president of any parliament here. Are you kidding me? There are still all the heavens and myriad worlds waiting for me to work on. Can I hang myself here? Not to mention the chairman of the council. Even if the head of the ball of the earth was the emperor, he would not be able to stay here. Hearing what Kinyan said, Mr. Zhu fell silent. He found that he didn't know how to refute, because, even now, he still doesn't understand the organization of the men in black. So far, 
You still can't disclose your work? Mr. Zhu seems to be a little, asked resentfully. The Earth is unified, you are a private organization, why do you still want to be so mysterious? And now we are all the most powerful people on Earth. If it wasn't because he trusted Qin Yun enough to be for human beings, he would have wondered if the men in black were some kind of evil organization. Can't even say good deeds, dot 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 told Zhu, let me tell you this. In the universe, the number of civilizations is far more than you can imagine. The enemy we have to deal with, such as the explosion of the sun, is already considered a small incident. Question mark Elder Zhu was stupefied. Is the explosion of the sun a trivial matter? The most powerful civilization we have encountered now dot 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 is level 6. Qin Yun said seriously. The pioneers are level 5 or even level 6 civilizations. The exact number of Qin Yun is not very sure. But there is a high probability that it is not possible. Dot 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 zero. Level 6. Even Zulao, who has always been calm, did not hide his shock. The Earth is now a first class civilization. Level 6, compared to the current human civilization, is simply an unimaginable existence. Jiang Bihai once said about the Trisolarans before. The Trisolarans are a civilization at the peak of the second level, and they are almost at the third level. Elder Zhu thought that this was the highest level of civilization that the men in black had ever come into contact with. Now it seems that they still greatly underestimated what the men in black are facing. You. How many things have you resisted? Elders Zhu looked at Qin Yun, feeling a sense of awe. I also didn't feel that Qin Yun was telling lies, because it was unnecessary. I just feel that there is an organization in the dark that is still silently resisting such a thing that I dare not even think about. What have they experienced? Some things, I can't tell you too much. The more you know, the easier it is to make mistakes. I can only say that regarding the direction of human destiny, we are in agreement and we all want human beings to go further. This is our population, and we are of one heart. Qin Yun spoke slowly. I believe in you. Elder Zhu nodded solemnly. So what do you need help with? Manpower, resources, equipment? Mr. Zhu felt that these things should not be borne by the man in black himself. Also as a part of human beings, they should also contribute their own strength. That's not necessary. Zhu Lao, what you have to do now is to take the earth and the existing civilization to develop well and live. The best help for us is to make the earth stronger. Maybe one day, when we need help, someone can stand up. This is the best support. Now it is only a first level earth civilization, and it is too bad for the troubles that the men in black are currently encountering. I understand. Mr. Zhu nodded seriously. I will take the earth and go further. I will let everyone live, and as I go, so will my successor. Although I don't know what you are going through, I know that this place will be your eternal support. I hope one day we can fight side by side. Hearing this, Qin Yun didn't know why, and was even a little moved. Perhaps, this is the feeling of being recognized by the group and being supported by others. At this moment, Qin Yun stretched out his hand and solemnly shook hands with Mr. Zhu. I hope one day we can fight side by side. This, perhaps, is the meaning of saving the men in black. One day, there will be human legends circulating in all the heavens and myriad worlds. Okay, Mr. Zhu, I'll come back after a while. Dot 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 I have to go back to deal with a big event. Qin Yun did the math. It was only about ten days before the arrival of the pioneers. The wandering earth world is on the right track and Qin Yun will start to focus on the preparations for dealing with the pioneers, in case the talk with the bishop collapses. As a top combat force that is likely to be a sixth level civilization, Qin Yun needs to make a lot of preparations. Qin Yun is not completely sure that he can guarantee a perfect result with a pioneer bishop. Then dot 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 good luck to you. Wish me good luck knife. Chapter 85 Unlocked Genetic Lock New Ability 72 Changes The second day Qin Yun returned to the Marvel world. He came to the laboratory where the technical department was located. His reason for coming here is simple. The corpse of the pioneer herder who committed suicide is placed here. At the beginning, Qin Yun tried to absorb this body with the subsystem, that is, the infinite evolution system. The result of the prompt is yes, but Qin Yun didn't do it right away, but asked the technical department to take away the corpse and dissect it for research, in order to learn more about the race of pioneers. As a result, Qin Yun was not disappointed. 808 in the technical department was wearing a white coat and was very excited to introduce the success of the two-day research to Qin Yun. The pioneer race is simply a miracle. Their brains are highly similar to humans, and the basic structure is even 80% similar. That alone is quite remarkable. You must know that human beings are carbon-based organisms, while the pioneers are amino organisms. The basic elements of the two races are not in the same place but the brains are so similar. You must know that there are not many creatures on the earth that can have a similar brain structure to humans. The most important thing is that their genetic genes also use a structure similar to DNA, and it is also a double helix. It's just that instead of deoxyribonucleic acid, there are two stupid strands. Under the observation of onlookers, the pioneers have almost no secrets. Their genetics are very complex, far from the Superman class. With the introduction of 808, Qin Yun also gained a deeper understanding of the pioneer civilization. It is indeed a race that has evolved for more than 200 million years. The genetic complexity of the pioneers is almost 10 times that of humans, 
that is to say, the genetic information carried by the pioneers is also twice that of humans. However, most of these genetic information are not dominant, but recessive. 470. This leads to the fact that the body structure of the pioneer in front of him is not complicated, although there is a lot of genetic information, it does not show up in the body. Reasonably speaking, it is not cost effective for a normal creature to carry so many recessive genes from an evolutionary point of view. After all, it looks a bit wasteful. At first, I also thought that this information was a remnant of their evolutionary path. That is, the extra useless genes that have been added over a long period of time, but after in-depth research, I found that we were wrong. When 808 said this, his eyes almost lit up, because, these things in the pioneer's genes, are not what he originally existed at all. What's the meaning? That is to say, these genetic information were not evolved by this race at the beginning, but added slowly. We speculate that during the 250 million years of evolution, they discovered some racial genes that could benefit them, and sealed them in their bodies through special means. When a certain condition is triggered, it will be unlocked and change its own form. This is a race that can continue to evolve after adulthood. He is no gene lock. On the earth, in nature, almost all creatures actually have a genetic lock at the genetic level. Humans also have many recessive genes. The function of gene lock is to lock certain unnecessary genetic information when the body grows to a certain stage. For example, in terms of height, the average height of most human beings is about 1.7 meters. It's amazing how many big geese grow to 2 meters. After growing to a certain stage, the 1.7 meter gene will tell you that the body should not grow anymore. So the gene lock starts to work, locking other ways to make the body fit. Almost most people's basic organs will not change in adulthood. This is a good thing, as it allows humans to remain physically stable into adulthood. But again, this also limits human evolution. Even evolution can only pass on genetic information to the next generation over time. It may take hundreds of generations before some noticeable change occurs. Evolution is a complicated process. On the earth, gene mutation is the main direction of evolution, whether it is human or other races. However, the pioneers are different. They don't have gene locks. They can change their genes at will. Instead, it is an expression similar to an activation condition. As long as a certain condition is met, the internal gene can be activated to start evolution. 808's explanation reminded Kinyan of the information he had received from herdsmen before. The pioneers are a stratified race. From the lowest ordinary shepherds, to ambassadors, cardinals, bishops. Is it possible that the different numbers of genes they activate represent their different identities? Mental strength. Kinyan quickly locked onto this key point. After all, it was only after seeing Wanda's psychic power that the shepherd decided she was the reincarnation of the so-called queen. I probably understand. Kinyan felt that he was not far from the answer. Pioneers, as an advanced biological civilization, they are originally a manifestation of biotechnology. Unlimited evolution. In addition to the huge genetic information set in his own body, he can also integrate other racial characteristics into it through the night method and the sign of their strength or not is their spiritual power. This may be the reason why the brains of pioneers and humans are highly similar. Because humans also have spiritual powers, many superpowers, because they have developed the potential of their brains and obtained powerful spiritual powers, affect reality and show various strange abilities. The Marvel world, as a God-created universe, seems that the law in terms of spiritual power is not harsh. Boss, I want to apply to use his genes to create a genetic drug that can be effective on humans. At this moment, 808 only felt that thoughts were gushing in his brain, as if countless ideas had been confirmed. Gene medicine? You mean, their genes can make humans stronger? Kinyan's eyes lit up. Isn't this kind of thing the super soldier potion? 808 can still make this thing? No dot 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 that's right, boss, it's a bit complicated. 808 thought for a while, and after organizing the speech, he said. The genetic information of the pioneers is encrypted. This is a means of advanced biotechnology, and it is difficult to decipher with our current technology. B. We don't need to decipher their genetic information, we just need to learn from their information expression dot 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 structure, and use the funnel chain to fuse the nine air chain in the fourth quadrant, etc. Hearing that 808 began to explain the details, Kinyan felt dizzy. He can understand the macro technology, but when it comes to these specific things, he can't understand. We are not professional scientists. Just say, what can this thing do? Can. Unlock the genetic clock of human beings? Question mark. Unlock the genetic clock. This is undoubtedly a shocking result. Once the genetic clock of human beings is unlocked, it means that a person can complete evolution in the present age. Means endless potential. But there are risks, right? Once the genetic clock is unlocked, what if it crashes? Without the existence of gene locks, human beings can grow up to the size of a blue whale, or have a strength of several thousand catties, well-developed muscles, etc. However, the key to the original human gene simply cannot afford the results after unraveling. For example, your muscle density is certain. No matter how much you exercise, there will be a limit. Without gene locks, every time you exercise your muscles just keep growing, or getting bigger, 
or getting denser dot 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 until the slightest movement breaks a bone. So this is my job. It needs the cooperation of genetic agents to change the direction of evolution controlled by nature into artificial control. That is to say, we want to change where we want humans to become stronger. For example, I want a 30 centimeters big dog. Then control this aspect in the genetic information. Kinyan understands, but the adjective 808 is really untenable. What is a 30 centimeters goober? This is meow. Okay, I agree dot 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 you try it. However, if this thing can be made, it must be good. If it can be turned into a suitable potion and given to everyone, wouldn't it mean that everyone in black will be a little superman? This is a great boost to the men in black organization. After all, the level of science and technology represents the upper limit of civilization, while physical fitness is the lower limit of civilization. Even a powerful weapon must be operated by someone, right? Give an ordinary person a level 3 civilized mecha, and give a superman the same mecha, the latter can at least hit hundreds of the former. However, boss. There is another problem. This potion is very complicated. It will take at least a year for me to make it alone. 808 said with some bitterness. You mean, lack of people? Yeah, dot 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 at least at the same level as me. Kenyan looked around, but felt a headache. There are technical personnel who can use the system, but genetic medicine, which involves the black technology of level 6 civilization, ordinary technical personnel can't use it at all. No amount of tricks will help. 808 is different. He is the same as 404, the only two relatively special talents presented by the system at the beginning. One is the technical leader and the other is the management leader. System. The ordinary special agents sold in the system are actually like the ones synthesized from the clone machine, and their quality is very average. Not as independent as 404 and 808. How many you want? For this level of scientific research, what is more important is not technology, but inspiration. If a scientist like me can cut the time in half, if there are two more, it's not necessarily so. Maybe it can be made in a month or even two or three days. In the research and development of black technology, the most important thing is inspiration. When there are more people with inspiration and they collide with each other, the result is not as simple as one plus one, it is almost an increase of geometric multiples. But how can it be so easy for a scientist of this level? You must know that there may not be many technicians in the entire universe who can research black technology. You do your preparations first. I'll help you find it. Can Yan thought? Should I go to three-body world to borrow some people from the coalition government? Their technology should also be regarded as black technology. There should be so many scientists like this, right? But, most of the technologies in the three-body world are biased towards physics or materials science. There are not many biological aspects. By the way, how much do you need for this corpse? Just leave some tissue for you? Kinyan looked at the corpse of the pioneer. That's when I remembered my purpose of coming here, boss. Take it if you want. We have taken enough tissue to develop genetic medicine. Genetic research only needs some weak genetic information, and it is not necessary to use such a large 3 meter corpse. Kinyan nodded and stepped forward slowly. Absorbable ability detected. Is the target absorbed? Infinity evolution system, two absorption methods. The first one is to stay with living people to analyze. This Kinyan uses on Wanda almost every day. The second one absorbs corpses. Kinyan hasn't used it much yet. So far, the infinity evolution system has not been used much. But Kinyan believes that as time goes by, the infinity evolution system will definitely give him a surprise when he comes into contact with more third type life forms. Absorb, absorbing, estimated time, 4 minutes. Following Kinyan's determination, a ray of light emerged from the void, then wrapped the whole body of the herder. The unknown energy seems to be analyzing and dismantling the microscopic information of the dead body. A few minutes later, as the light trembled, the grazing man's corpse instantly turned into countless particles, rushing towards Kinyan. Kinyan only felt a hot current flowing in his body, flowing through his whole body, as refreshing as soaking in a hot spring. Congratulations to the host, gaining the ability, gene control, body control, gene control, you are the master of your genes, you can accommodate foreign genes, and you can switch them between dominant and recessive to obtain different gene expressions. Body control, you are the master of your body, you can fine tune every cell in your body, and it can be used at the same time as gene control. Please explore the details by yourself. Note, the above two abilities require mental power as a prerequisite. If the mental power is not strong enough or insufficient, it will not be able to be used. There are actually two kinds. After seeing the ability absorbed by the system, Kinyan's eyes lit up, and he didn't know whether to be happy or worried. Happily, these two abilities are in line with the previous 808 guesses, and there is no doubt that this ability is very useful for Kin Future 4.2. After all, I am the leader of the men in black with the ability to travel through the heavens and worlds. There must be many strange creatures in the worlds. If the genes of those creatures can be collected, the speed at which you become stronger will be greatly increased. What is worrying is that this is just an ordinary herdsman. The strength of the sixth level civilization can be seen from his genetic expression. With such a low status, but with such an ability that is almost a bug, Kinyan's emphasis on pioneers has increased. Still, 
The new ability is a good thing. Kinyan began to test gene control. After possessing this ability, Kinyan discovered that he could actually perceive the information that every gene chain in every organ can express, such as pupil color, hair color, nose bridge height, etc. Even in the details, he also saw some ancient genes that came from before human evolution. Fish. Monkey. Subconsciously, Kinyan urges ability. The gene controls the reading of genetic information, and the body controls to promote the iterative changes of cells. Under the amazed gazes of 808 and others, Kinyan changed into 808's appearance, and then changed into a marinated egg. There seemed to be a pair of invisible big hands manipulating the skin and flesh on his face. It can become even more ruthless. Kinyan thought for a while and closed his eyes. Then, thick hair began to appear on his body. His facial features also gradually became abrupt. After a few minutes, it turned into a monkey. Kinyan looked at his body in amazement. It's amazing. Isn't this the 72 changes? He found that this kind of ability is almost the same as Monkey King's 72 changes. Boss. You. 808 looked at Kinyan blankly. Is this still human? Chapter 86 Space Mecha. Bring Iron Man to the world. Genetic mastery and physical mastery combined. As long as Kinyan has enough genetic information in his body, he can become almost any creature. However, just when Kinyan wanted to change back, he found that his brain became dull as soon as he used the ability. The spiritual power obtained by analyzing the origin magic power has also become weak. FK, Kinyan was startled, and quickly adjusted his breathing. It took an hour to transform himself back. I was scared to death. I thought I couldn't change back. Could it be that my mental strength is not enough? Is this thing so expensive? However, Kinyan felt it, and found that he still looks like he has plenty of energy and it's not that he lacks mental energy. The cost of activating the ability is not as much as imagined. That's... Oh, I see. Kinyan thought for a while, and saw the hair on the ground that had fallen from the monkey just now, and seemed to think of something. It's the brain. Although the monkey's brain is very similar to that of a human being, there are still differences. It is fine for a short time, but it can't maintain Kinyan's consciousness and mental power for a long time. After figuring this out, Kinyan almost broke out in a cold sweat. Fortunately, I changed back quickly. I feel like I'm going to delay the whole thing. When my brain collapses, I may not be able to change back at all. I can only resurrect the backup. It seems that you have to be careful when using this ability in the future. At least you can't change the structure of your brain. Kinyan took two breaths of cold air with lingering fear, lowered his head, and with a thought, he made something bigger. Originally, he already had the appearance of 12 or 13 centimeters, but now he has become 18. After all, he doesn't have as much appetite as 808. 18 is enough, boss. You have unlocked the genetic lock. The series of changes just now were all noticed by 808. And he rushed up excitedly. After Kinyan absorbed the corpse of the pioneer, all the following happened. He was not a fool, so he quickly guessed the result. Dot 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 don't look at me that way. My method cannot be copied. You should study it slowly by yourself. I'm going first. I'll find some helpers for you. Seeing 808's fiery eyes. Kinyan immediately thought of what he was going to do. This is obviously going to draw blood for myself. We obtained ability.21 through the system. And cannot be copied. Thinking of this, Kinyan hurried out of the laboratory. Only 808's lonely eyes remained. After leaving the laboratory, Kinyan looked refreshed because of the new ability. But I feel a little hungry. It should be that after the changes just now, a lot of energy in the body was consumed. After all, even genetic technology has to follow the conservation of energy. I was about to add some nutrition. But I received a message from an agent. Natasha Romanoff. Natasha Romanoff. Boss. Dot, 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 Tony seems to be going crazy. Dot, 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 should we do something? Natasha Romanoff. And. Wani's rocket is going to launch tomorrow. Dot, 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 he's going to check the spaceship. Seeing this news, Kinyan was stunned. Tony is going crazy. Speaking of which, Kinyan was still busy in the heavens and the world. Tony wasn't idle either. The aftermath of the large scale cleansing of the world's memory back then has always affected him. There is no way. Some things cannot be avoided. Tony wanted to hide but found that this world had become unknown to him. Tony. A call from Congress. Pepper gently pushed away the people in the bedroom, and asked tentatively to Tony who was curled up on the bed, covering his head with a quilt. Don't answer, don't answer. Didn't I say everything? No one will answer. From under the quilt, came Tony's muffled but somewhat crazy voice. Pepper looked at Tony's appearance, feeling distressed and helpless. This is the thirteenth call from Congress. After all, it is Congress. As long as Stark Industries is still in operation, it cannot do without the management of the country. Little Pepper sighed, took the phone silently and prepared to leave. But I saw that there seemed to be some convulsions in the quilt, and the sound of crying could be heard vaguely. Pepper quickly threw the phone aside, and carefully sat beside Tony's bed. The crying sound became clearer. Tony, he really looked like a child, hiding under the blanket and crying. Boss, Little Pepper's call made Tony tear off the quilt and then hugged her tightly in his arms. The little cry turned into a loud wail. Ugh, Potts, what do you think I should do? Why am I so unlucky? Why can't I remember anything? During this time, 
Tony has been under too much pressure. Since the disappearance of the satellite, the space station has replaced the satellite as a communication tool. Tony is not feeling well. Everyone knew that the three space stations belonged to him. Even he thought the space station was his. However, no one, any literature, or project records can prove this. The whole world is looking for him, from every company at the beginning, to every government department, to Congress. Almost the whole world needs help from him. However, he can only refuse, deny everyone, because, he doesn't have control over those three space stations at all. From compliments at the beginning, to doubts, to insults. Now, Tony has changed from being highly regarded and welcomed by the world, to an existence that everyone spurns and cats and dogs shout and beat. Now as long as you turn on the internet, 99 of the 100 sentences related to him are scolding him. Said that he is a selfish villain, said that his mind is wrong and he wants to control the world's communications and become the underground lord. Even his fans when he was Iron Man turned their backs under the guidance of this wave of public opinion. Tony Stark, spurned by the world. Even he began to wonder if he was really a selfish villain. Internet public opinion is very scary. Tony found that the world is so big that there is almost no room for himself. It's outrageous. People who have not experienced similar online violence will not understand Tony's feelings now. Can you imagine that such a proud and conceited man would become what he is now? Pepper didn't say anything unnecessary, but just patted Tony on the back silently showing him some concern. She's the only one who can trust Tony now. It's such a warm scene. Dot, dot, dot. The famous Tony Stark, Iron Man, hugged a girl and cried loudly tilde. Just when Tony was crying and laughing, at the door, Natasha Romanoff was laughing and joking. Natasha Romanoff, what are you doing here? J-A-R-V-I-S. Why don't you let someone in without my consent? Seeing that there was an outsider, Tony wiped away the tears on his face, and then started to yell loudly. However, after calling J-A-R-V-I-S, I suddenly remember that J-A-R-V-I-S is gone. Thinking of this, Tony's head drooped again. There was a problem with the core program of J-A-R-V-I-S, and he still hasn't found the reason, but since that day, everything has changed. The death of J-A-R-V-I-S was also a great blow to him. You must know that J-A-R-V-I-S is an artificial intelligence developed according to the template of his former housekeeper, and the database has been with him for many years. It was my second family member in this world besides Pepper, so I just died for no apparent reason. Originally, he planned to use the legacy of J-A-R-V-I-S to create an artificial intelligence. He had already thought of the name, and it was called Friday. But because of what happened during this period, he completely lost his mood for work. That's how I walked and you forgot, you gave me an access control before. Natasha Romanoff spread her hands tilde. This is true. The information in the door was originally only for J-A-R-V-I-S to better identify visitors. He has the final say on whether to open the door or not. But after J-A-R-V-I-S left, this became a loophole allowing Natasha Romanoff to become a visitor with information to open the door herself. You go, I don't want to see anyone right now. Tony was paralyzed on the bed in a large font, like a salted fish. I'm still thinking about why this happened. Tony, don't you want to know, what happened? You don't want to know, who owns the three space stations in the sky? Natasha Romanoff said something that made Tony sit up instantly. You know? Exclamation mark. He jumped out of bed excitedly. I knew IT. I knew IT was not mine. Who? Who did all this? Seeing Tony's excited look, Natasha Romanoff took out a file and handed it to him. Tony originally thought this document was the answer, but after taking a look, he realized that it was dot 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 an agreement. Men in black visitor agreement. There are many terms in the agreement, because some of them are talking about one thing. It is to confirm that you are going to be a visitor to a certain place, and everything will follow the arrangement after entering and the man in black reserves the right to continue to keep secrets, etc. What's the meaning? Tony frowned at Natasha Romanoff. I have already applied, as long as you sign it, I will show you the answers to all the questions. Hearing this, Tony thought for a few seconds before signing his name on the agreement. Then, the agreement was pressed on Natasha Romanoff's hand. Tell me, what's going on with all this? Then, come with me. Natasha Romanoff turned to lead the way, Tony hurriedly followed, without even changing his shoes. He rushed over in slippers. Before leaving, I did not forget to say, pause tilde, wait for me to come back. Tony originally thought that Natasha Romanoff would take him on some vehicle, but found out. After leaving his house, he went to a roadside public toilet 300 meters near the villa. What did you bring me to the public toilet for? Tony thought Natasha Romanoff was some kind of sick man, although he used to be a playboy, but he was not so casual. Just find a public toilet in broad daylight, who has this kind of mood? Natasha Romanoff rolled her eyes. Come on, the public toilet is similar to a small room, so small that it is even crowded when two people go in. Better cover your nose. Natasha Romanoff reminded intimately, pinching her nose while speaking. I think it's okay. It's not as Cho. Before he finished speaking, Tony only felt that his feet were empty. Comma. Then a large amount of unknown liquid racked them up, flushed them down like a toilet. Ugh. In the exclamation, I don't know how much saliva I drank. The two follow some kind of pipeline, 
constantly falling. It didn't stop until dozens of seconds later. FK. What the hell is this? My clothes are expensive. However, before Tony had time to complain, he was shocked by the environment in front of him. It's a dot 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 subway station. It's obviously underground, but brightly lit. A lonely platform. There are even drinks machines and benches. But other than that, there is nothing else. There is no door in and out, only a closed pipe, and I don't know where it leads. Numbers written on the platform. No. 715. The car is almost here. Natasha Romanoff glanced at his watch and pulled Tony up. What surprised Tony was that his body was clean without any water stains. They were obviously washed down just now. Stop. Almost in the blink of an eye, before Tony could react, a very sci-fi train appeared in front of their eyes. Just like 007 teleportation. This. Boarding. Natasha Romanoff pulled Tony into the car. However, as soon as he got into the car, the passengers on the car made Tony vigilant. Because, the people sitting on those seats, are not human at all. Alien. Natasha Romanoff. You. Don't worry, Tony. Calm down. These are Trisolarans. They are now considered. Employees of the men in black. Natasha Romanoff waved at Trisolaran very calmly. Trisolarans look different from humans, and their seats seem to have changed according to their body structure. Seeing Natasha Romanoff take the initiative to say hello, Trisolaran also said enthusiastically, Hello, Agent N. However, this so called saying appeared directly in the minds of the two of them. This feeling as if someone was talking in your head made Tony take half a step back involuntarily. What are you thinking? Find a place to sit down quickly. Seeing that Tony had no intention of sitting down, Natasha Romanoff hurried forward to help him. As the seat belt was automatically buckled, Natasha Romanoff quickly sat beside her. The train moved again. These Trisolarans don't have vocal organs, they speak through brainwave communication. Don't worry. When Tony heard this, the expression on his face became even weirder. It's all. What and what? Why in just a few minutes, it seems that the world he lives in is not the original world. Where did the Trisolarans come from? Tony took a deep breath, and subconsciously looked out the window. He couldn't even see the remnants of the retina clearly at the scene of the speeding past. How fast is this supersonic train? Tony quickly analyzed the speed of this train. Definitely exceeded the speed of sound, but he couldn't feel the acceleration at all. What technology is this? Exclamation mark. If you use it on your own armor dot 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 doesn't it mean? As a scientist, the shock in his brain was quickly replaced by science. At the same time, he also heard that Natasha Romanoff seemed to be chatting with those Trisolarans. Agent Hen is going back to their base? Yeah. I brought visitors. That's quite new, it's the first time I've seen a visitor. What about you? We just went to a small sub base to participate in the dismantling and analysis of a giant robot left by Aldrin before. Agent Q said that we will make some humanoid space meshes that can be manipulated as a basic combat unit. Because Gene 808 is researching genetic medicine, the individual quality of special service will definitely undergo earth-shaking changes in the future. Therefore, Kinyan asked the scientists of the Trisolaran civilization to participate in the research of the Mecha, and prepare to develop a Mecha as a basic combat unit. There's even a prototype, a legacy of Ultron's original existence. Once these two projects are completed, the basic combat effectiveness of the Men in Black will usher in a great improvement. Chapter 87 The Shock of the Mars Base The Richness of the Men in Black From the moment he got in the car, Tony has been in a foggy state. Before, he was very familiar with Natasha Romanoff. But Natasha Romanoff's operation today made him even more unfamiliar with this acquaintance. This subway station, at first glance, is not built by ordinary people, and even one of the subway entrances is in a public toilet a few hundred meters away from my home. This is outrageous. Not to mention, the people sitting in this car are not even from Earth. When did aliens start working on Earth? Even before the Battle of New York, Tony didn't know there was such a thing as aliens, and if there were, they were supposed to be some kind of invaders. Natasha Romanoff and their relationship is so good. Before Tony could think too much, about a minute or so later, the subway stopped again. It's here. Leaving his seat, Tony clearly felt that this platform seemed to be much more lively than the previous one. The original one-way lane has become a four-way train, and several subways are parked in the parking area beside it. From time to time, people come in and out. Among them, many aliens can be seen. For these heterogeneous, Everyone is a common scene. Even Tony saw that an alien accidentally bumped into a man in black, and the Japanese bowed down to apologize instantly. How respectful and respectful that look must be. It can be seen that even the status of aliens here is not high, or even inferior. Leaving the platform, it suddenly became clear that there was a huge amount of people in the hall. From time to time, many large equipment can be seen carrying containers into certain entrances. It's so busy here, like some kind of port. Everyone is going their way in an orderly fashion. So many people. Tony thought that there would be very few people in such a secret place, like SHIELD. The headquarters of SHIELD don't see so many people. Now there are more than 10,000 agents stationed in the headquarters, and there are many in each sub-base. 
the exact number of them is hard to count. Natasha Romanoff also looked at the busy scene in front of her with emotion. As more and more worlds are connected by the dimensional gate, various matters and projects have also begun to proceed. It's a world of difference from when Natasha Romanoff first came here. At the beginning, the entire base should only have about a thousand people, right? What now? Kinyan only made up 10,000 yuan for the basic secret service personnel in the later stage. Although he spent a lot of money, how can an organization do without people? The moon base in the pioneer world and the Mars base in the wandering earth world, these bases are constantly expanding. Immediately, the organization may usher in many third type beings, and there may even be permanent ones, all of which need resettlement. A venue is needed as a transit reception. And different civilizations and different races need different environments. There are more than a thousand kinds of biospheres provided by 808 that may need to be built. What ammonia environment, chlorine environment, water environment, hospital environment. These are all planned to be on Mars in the wandering Earth world. These preparations may never be used, but as a men in black organization, they must have them. So dot 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 the number of people has expanded unconsciously. Kinyan originally thought that one yuan for one special agent might be the cheapest in the system mall. Now it seems that as the organization continues to expand, if special agents are not recruited from outside, the cost of personnel may be an astronomical sum in the future. The men in black. What organization is it? Tony finally couldn't bear it anymore and asked, which government department is this? What does what happened to me have anything to do with them? Tony really hates dealing with this kind of organization, especially the men in black organization seems to be even bigger than SHILD. Although Tony was full of curiosity, but his personality made him want to find out the truth immediately and then leave. This matter, I don't have the authority to tell you, wait for the boss to tell you. Although Natasha Romanoff wanted to say it very much, she didn't dare to touch Kinyan's bad luck now. After all, she is already very sensitive when she works in both SHILD and the men in black. She has to be careful at the base now, lest Kinyan bring this up. Although he kept silent, Natasha Romanoff still felt a little pimple in his heart. Oh? Tony, I didn't expect you to come to. Vertical Bar Tilda. Surprisingly, when I first entered the elevator, I found that there were still people in the elevator. Banner? Dr. Helen Zhao? In the elevator, Wanda led Helen Zhao, Quicksilver led Bruce Banner and Natasha Romanoff led Tony. Sixteen people stared together with sixteen eyes. Why are you here? Banner Tony is also very familiar, let alone Zhao Hailan. The shrapnel on Tony's chest is Zhao Hailan's cradle of life technology to help him take out the treatment. Seeing so many acquaintances in this place at once made Tony start to think. What does the men in black organization mean? Tony, do you remember? Before Tony could think about 123, Banner said excitedly. Wait. Remember what? Oh, it seems you haven't remembered. Banner knew the result when he saw Tony's expression, and even patted him on the shoulder. Is it difficult recently? It's okay, you should find the answer here. What do you mean? You are also a member of this organization? No, it's my first time here too. Banner shook his head, but it has to be said. Dot 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 he did recover his memory. The memory eraser is not a high-end technology, and this kind of technology for ordinary people does not need to be so complicated. So, for Banner, amnestics don't work very well. His body is complex with two personalities and shared memories. Banner's personality comes from gamma rays, becoming an energetic soul. This kind of soul is independent, and memory is also independent of the soul. At the beginning, the memory of his main body was indeed eliminated, but some time ago, after his transformation, Banner's soul integrated with him again. That part of the memory that was erased was restored just like that. But he didn't tell anyone, but today, after receiving Quicksilver's invitation, he chose to take a look without any hesitation. As for Helen Zhao dot 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 he was kidnapped by Wanda. Tony, you were kidnapped too? Zhao Hailun's complexion is a bit bad. Today she was still researching something in the laboratory. Suddenly a woman appeared in the room when her eyes blurred. What's even more outrageous is that everyone, including the security guards, seemed to ignore her after seeing her. She was taken away by Wanda just like that dot 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 no one found out. Bound? Hearing this. Tony glanced subconsciously at Natasha Romanoff. Seems to be asking what's going on. Ahem, you understand. Secret organizations always have some special methods. Isn't this normal? As an old agent, she often does this kind of thing. I know shit. Tony rolled his eyes. Just when several people were still talking about something. The elevator opens. Are you here? The boss has something to go to the Mars base to deal with. Do you want to wait? 404 happened to be at the door of the elevator. After seeing a few people, he took the initiative to speak. Mars base? Didn't he just come here? Did something happen? Wanda asked, seemingly worried. That's not true. I went to the Trisolarans Mars base. Didn't the Trisolarans remodel that mecha? The boss went to see it for testing. Hearing that they were going to the Trisolarans Mars base, Wanda was relieved. She thought it was the sudden appearance of the civilization that destroyed the sun of the wandering Earth world. Look, wait here. 404 said, 
ready to take them to the lounge. However, it was interrupted by Tony. Wait, how long will it take? I don't have time to wait here. Exactly, what are you guys doing to tie me here? Zhao Hailun also booed. She didn't dare to speak like this before, but after seeing two acquaintances, she became a little more courageous. For a long time, others have made appointments for him. As a top rich scientist, when did he sit in someone else's office and wait for others? I'm not sure, maybe I'll be back soon. Maybe a day or two? 404 is also not sure how long the mecha test will take. Actually, you can also go to the Mars base to find the boss. He also left a few temporary passes and said that he can take you there if he comes back late. With that said, 404 took out a few cards. On the card, the names and portraits of the three of them were actually written. Before, because they wanted to coax Ancient One into joining the men in black, a clause was added at zero time. That is, people in this world, as long as they are not organized by the men in black, cannot use the dimension gate. But after Ancient One joined the Men in Black, this clause was just a decoration. Kin Yun only needs to issue a temporary certificate with his own authority. Then we'll go find him. Tony made his decision without any hesitation. Natasha Romanoff spread her hands and said it doesn't matter. Anyway, her task today is to bring Tony here. Then I won't go. Leave it to your brother. One inch. For some reason, Wanda blushed. Originally she was the most anxious one, but now she was afraid to go to Kin Yun. Because... The situation last night was really difficult to talk about. Last night was originally just an ordinary day of analyzing origin magic power. But the bed is so big, two people are always a bit bumpy together. She clearly felt that something was different about Kin Yun, much bigger than before. He didn't know that Kin Yun adjusted his body with the new ability at will, and thought that Kin Yun had some other thoughts about him. This made her blush for a long time, and she didn't fall asleep all night. Okay, Quicksilver took over Wanda's task. Just like that, Natasha Romanoff and Quicksilver led the three into the elevator again. Soon, they came to the floor of the Dimension Gate. This floor is busier than other places. Countless materials are constantly coming in and out of the Dimension Gate. Even because of too much material and personnel flow, two passages were set up. A few of them walked towards the artificial passage. Prove. Natasha Romanoff and Quicksilver pulled out their ID cards. The three of them subconsciously took out the temporary pass that 404 gave them just now. Go. Don't stay. After checking the documents, the security guards guarding the Dimension Gate urged them to leave without asking any further questions. When he came to the Gate of Dimension, Tony looked at this weird thing closely and stopped in his tracks. Wait, wait, what is this? A wormhole? How can you build such a thing underground? What if it blows up? As a scientist, Tony only took a few glances to analyze the inner nature of some dimensional gates. Startled, this is a wormhole. Distorting space through the gravitational force of a huge mass. Dot, 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 only a very high magnitude, unimaginably high is possible to appear. Stop talking nonsense, let's go. Natasha Romanoff grabbed Tony's arm and pulled it in. Ah. No, you don't really want to go through the wormhole without protection? Exclamation mark. FK. Isn't this sending you to death? However, with Tony's small body, where is Natasha Romanoff's strength? After all, Natasha Romanoff is also a small super soldier who has been transformed into a human body. Almost forcibly pulled to the edge of the wormhole by Natasha Romanoff. The closer Tony got to the dark hole, the more anxious he became. He regretted why he didn't come wearing armor. At least give me a space suit, I. Before the words were finished, a strong suction came, and the two disappeared into this world. Let's go. Quicksilver also urged Helen Zhao and Banner. Zhao Hailun was also a little scared, only Banner was full of excitement. His memory has been retrieved, and he almost immediately thought of what Kin Yun once said about this thing. This is the gate that can travel through the world. Let's go. It doesn't even need to be said by Quicksilver. He walked faster than Quicksilver almost jumped up and rushed up. At this moment, only Helen Zhao and Quicksilver are left. Glancing at Quicksilver, he pouted at the dimension gate, the meaning being self-evident. I. I'll go by myself. Zhao Hailun gritted her teeth, but mustered up her courage and walked over. It was better than being dragged away like that. I have experienced darkness for an unknown amount of time. When the light appeared in front of several people again, the sight in front of them made everyone's eyes widen. They seemed to be on a high platform, surrounded by a huge amounts of semicircular transparent cover. Behind them is the gate of dimension. The hood is huge, like, good Zhao, the center of a certain area. As for the outside of the cover, there is a dot 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 huge construction site. How big is it? As far as the eye can see, the smallest building is over 300 meters. Moreover, the architectural style is completely different from that of human beings, and there is no artistic aesthetic of human beings. Instead, a geometric aesthetic composed entirely of rational numbers. At a glance, you can't see the end at all as if the entire Mars has become a steel jungle. This is Mars? Exclamation mark. Tony was also dumbfounded. He heard what they said about the Mars base. Thinking that even if it is awesome, it is just a small colony, right? Unexpectedly, the scale of the building here is so grand. Even if he is a top rich man, he has never thought about money. At this time, he subconsciously calculates how much money will be needed to build these. 
The conclusion is, uncountable. Even ten of his entire net worth would not be able to make these things. The men in black organization is so terrifying. Too high. Yes, this is the number one Mars base. Now half of the construction period is completed, and the remaining half will take about ten days. Quicksilver snapped his fingers and calculated. Trisolaran's Mars base is almost complete. At that time, members of the entire Trisolaran civilization will move here. Dot 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 is it necessary to make it so big? Everyone, looking at the endless buildings, Tony really couldn't figure out what to do to build something like this. This is even more exaggerated than China's infrastructure. Big? Not too big. After all, hundreds of millions of people have to relocate here, and Mars is inherently small. Quicksilver has no idea about these things, he only knows that the Earth is smaller than Mars, and the entire civilization of three-body civilization lives in such a small place, so it should be no problem to build bigger buildings, right? How many billion people? Tony didn't know what to say anymore. There are hundreds of millions of people in this organization of men in black? Exclamation mark. How many people are there on Earth? Isn't it crazy that there are so many people? Chapter 88 th Individual 3 Level Combat Strength Nuclear bombs as firecrackers? These hundreds of millions are definitely not human beings, but trisolarans. When a three-body civilization needs to be relocated, it is impossible to just bring people with it. The heritage of the civilization must be brought together. Technical equipment, battleships, etc. Are you guys here? So early, just when several people were still shocked by the scene in front of them, Agent J walked over leisurely. Boss is at the proving ground. He saw you coming and asked me to pick you up. I haven't seen you for a few days, I feel like you're getting fat exclamation mark tilde. Quicksilver at the side went up to say hello enthusiastically. Their personalities are somewhat similar, and they get along relatively well. In addition, J brought some souvenirs of this world back to the base from time to time. The two of them were already very familiar with each other, so it was just a matter of asking for help. Hi a new chef came to the back kitchen recently, and he said it was at the level of a Chinese state banquet. Dot 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 that skill is beyond words. She smiled embarrassingly, clutching her bloated stomach. Let's go, don't be inked, you can catch up with the theater now. As he spoke, Jay waved his hand, and the speeding car hovering in the air not far away slowly landed. Huh? What kind of technology is this? Electromagnetic levitation? Or anti-gravity? Tony was attracted by the speeding car. Flying things are not difficult to see. He often wears meshes to fly and play. The key, even if she uses it, is still the propeller. Although the vector thruster he used was considered a very black technology, it still had to be sprayed. This car, however, can't see the nozzle at all, and it is quiet, as if history has not had the slightest influence on it. It should be anti-gravity, right? This is the technology provided by the Trisolarans, and this is what we drive on Mars, he said uncertainly, and looked a little dissatisfied. But this thing is quite boring, there is no sound at all and there is no feeling of roaring blood spurting. The speed is quite fast. It's just that the smart driving can't be turned off, and I don't know how to turn on the manual driving mode. Tony. Blood gushing. The roar of the engine. I have so many sports cars. There are dozens of cars in the garage, so we should change them. Although he really wanted to complain, Tony's pride kept him from saying this. The speed of the flying car was very fast, and after 10 minutes, they came to a site with huge amounts of, there may be hundreds of kilometers of driving, and there are almost no gaps in the huge building complex along the way. It's too big. These buildings may not be able to be built even after selling 433 the United States. Let several people feel the gold content of this Mars base again. Even Hai Lanzhou, who was kidnapped, was full of thoughts. This organization is really rich. Why do you want to kidnap me? You are the boss of this organization. When they came to a high platform with a glass cover, an oriental man was sitting on an exclusive chair looking out the window. Tony could tell almost immediately that he was different from his surroundings. Other people, whether they are aliens or ordinary humans, are all working. Only he seemed to come for sightseeing. Tony, Iron Man, long time no see. Oh, and Helen Zhao, Dr. Banner. Kenyan also smiled, raised the teacup in his hand and pointed to the seat opposite, signaling them to sit down. Long time no see. Is it the first time we met? Tony sat down without any hesitation, and his words seemed a little aggressive because he had already guessed that perhaps the things that made him overwhelmed during this period of time were all done by this man. Banner looked more polite, Agent Q, we meet again, you are still so leisurely. In Banner's impression, Kinyan has always been calm and breezy. Ha ha, Dr. Banner, the thing really doesn't work on you. Kinyan was talking about amnestics. Ham, although I am troubled by it sometimes, it will still bring me some unexpected help. Banner sighed, the Hulk had always been a real headache for him. Hey, don't talk about the old days. I'm here because I need an answer. Tony watched the two of them start chatting about homework, and couldn't help interjecting. Tony, you're a smart guy. Dot dot dot. Actually, you should have an answer in your heart, right? Kinyan smiled and looked at Tony. Tony colon dot dot dot. So, you actually did those three space stations, and everything that happened recently? Our memory was disturbed by you, right? By what means? Mind gem? Or some evil body technology? Tony, 
Actually, Agent Q is not malicious. The Men in Black organization is not some evil organization, I can attest to that. Seeing Tony's anger, Banner quickly consoled him. No offense, Tony suddenly spoke up. You know how I live, CBDH, all this time. You told me there was no malice? Banner saw Tony start to go berserk, glanced at Kin Yun, and chose to shut up helplessly. He felt that it was a bit uncomfortable to be caught between two people. Actually, Tony, have you ever thought that maybe I wasn't malicious? But I was doing it on purpose. However, Kin Yun said something very contradictory which made Tony's face full of question marks. Here's a video for you. As he spoke, Kin Yun waved his hand, and a picture was projected in the air. It was the time when I used the T-1000 to go to the Avengers Alliance base and met several people for the first time. In the picture, Kin Yun was about to speak, but was shot in the head by Tony. Then, the picture stopped abruptly. Tony also froze. Subconsciously glanced at Banner, meaning, did I really do this kind of thing? Banner covered his head and nodded awkwardly at Tony. See, you gave me a big gift when we met for the first time but I made you a person who attracts the attention of the world. I'll repay the blame with virtue, okay? FB. I don't know why, after watching this video, Tony lost his temper completely. In the memory he lost dot 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 he shot Kinyun in the head the first time he met. But, why? Why do you want to do this? And, isn't Kinyun okay? At this moment, Tony only felt that his mind was full of doubts. Why? What happened at that time? Why did you modify the memories of so many people? Why tell me now? Facing Tony's question. Kinyun did not answer immediately. Just looked at the watch. Don't worry about this matter. Let's watch something fun first. Just as Kinyun finished speaking, that huge open space outside the glass cover suddenly began to change. The thick floors on both sides slowly separated, and then something seemed to rise from the ground. This is, to the eye, is a huge amount of humanoid machine. Looking at the height of about 100 meters, compared with the size of human beings, it looks like a hill. Scary. JC001 Giant Combat Mecha. Basic Type 001 representing the basic combat power index that the men in black will soon deploy basic combat mecha exclamation mark 100 meters high exclamation mark tony was dumbfounded this thing dot 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 a thumb is bigger than his steel armor you tell me it's the basic type just in terms of size his mecha is like a child in front of this thing it's outrageous today was a test of some of his performance mainly test one aspect defense. Kinyun looked at this mesh with some anticipation in his heart. This is almost a combination of all the skill levels that the men in black can currently play. Even many key parts can only be produced by elementary level smart factories, and even Trisolaran's industrial equipment cannot be processed. Test Mecha. Tony also temporarily let go of the doubts in his heart. For tech men, this kind of technological product that is so awesome just by looking at it is even more attractive. Several people looked out of the glass cover. Begin the test. Item 1. Exploding a 100 million equivalent nuclear bomb at close range. A reminder sounded, but after hearing the content inside, several people were instantly dumbfounded. Wait! Exclamation mark a 100 million yield nuclear bomb? Is this a joke? What is the concept of 100 million equivalent? In those days, the ones on the two islands were only 100,000 level. Dot 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 the whole earth did not have such powerful nuclear bombs. Once this thing explodes, it can almost destroy the United States for half a week, and the subsequent impact will affect the entire hemisphere. You tell me. You need to use this thing at the beginning? Experimental testing dot 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 science is rigorous. Why make this joke? Kinyun spread his hands. WTFK. Under the stunned gaze of the crowd, a ball that looked extremely huge amounts of was caught by the mechanical hand at the foot of the mecha, and it was placed firmly on the ground. Then, the second, the third dot 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 it wasn't finished until six of them surrounded the meshs. Six warheads have been placed, totaling 600 million TNT equivalent. Question mark. Hearing the prompt. Even Banner couldn't sit still. I thought that even if it was outrageous, 100 million equivalents is already outrageous. Boy, isn't it one? Exclamation mark. Is it six? Exclamation mark. Damn. Playing nuclear bombs as firecrackers. Agent Q. Calm down. This is so close to us. Once it explodes, we will be gone. In front of them, their protection is just a layer of transparent glass. Reasonable. In front of nuclear bombs, glass is useful. Even if it is made in China, it can't handle it. Don't worry dot 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 it's definitely safe enough here. I spent a lot of money to build it, 5000 yuan. Kinyun looked a little pained. This test site was indeed built by Kinyun with a huge sum of money. I bought a starship level shield from the system, a level 4 civilization. It is large and difficult to move, but its power and protection level are definitely not what a nuclear bomb can blow up. The products produced by the system must be high quality goods, and the shield of medium level civilization is definitely enough to experiment with these things. Countdown to detonation. 10, 9, 8. After hearing the countdown, 
The three of Tony couldn't sit still, brother. I was wrong. I shouldn't have shot you in the head. Let me go. Tony actually gave in. The main reason is that he didn't expect Kenyon to play such a big game. This is a 600 million yield nuclear bomb. It's life threatening, isn't it? Exclamation mark. The distance between them is less than one kilometer, so it can't go directly to the sky. Relax I can't die. Do you want to eat fruit? This is genetically modified with a plant from Trisolaris and apples. It's delicious. As he spoke, Kinyan enthusiastically handed over a strange looking fruit. Tony is in the mood to eat fruit right now. Banner looked at Kinyan so calmly, and actually took the fruit and ate it. He has come into contact with Kinyan and has memories. Kinyan doesn't look like that kind of mad scientist. Maybe it's really safe here? Is it sweet? Don't say it, it's quite sweet but it has a strange taste. Banner subconsciously took another bite. Strange taste dot 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 that's a new taste developed by Trisolarans based on human hormones dot 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 I really like it. One dot 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 detonation. At this moment, a burst of dazzling light hit from outside the glass cover. For a moment, the whole room was like daylight, and nothing could be seen. The light wave is detected to exceed the standard, and the filter mode has been turned on. After filter mode is turned on, only then did everyone open their eyes, and the scene in front of them was terrifying. The concentrated explosion of six nuclear bombs with an equivalent of over 100 million, placed on ordinary matter, may even cause a chain reaction, causing the matter to collapse and disappear. Countless shockwaves, heat, and light collided and bounced back and forth in the closed experimental space. Even through the glass, you can feel the horror inside. However, the mesh, under such terrifying energy, there is no wave, not even a shiver. Everything around seems to be tickling. Seeing this scene, Kinyan also stood up. Good 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 good. The shell with strong interaction is really indestructible. That's right. The materials used in the entire 100 meter high mecha are shells made of strong interaction materials. Strong interaction materials, as the pinnacle of material science for the three body human body, are also expensive. They themselves only have a few medium sized warships and water drop detectors using this material. Because of the high energy consumption during the manufacturing process, a lot of energy needs to be consumed to compact the materials. Roughly speaking, it is to make them inseparable without collapsing like a black hole. The reason why Kenyan is so rich and powerful and uses this material to make the mecha is also because energy is not a problem for the men in black now. There are also many gaseous planets in the Trisolarant system, but they cannot be used because of the complexity of the Trisolarant star. But Kenyan used the zoom in and zoom out flashlight to take it away. The situation became simpler. At least by burning all the existing glass marbles as energy. Kinyan can still build a million units of JC-001. Add more. This time increase ten times. Open the shield too. Kinyan said to the air. The Trisolarans on the test platform over there received the message and quickly replied. OK received. Enabling energy absorption mode. Preparing a nuclear warhead. As the energy absorption mode of the laboratory was turned on. The energy waves that were originally crashing around in the enclosed space began to stop at a speed visible to the naked eye. When everything dissipated, the mechas still stood there firmly. Moreover, because the shield protects the test site, there is not even a trace of scratches on the ground. It seemed that everything that happened just now was just a dream. Both Tony and Banner were stunned, and Zhao Helen even sat down beside him, still trembling a little. Also, more? Ten times? Isn't that six billion equivalent? Crazy. This is enough to blow the earth apart. Hearing that Kenyan had to add more weight, Tony thought he was really going crazy. This is an experimental test. Isn't this destroying the world? Really played nuclear bombs as firecrackers. Chapter 89 Great New World. Live forever. Six billion equivalents. How much? Kinyan, on the other hand, looked very calm. Six billion equivalents is a terrifying destructive force for humans, capable of vaporizing almost all man-made objects. But, for a planet, a six billion yield nuclear bomb exploded on the surface, which is to scratch the skin. Although Mars is less massive than Earth. It is still a planet after all. It's about the same as one or two thousand times. It's not the planet I'm worried about, it's us. Tony looked at the mechanical alarm that had begun to place nuclear warheads in the test site, and felt his scalp tingling. He doesn't worry about what will happen to the planet after these things explode. The key to the problem lies in them. Such a close distance. At least let me let's talk a little further away, shall we? Don't worry, the safety standards of my test site are very high, and there will be no problems. FB. However, no matter what they think. Their will to experiment will not be shifted by other people's ideas at all. A minute later, a bigger explosion occurred outside the glass cover. The powerful shockwave continuously slapped on the observation window a few meters away from several people. The critical feeling of that horrible death is close at hand, but it was strongly blocked by that layer of glass. The target of the experiment, the giant mecha, still stands inside. For a moment, people don't know whether to feel that the armor is strong or this layer of glass is stronger. After experiencing the initial worry and fear, Tony also found that it seemed really safe here. He also focused on the screen next to the viewing window. At this moment, all kinds of data are displayed on the screen, 
making people dazzled. Most people will only think that these are just background versions. Tony. He understood. Six gigaton nuclear bomb exploded head on dot dot dot. The surface temperature is still zero. Not even a tremor. The performance of the mecha is simply unbelievable. Does this material really exist in the world? You must know that at this moment, the temperature inside the test site is at least tens of millions of degrees, but it seems that it does not affect the mesh at all. It's like he's out of this world. In Tony's previous cognition, the strongest metal in the world is vibranium. The shield in Captain America's hand is made of vibranium. It is said that it can resist almost all attacks. Tony even thought about using vibranium to make a steel armor. But first, there are not so many materials, and second, the molding of armor requires countless parts, and it is very laborious to process precisely. Originally, Tony thought that vibranium's steel armor might be the strongest form in the future. Now it seems that it is a fart. The performance of vibranium is also impossible. He has tested the shield of Captain America for countless times. In front of this thing, it is completely the difference between plastic foam and aerospace titanium alloy. The most important thing is the size of this mesh. That is amazingly large. At a height of 100 meters, one is enough for him to make thousands of steel armors. Is this a strong interaction metal? After being immersed in the ocean of scientific data, Tony quickly entered the state, completely forgetting about the danger of a nuclear explosion, and even couldn't help but approach the observation window, crawling on it to see clearly what stood in the flames and rays of light JC-001. The test results are not bad. Kenyan was also very satisfied when he saw that the mecha was intact. When all exposed parts are made of strong interaction materials, the JC-001 in front of me can almost be said to have fulfilled expectations perfectly. The base defense utilizes super materials. Originally he was also equipped with shields. It's just that the protection of the shield depends on the power, and the research of the man in black on the shield is very mature, so there is no need to test it now. Combining the two into one, this mesh can almost be said to be an invincible existence of low-level civilizations. Individual level 3 combat effectiveness. To destroy it, unless it is a light-speed weapon that uses physical means, it is possible to hit the strong interaction force that destroys the surface such as laser guns, particle guns and the like, although they can reach the speed of light, there is a gap between them and the real speed of light weapons. Lasers, as well as high energy particles, are originally a kind of energy, and it is very easy for the energy to reach the speed of light. However, it is very difficult for matter with a complete structure of physical constants to reach the speed of light. It is basically impossible for low-level civilizations to have such means. It's like the light of a flashlight, which is actually the speed of light, but if you shine a flashlight on someone, it won't kill them, right? However, if you accelerate an iron to the speed of light, the power is completely different. The defense test of JC-001 is completed. Next, it only needs to be equipped with a driver, give it sufficient power and speed, and add a driver who can control it. This mecha can just enter the assembly stage. As for the weapons, are you kidding me? We need weapons. Simply equipped with some particle weapons would be fine. The main attack method is still a cold weapon. As long as I'm fast enough, I can cut down the battleship with a knife. How about it, Tony? Isn't my mesh not bad? How does it compare to yours? Kinyan said to Tony with a smile. Tony, I, U, F, King Meow, what do you want me to say? How is it better than mine? Is it worth comparing? Exclamation mark. Regardless of body size, 10,000 steel mechas can't compare to the fact that they can resist nuclear bombs head on. Although he is an Iron Man, his combat power increases dramatically when he puts on armor. But his Mark series, just a few ordinary missiles will cost him half his life. Dot 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 nuclear bombs? Do not make jokes. However, the pride in his heart made him not want to flatter others. Well, the defense is quite good, but I don't know how to attack. After all, meshs are used for fighting, so you can't stand still and be a target. Where is this mecha? This is a turtle. As he spoke, Tony even laughed out loud. But both Banner and Zhao Hailan could hear the embarrassment in this smile. Iron Man's armor is being compared to others. Definitely won't be the target. Our plan is to equip it with an antimatter inducer as a drive. It can accelerate up to 10% of the speed of light and can perform right-angle vertical tactical maneuvers at the fastest 1% of the speed of light. Trisolarans have ample experience in the antimatter propulsion combined with strong interaction materials. It can even be used directly. However, upon hearing such technical parameters, Tony said in disbelief, the highest speed is one-tenth of the speed of light. Can you do vertical maneuvers at 1% of the speed of light? How can this be? You know, the speed of light is about 300,000 kilometers per second. 1% of the speed of light is 3,000 kilometers per second. Prior to this, the fastest human-made object was an intercontinental missile, which could reach Mach 25 to 30, which is 9 kilometers per second and 10 kilometers per second. Not to mention vertical maneuvering. If you do it a little bit, you don't know where you are going. Performing vertical maneuvers at a speed of 3,000 km per second, such a science fiction. Even he has never had such a dream. However, looking at everything around, 
there is still a nuclear explosion of six billion equivalents that is slowly dissipating. Perhaps, this mysterious organization really has this kind of technology? This is also dot 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 too outrageous. But dot 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 but, even if you can make this kind of thing, it's not considered a machine, right? It can only be controlled by an intelligent program dot 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 but the information is always delayed. For such a high speed mobile combat unit, it must be processed internally dot 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 but no driver can bear this pressure, right? Unknowingly, Tony has even brought himself into the role of a technician and began to analyze the pros and cons of this mecha. There is indeed such a problem. Kinyan nodded. As an individual mecha that is ready to be installed as a basic equipment. JC001 still has some problems that have not been resolved. The control system is the key among them. To control him, you still need to analyze information. His speed means that his combat radius will be very far, and remote control is simply unrealistic. In the future, the heavens and worlds will be involved, and they will not be in the same world making it even more difficult to control. Even with quantum communication, there will still be some interference and problems. After all, the current technological level of the men in black has not yet reached the level of quantum backup equipment. Even artificial intelligence control cannot handle some complex situations. And how can artificial intelligence be so easy? It is unrealistic to configure 10 motors for every 10 motors. One Aldrin is enough for a headache. Kenyan doesn't look like he's making an omnip crisis. Therefore, the crux of the problem lies in the driver. Because of the weak force field technology, in terms of overload, there is no need to worry so much. But huge amounts of speed can still be stressful. Especially when maneuvering vertically. There is also the reaction speed. The current human reaction speed cannot keep up with the movement speed of the machine, and it is easy to cause a scene where the reaction is too slow. So, so, this mecha is not prepared for ordinary people at all. His future driver, in our plan, will be a modified super genetic warrior. This is why I asked you to come. After going around for a long time, Kinyan finally revealed his purpose. Super genetic warrior? Are you going to study genetic modification? When Banner heard this, he seemed a little resistant. He was originally the product of an experimental accident. Because of the powerful mutation, many people regard him as a guinea pig for genetic experiments. It was undoubtedly a heavy past, which I cannot bear to look back on. Zhao Hailan is very interested, because this is her major. Let me show you a file. As Kinyan said, he picked up a few tablets from the side coffee table and handed them to the three of them. The three of them took it and looked at it suspiciously. Dot 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 asking for flowers. Five minutes later, Helen Zhao was the first to stand up excitedly. I join. There is no doubt that the information on this tablet is exactly the blueprint for the project after the pioneer gene research compiled by 808. Gene locks. Controllable evolution. Controlling the human body. These, for a scientist in the field of life genes, are simply irresistible things. Moreover, Zhao Hailan is not an ordinary life gene expert, she led the research and development of the Life Cradle Project, which has been able to accurately reconstruct various human organs. But compared to gene locks, it is still much worse. This is the active control of genes. Once the research results are obtained, human beings can even completely control their own bodies without using any equipment. That picture is so beautiful I can't even imagine it. Think you are not smart enough? Then evolve your brain and get ten times more intelligence first! Exclamation mark. Do you feel that your strength is not strong enough? Evolve your body structure, and it will take two seconds to blow up a tank with one punch. Even, when that period comes, the future life of human beings will undergo huge amounts of changes, such as, on the street, two people were chatting, and suddenly a man held his chest and said, my heart hurts a little, it seems to be a heart attack. Are? Then you, then I'll fix it. While speaking, the person with heartache stretched out his hand without any hesitation, inserted a powerful force into his chest and tore out a beating heart. Other organs in the chest cavity can also be seen. The bloody scene did not cause the shock of passers-by, they just glanced at it and left indifferently, and inside his chest, visible to the naked eye, countless flesh and blood tissues are being reconstructed. Zero. After about ten seconds, a healthy and complete heart grew out. Even the hole in the chest is back to normal immediately. This is the power of gene locks. Human beings will no longer have disabilities, no diseases, and even everyone is a superman and everyone is an elite, high IQ, high physical fitness, no disease, no pain, vigorous vitality, at least a thousand years of life expectancy, if you find the right gene, even immortality is not a dream. This is the great new era of mankind after unlocking the genetic lock. Such a picture, even Zhao Hailan felt trembling all over just thinking about it, even a little shivering. Being able to participate in this kind of research, no matter for any expert in biological genetics, is no less than smoke from the ancestral grave. Therefore. Even if it was kidnapped by someone, Zhao Hailan recognized it. I'm joining too. After Banner thought for a moment, he also chose to join. His purpose is very simple. He has a multi-subject degree, and even genetics is not his main research subject. He is not the kind of mad scientist, nor does he look up to his name in the history of science. However, from this project, 
he found the potential to solve his own physical problems. Perhaps, the Gene Lock project can free him from Hulk's troubles. Seeing that both of them chose to join, Kinyan nodded very satisfied. This time, 808 shouldn't be complaining about the lack of people, right? Then, he set his sights on Tony. Tony was also shocked as he held the documents. However, he is very hesitation. I'm curious, why did you find me for such a thing? I'm not an expert in genetics, I don't even have much research on this. I'm best at physics and mechanics. Even though genes are not Banner's main research direction, he still understands and even has a relevant degree. He, Tony, thinks that they are not as bad as them in science, but he is not as good as Helen Zhao and Hulk in the subspecialties. Why did you find yourself involved in this kind of project? Maybe it's because of regret, or it's because of the shot you owe me or it's because of your daughter? Kinyan smiled. Once at the fourth wall, he had clearly seen Tony's death. After really getting in touch with him, Kinyan found that Tony in this period also had an unlikable personality. Conceited, proud, he is the best in heaven and earth. He even gave himself a little when they met for the first time. However, Kinyan still has the feeling that Tony is a dead man. It seemed that in the next second, he would lose his life because of snapping his fingers as he had seen before. Only the sentence from his daughter was left, love me three thousand times. But now, when he arrived, Tan Chen was still alive. Being able to look at him seems to allow Kinyan to find his own memories. Realism. Perhaps only in this way. Kinyan will feel that he is also a living person, not a plot in a certain world wall. Countless worlds, countless universes, vast and empty. Kinyan doesn't know whether he is alive or dead, or if he is just a certain memory, a past that once existed. Tony's biggest role is to remind Kinyan. Everything he does is still meaningful. Dot. Chapter 90 15 Days of Death Judgment of Fate Definitely, Tony's research ability is not for nothing. In the research and development of JC-001, the control system, mechanical structure, weapon system, and the interactive control between the driver and the mecha are all areas where Tony can exert his strength. After all, although Trisolaran's technology system is mature, the mechas are still for humans to use. In terms of some details that are suitable for human beings, Trisolaran's must not consider as well as humans originally. Plus, who said we only have this one project? A scientific research genius like Tony, since he joined our men in black, can he still run? Wait. My daughter? When did I have a daughter? Tony was taken aback. He has a daughter? Why didn't he know? Could it be the romantic debt left over from the past? It shouldn't be. He has already brought safety tools. You and Miss Potts are going to have a daughter. Dot 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 she's lovely. Question mark. Pepper and I dot 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 have a daughter in the future? Wait. How do you know about this? Time is a very interesting thing. When you experience time, time has already given you the answer. Kinyan didn't explain, but said something vaguely. Tony looked at Kinyan, but had a bold idea. A time machine? This is too weird. How could there be such a thing in the world? Quickly shake these thoughts out of your head. I join. After countless considerations in Tony's mind, he finally chose to join. No way, he really couldn't refuse the temptation of this JC-001. Not even Iron Man. Then, welcome to join the men in black. Kinyan smiled mysteriously. Earn a lot. That is to say, there is no system mall to sell it. If it could be sold, these three people would have to sell it for at least 10,000 yuan, right? After all. Every special talent with ability is somewhat metaphysical. 683. Even if ordinary secret service technicians are buying 10,000, they may not be able to use one such scientist. Inspiration is the ultimate destination of scientific research. However, the three did not join the men in black as agents. Instead, he signed a contract and became a worker as a logistics employee. This is also a means of hiring the men in black. After all, the human group is so huge and the society is very complicated. There will always be some people who can't really completely abandon the past and become a person out of society who will always hide in the dark. But these people have some abilities that the men in black need. Therefore, logistics employees are a compromise method. The employee's authority is not high, and they don't have much initiative. They have to apply to the agents even to cross the gate of the dimension. However, the men in black don't care too much about them. Just complete the contract. Kinyan gave them a day to go back and organize their things and deal with things. From the next day, 808's gene lock project will officially start. When Tony got on the subway in a daze and returned to his big villa again. Only then did one thing come to mind. Didn't I go to find answers and solve problems? Why did I become a wage earner without knowing it? Tony froze. The reason why he and Natasha Romanoff went to see Kinyan was to solve the problem of memory loss. You must know that up to now the internet is still bullying him. You're back. While Tony was still in a daze, little Pepper suddenly rushed out from nowhere and burrowed into Tony's arms. Are you okay? Are you tired? I'll get you a cup of coffee. Feeling the warmth in his arms and the words of concern, Wani only felt his heart soften. Little Pepper. Dot, dot, dot. Although I always tease her for her hot personality, she is the person who cares most about herself in this world. No matter what happened to her, she would never ask or talk too much. She just showed up when she needed it most, and handed herself a cup of warm coffee. This warmth also melted Tony's heart. He grabbed Pot's hand. Don't go. 
I don't want coffee right now. Dot, 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 I just want you. Question mark. It was said that we would have a daughter. Dot, 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 I wanted to verify if it was true. Question mark. Ah, as the night passed, Potts waited on Tony helplessly, tying his tie. Why do you want to wear this suit? It's a bit old-fashioned. I think the latest one this year is more suitable for you. This suit on Tony was his black suit from a long time ago. The last time he wore it was a few years ago. Tony looked at himself in the mirror, but said with satisfaction, I see that their uniforms are all wearing this style, thinking that sooner or later they will have to change, why not wear their own, which fits them well. They, uniforms? Are you going to some old party from the 1980s? Boji rolled his eyes. What kind of party are you attending? I joined a company to work as a technician. It seems that I have to change clothes on the first day of work today. I'm afraid of trouble, so I just get dressed and go. Tony said very naturally. Joined a company to work? Posy looked dazed, and even stopped the movement of his hands. There is the Stark industry of New ODA, the top rich man Tony Stark, even though Tony Stark is scolded on the internet now, the stock price has not fallen, and even rose by 50%. It's no exaggeration to say that Tony is the richest man in the country. You tell me you're going to work? This is some kind of snakeskin joke. Is there any company in the world that can make the famous and richest man Tony Stark go to work? Is there anyone in this world richer than you? Potts just thought it was funny. Tony was still like a child, one thing came out the other, rich? Dot, to be reasonable, I don't think I'm as rich as he is. Tony couldn't help replaying the scenes he saw yesterday, the boundless Mars base. Dot, 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 where is my little money in Thailand not even a fraction? If Stark Industries is a sheep, should they be a blue whale? Hearing Tony's comparison, Poz looked at the man in disbelief. In her memory, Tony has always been proud of Stark Industries, even when facing the country, he never showed such an expression. But today, he actually compared his company to others like this. What stimulated this? Pause. Don't worry. Don't ask. The company is temporarily handed over to you. I should be able to take a vacation after I finish this month's work. Tony's expression was also a little strange. I don't know why, but now he suddenly feels like an office worker, a wage earner. This psychological emotion has never been experienced before. Okay dot 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 whatever you want to do, just do it. But Potts didn't say much just quickly helped Tony tidy up his appearance. This is also what Tony likes most about Potts. She never interferes with what she wants to do, but will always be her backing, helping him solve some trivial matters and troubles. Because of the madness last night, both of them got up late in the morning. Tony looked at his watch, didn't even have time to eat breakfast, just picked up the sandwich on the table, carried the bag, and said, while running, I'm going to be late. I'm leaving first. Posy wait for me to come back. Seeing this scene, Little Pepper said helplessly, you are going in the wrong direction. The garage is on the right. No, no, no. I'll go through the gate. Take the subway. Potts. Subway. The nearest subway station is more than five kilometers away from their home, right? Looking at Tony's back, Poz looked worried. Tony, you're not crazy, are you? 808. There are still 15 days left. After 15 days, the Bishop of the Pioneers will descend on the earth. You need a helper, and I found three for you. Within 15 days, I must see the success of the genetic modification drug. At the entrance of the laboratory, Kinyan and 808 spoke seriously. The arrival of the pioneers is the biggest problem that the men in black organization is currently facing. Kinyan has been having a headache with this. As an old six-level civilization, the hard steel on the front is definitely not strong enough. Only by confirming that Wanda is the reincarnation of the pioneer queen, is it possible to continue dealing with them. But, Wanda is a native of the Marvel world after all not the reincarnation of a heroine at all. As the lowest level of pioneers, herders must have a lower vision than bishops. In order to make Wanda closer to this identity, genetic medicine is imperative. After taking the genetic medicine to unlock the genetic lock, Wanda will look more like a reincarnated queen. Therefore, before the arrival of the pioneer bishop, the genetic medicine must be successful. This is also the most critical 15 days, and the genetic medicine will become Wanda's best disguise. R. 15 days, boss. This is too difficult. This is scientific research. I don't know how to make it. I can't guarantee Tanushin. Hearing the 15-day request, 808 seemed very embarrassed. Why, didn't you say that scientists of this level, as long as there are a few more, they can even succeed in research the next day? Is it these few people who can't do it? Are they not genius enough? Kinyan looked at 808 with a puzzled face, and said that scientific research depends on inspiration. The combined inspiration of these three people is enough to play a superhero movie. That's not the reason. They do have great potential. They are all geniuses, but they have potential. Genius and ability are two different things. Their foundation is too weak, and they can't use it for the time being. 808 felt helpless. The scientific basis of the men in black has been completely updated to the stage of a second level civilization. So is the body of knowledge. Although Tony Banner and the others are also very powerful genius scientists, their knowledge base is still at the first level of civilization. That is, the theoretical knowledge on Earth, 
Even some black technology cannot represent how high their theoretical foundation can be. This caused a generation gap between them and 808 after they participated in the work. No matter how good the inspiration is, it doesn't work in front of the generation difference. Then you can't teach them. I can teach, but in terms of time... Dot 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 15 is even more impossible. The work of 808 is also very heavy. If you are a teacher and work at the same time, the time will definitely be too late. Kenyan also frowned. Let me figure out a way. This is a problem that must be solved at present. If the genetic medicine is not developed as soon as possible, the flaw will be seen due to the probability. At that time, the men in black will not be able to participate in the battle of the sixth level civilization. Now, it is necessary to find a teacher for the three of them. Those who have sufficient advanced genetic science knowledge and have time to teach should teach quickly. With Kinyan remembered one thing. That is, those two herders of the Pacific Rim world. You, I can't work too much for the things I cause by myself, right? Thinking of this, Kinyan quickly greeted people and went to the Pacific Rim world. Hearing what Kinyan asked the herders to do, the two herders were stunned. Ah, Queen, do you mean that you want us to be teachers to human beings, to teach knowledge? But none of us major in scientific research, we are miscellaneous soldiers. Herders are the lowest level unit of the pioneer civilization. As an advanced civilization, you must have the most basic quality education. Human beings have nine years of compulsory education, Kinyan does not believe that there is no such thing in the pioneer civilization. When we were born, there was a lot of basic scientific knowledge in our genes... But it was all basic and useless. Advanced ones can only be accessed by people with high status. Shepard explained, enough. Don't need advanced knowledge. Just basic knowledge. Kinyan nodded. It seems that the pioneers have already written the inheritance of knowledge into genes. Although low level pioneers are equipped with low level knowledge, that is for the pioneers. Where does the low level knowledge of the sixth level civilization go when it is low energy? It can't be lower than humans, right? At least being Tony's teacher is definitely enough. Okay, the Queen's will is our direction. It was okay to hear that, and the two herdsmen agreed without any hesitation. Just go to one of them, which one of you will go with me? Let me do it. Soon. Kinyan determined the candidate for the teacher. In order to prevent the leakage of the information of the dimension gate, Kinyan specially had him stunned and frozen before passing through the dimension gate. The vitality of the pioneers is extremely tenacious, as long as the head is not lost, even if it is frozen into a popsicle for decades and then thawed, it can still be alive and kicking. It is said that at a higher level, only the head can live. The legendary queen is even more spiritual in the universe and can be reborn from a long time. This is why they believe that Wanda is the queen. Stop what you're doing first. I've found a teacher for you. The first day they entered the laboratory of the man in black, the three of them were very excited because everything here is brand new, new projects, new knowledge systems, and new research directions, and each of them is completely invisible from the outside. When interrupted by Kinyan, I saw Kinyan pushing a big coffin in with the secret service. As the coffin was opened, several people were startled. They also met a lot of Trisolarans, but this was the first time they saw the pioneers. This is a pioneer. A teacher from another civilization who came here for you. Your level is too bad, he will give you tutoring for the next 10 days. Within 1.2 days, you must learn to the extent that project number one can be progressed smoothly. And what's more, don't tell him what you are researching. Hearing Kinyan's words, the three of them looked at each other, then nodded. It's just that the expression is a little weird, because this is the first time someone said that their level is too poor in scientific research. But after working all morning, they had to admit this problem. Many things are the most basic in 808's eyes but they don't know anything about them, and they can't even hear what he is talking about. Seeing everyone nodding, Kinyan pressed the unfreeze button. Oh queen, I see you again. The first time the herdsman regained consciousness after thawing, he began to flatter him. Kinyan waved his hand. Work. Your time is only 10 days. 10 days, although nervous, should not be a big problem for these three geniuses, right? There is no way, as much as you can learn in 10 days, you can only leave 5 days for them to study the gene locking potion. This is already very tense. If the research fails, we can only wait for the trial of fate. Kinyan was also anxious. After Kinyan left, the three of them came together out of curiosity. Look at this three meter tall teacher. The pioneer and the emaciated Trisolaran are completely aliens in two styles, and their bodies look very strong, full of power. Zhao Hailan asked even more curiously, You called him queen just now? This is what the shepherds called Kinyan. That's definitely. Agent Q is our queen forever. Why is it called that? The one who matches the king's 111 is the queen. Isn't it like this for human beings? Upon hearing this, the three of them froze for a moment. And dot 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 Wang Ji out 213 match. Kinyan actually did such a thing. Dot. Chapter 91 connecting to the second dimension. Paper world. The harbinger is three meters tall and has more than one arm. It is not an exaggeration to say that it is superhuman. Not to mention looks. They are not of the same race, and they are not of the same aesthetic at all. Kinyan, 
actually got involved with the king of such a race? Tony felt a chill. How did you manage to do this? Won't you be sluggish? It seems that the work of the man in black is not easy to do. Banner shook his head and sighed, feeling that Kenyan was really too difficult. These words instantly won the approval of Tony and Zhao Hailan. The two nodded quickly. Tony was even a little bit upset with Kenyan before. But now it's completely gone. They have even made up various plots in their minds. What powerful alien civilization wants to invade the earth, at the time of life and death, the king of the alien civilization has taken a fancy to Kinyan. At a critical moment, Kinyan chose to sacrifice himself for the sake of world peace, to be the queen of aliens. The sacrifice is too great. At this moment, the impression of Kinyan in their hearts became great. Kinyan didn't know it. It was just because a title aroused everyone's imagination of him. Because, he is dealing with a big event. The Dimensional Gate has received a new world connection request. But this world is different from all the previous worlds. Light conceives all living beings, life follows shadows. Light washes away my soul, shadow shelters my body. Restrain desires with Taoism, be happy but not promiscuous. Ning residual body and skin, do not abandon light and shadow. Lord of light and shadow, please listen to our prayer tilde. On the control panel of the Dimensional Gate, Countless religious slogans are constantly swiping the screen. The people watching were stunned, and even Kinyan saw such a way of communication for the first time. Shouldn't the normal situation be, call 30, here is 30, request to connect? Something like that? How did this start to become metaphysics? The most important thing is that in the column of basic information about this world, the label of the two-dimensional world is clearly visible. We suspect that the other party discovered the dimensional gate somewhere, but we don't know that we men in black thought it was left by some god so it became like this. 404 is also analyzed. I understand, that is to say, a certain sect has discovered our dimensional gate now. And pray is a miracle now? Kinyan was speechless. Moreover, this slogan, he felt a little familiar. 21 was a bit like an anime he had seen outside the fourth wall. In combination with the label of the two-dimensional world, the opposite world should be a certain gauge. But in my impression, although that world has encountered a crisis, what my ecology dot 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 but isn't this thing made by humans in their own laboratories, and it doesn't match the work of the man in black. The most important thing is that there seem to be few living people left in this world, and it seems that there is little point in rescuing. However, since they are all connected, they still cannot be ignored. The two-dimensional world dot 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 it's the first time I've seen it. Isn't it full of paper figures? 404 was a little excited. Kinyan was a little curious. He always thought that the objects connected by the dimensional gate could only be human beings in the three-dimensional world, or higher dimensional ones, but he was really interested in the low-latitude ones. Go in and take a look, don't you know? Now that they decided to take the initiative, 404 immediately arranged a special service team to investigate the bottom. Soon, in less than half an hour, the special intelligence team came back. However, the first thing everyone came back was to look at each other, and then their expressions became very strange. What's the situation? 404 hurriedly asked. The situation on the other side. Dot 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 it's not clear, it's strange. Dot 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 it's hard to describe in words. However, there is no danger. We launched a satellite to scan. Everyone on their side is a bit fanatical. Dot 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 the boss has to deal with it. The Secret Service team are all professional Secret Service personnel. But as pioneers, they are somewhat indescribable about this experience. They just felt that after traveling through the past, everyone seemed to have undergone plastic surgery. But there was no discomfort in the body, and it returned to its original state after returning. This aroused Kenyan's curiosity. Back up he picked up his quantum life backup device and took the initiative to back up his current state once. I'll go and see for myself. I have to say that although this new world is very weird, it is actually very meaningful to the man in black. The attack of the two-dimensional foil is coming and the research of advanced civilizations on two-dimensional destruction weapons is definitely more than that of Trisolaran. How to deal with it is also something the man in black needs to consider. Under normal circumstances, when a three-dimensional creature is suppressed into a two-dimensional creature, life will definitely be in danger. After all, if one dimension is lost, the life body will collapse with a high probability. But this world is a complete, two-dimensional world. Even if the man in black has not done anything in this world, just studying the situation in this world is enough to improve the man in black's current understanding of dimension technology. After everything was ready, Kinyan called Quicksilver, and together with the special service team entered the dimension gate. Originally, I wanted to ask Wanda to go with me, but I don't know why. These two days Wanda has always looked like she didn't sleep well, very tired, I don't know why, she sleeps together every day. The moment he passed through the dimension gate. Kinyan noticed a different change. He felt that the whole world suddenly became enlightened. It's an amazing feeling. It was like being covered in a quilt all the time, and suddenly, the quilt was lifted. Everything has become so fun. It's like drinking ten bottles of iced coke in a row. This feeling cannot be described in words. At the same time, Kinyan found that his body was also changing. The color of his body began to become uniform, 
and his facial features began to change towards the direction of the second dimension. Interesting. If Qin Yun was originally a full-color human with 128 colors, now it seems to be a low-profile version with 16 colors. The body loses more detail, but maintains full awareness and structural drive. Two-dimensional dot 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 three-dimensional, sure enough, one dimension is lost, that is, some kind of information is lost. It is different from the imagined world where the surrounding world is full of paper. In Qin Yun's eyes, the world is still 3D. It's just that if you close your eyes and feel, you can still perceive that the information doesn't seem to be lost. It's just that the world can't show it. Just like a black and white TV cannot display a color picture. Lord of Light and Shadow. You have finally arrived. When Qin Yun was still perceiving this change into a two-dimensional world, a man in a robe brushed up excitedly. He knelt down on the ground, shouting the name of the Lord of Light and Shadow, like a fanatic. At a glance, many uniformly dressed people all knelt down early, as if on a pilgrimage. Charles, for some reason, Qin Yun saw a lot of information from the man in front of him just by taking a look. Moreover, what Qin Yun can confirm is that this information does not come from his own memory outside the fourth wall. Instead, it seems to be obtained from the three-dimensional perspective that I have long been accustomed to in my subconscious. In other words, dot 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 the extra dimension in the three-dimensional world is likely to be related to information. Qin Yun couldn't figure it out for a while. However, Charles, who was kneeling on the ground, trembled. The great lord of light and shadow. You really are paying attention to us. He seemed very devout. But, while Qin Yun listened to his words, he felt that he was more excited than admiring the gods he expected. It's surprise and threat, and even hostility in thinking. This shouldn't be the thinking that a fanatic should have at all. If I remember correctly, this world should not be complicated. After the experiment was leaked, a kind of life form took over the whole world, and human beings were almost extinct. Some human beings live above the lighthouse, which is an old-fashioned prison that can fly. The Church of the Lord of Light and Shadow is a tool that appeared one day to rule ordinary people. Charles, is the son of Morgan, the Lord of the Lighthouse, and the leader of the Church of Light and Shadow. If you look at it this way, perhaps Charles' attitude is not difficult to understand. What church, what gods, in the eyes of their rulers, are just tools, prayers, ceremonies, etc. Dot. Are just means used to maintain the faith of the church. They just discovered the existence of the Dimension Gate and felt its extraordinariness. Maybe someone was the first to think it was a miracle and everyone thought so. Charles did everything he could, and just arranged for people to pray and stabilize his rule, but what he didn't expect was that someone actually came out of the dimensional gate. Qin Yun only thought it was funny. After experiencing so many big scenes, watching such a small trick made him feel a bit like watching children frolicking. So, now Charles should be very deceived, right? But after all, he made it up by himself. But now it cannot be denied too clearly. Otherwise wouldn't it be a slap in the face? Charles is playing dot 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 maybe he is going to appease his congregation and their mysterious uninvited guests first, and then he wants to deal with them? Kenyon had already perceived Charles' killing intent. In his field of vision, every thought of Charles is very obvious, just like a Drisolaran, thinking is language. Kenyon also saves trouble, there are only so few people in this world, there is no need for diplomacy at all, just push all the way. Charles pretended to be the same as anyone else. Mulu oh. Fan day dot 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 beautiful, looking across the crowd, everyone's information automatically appeared in Kin Yun's mind. As a three-dimensional creature, he can see more in this world, just like cheating. The great lord of light and shadow. You know everything. Everyone who was called by name became excited. I just feel as if I have received the attention of the gods, and I feel very honored. I know each of you and I hear your prayers every day. I know the suffering you have suffered. Today, I am here to respond to your demands. Qin Yun also put on the look of a magic stick. Praise light and shadow. Light and shadow are with us. Hearing Qin Yun's words, all the believers cout out excitedly. Charles lowered his head, but the expression on his face was full of ferocity. Who would have thought that a gate that popped out of this F King wilderness could really show people? Now everyone thinks this is a miracle. Isn't this a hell? However, as the leader of the Light and Shadow Society, he knows how fanatical the believers he personally cultivated are. Even now he doesn't dare to dampen people's enthusiasm. But he, he has silently made up his mind, and when he gets to the lighthouse, he must make these people look good. Go, take me to see where you live. Kinyan walked up the steps of the gate of the next Yuan, and the surrounding area instantly gave way to a road. Kinyan thought for a while, and said to the Secret Service on the side, Go back and ask 404 to arrange for someone to build a defense base here and bring a few three-year-olds who are proficient in latitude technology. Let the human scientists study it carefully. This place should become our most important scientific research base in the future. So the defense level should be higher, and the best shields should be used. Okay, after arriving in this world, Kinyan couldn't let it go at all. This feeling of enlightenment will definitely help scientific research with huge amounts of help. A complete two-dimensional world is too scarce. As for the human beings in this world, Kinyan is ready to directly incorporate and control them. After all, 
there are not many people in the whole world, so maybe they can't even get the population of a county together, the lighthouse. The largest human gathering place, is the first step of incorporation. Lord of Light and Shadow, I will guide you, I am. Charles raised his head, regained that frenzied expression, leaned forward, and respectfully wanted to be the leader. I know, you are the leader of the Light and Shadow. Kinyan smiled, but 197 suddenly moved closer to him. This kind of action aroused the praise of all the believers around. Charles tensed up. I know what you think. You are also a smart person. I advise you to put away your little thoughts. The world is very big and you may not be able to provoke some people. Kinyan's words only reached Charles' ears. Hearing these threatening words, Charles' face froze. Then, lowering his head, he whispered equally viciously, I don't know where you guys came from dot 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 but, this is my place. Don't think that you can sit back and relax in this situation. Pretending to be the Lord of Light and Shadow is a capital offense. Hey, Kinyan smiled and ignored him. All Charles wanted to do was wait until the lighthouse guards arrived. Don't tell me. He can't bear it. Kinyan was not worried at all and walked towards the distance surrounded by everyone. As a giant flight device, the lighthouse is actually easy to see. It's not far from the dimensional gate. A group of people ran towards the direction of the lighthouse in a mighty manner. After you can clearly see the whole picture of the lighthouse, Kinyan found that under the lighthouse there were already many fully armed mesh soldiers waiting for battle. The elevator used to access the lighthouse was also put away. Those who didn't know thought that there was going to be a big war. Boss dot 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 the situation is not right. They seem to be making trouble. A Secret Service member reminded in a low voice. He had just caught Charles secretly sending some messages on the communicator. The content is all for them. I know. Seeing it getting closer and closer. Even the muscles of the mecha soldiers have been raised. Who is coming? Put your hands up. Put your head in your hands. From the soldiers lined up, a shout appeared. Presumptuous. This is the Lord of Light and Shadow. How dare you disrespect the Lord of Light and Shadow. Among the believers, a fanatical believer stood up. To those who shout is just a curse. No. They are fake. At this moment. Charles suddenly jumped out of the disc. After holding back for a long time, he finally dared to speak after seeing the Mecha soldiers. Arrest them all. These people dare to pretend to be the Lord of Light and Shadow. This is blasphemy. Fake. The believers who had witnessed a miracle at the dimensional gate were also stunned. Impossible. Leader, we saw it with our own eyes. Some believers wanted to say something, but were quickly interrupted by Charles. What I saw with my own eyes may not be true. I have received the favor of the Lord of Light and Shadow, and they are simply fake. Blasphemers. Even if Charles said so. The believers were still skeptical. Fake, who are they then? In the cognition of the lighthouse people, they are the only ones left in the land. Dot 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 not the people of the lighthouse, nor the gods. This is a little hard to understand. Chapter 92, Public Opinion Like Heaven, Lighthouse People Shocked, Things Got Weird. However, just when Charles wanted to say something more, Kinyan was too lazy to be B. With a light wave, the leader of the meeting, who was clamoring to arrest them with his waist on his waist, felt his body lighten. Ah, in the astonished eyes of everyone. Charles actually floated out of nowhere, and then flew into Kinyan's hands at an extremely fast speed. He was strangled tightly by the neck. After so many days, Kinyan's origin magic power resolution has reached the 5% stage. At this stage, it is almost the same as Wanda's current ability development. Even if Wanda didn't explode, she might not be able to defeat Kinyan with chaos power alone. Most importantly, Kinyan discovered that the origin magic power in this world was not only not suppressed, but even strengthened, almost strengthened more than seven or eight times. This is why Kinyan dared to go here alone without bringing a large army. Well, Kinyan is a little swell now. The sense of power after weft lowering made Kinyan even feel that he is really a god. Definitely. His greatest confidence lies in being able to resurrect, Lord of Light and Shadow. This supernatural scene instantly made the skeptical believers completely believe in Kinyan's identity. Even some of those mecha soldiers put down their guns and knelt down. Isn't this the power of the gods? What are you doing? A soldier saw his companion put down his gun and pushed him quickly. However, the soldiers who put down their guns were even more excited. What are you doing? This is the Lord of Light and Shadow. What an honor. I can still see the Lord of Light and Shadow with my own eyes in my lifetime. This life is worth it, as he spoke. He put his hands on his chest and kept praying. Seeing his companion's movements, he also felt a little hesitation. The hand holding the weapon was unconsciously lowered. I've said it all, Charles, it's best not to cause trouble for me, why don't you listen? Pinching Charles, Kinyan said angrily, even if he is also a human being. He doesn't like this kind of guy who pretends to be a ghost. It's okay to act with them for a while, it's best not to act too much. In Kinyan's view, the progress of human civilization does require a high degree of spiritual unity. However, that kind of unity requires unity of belief in the future, hope for human progress, and maintaining the pride of being human in the identity of the species. That kind of determination to unite as one, 
overcome all difficulties and work hard towards a common goal, rather than relying on religion to play with people's hearts and maintain a dominant position. This will only make civilization lose its potential and become more and more depressed. Instead of expecting that the so-called gods can bestow everything on human beings, why can't we be more confident and rely on ourselves? The Lord of Light and Shadow shines on everything. You who are false will be punished. Although Charles blushed and had a thick neck from being pinched, his mouth was still very hard. However, Kenyan felt that Charles seemed to really feel that the Lord of Light and Shadow would punish him for being wrong. Could it be that the first thing people who play with beliefs is to deceive themselves? Kenyan just thought it was funny. Just about to solve Charles, let's solve the problem first. When I heard an anxious voice say loudly, wait, let him go. Looking for the reputation, it was a man in a wheelchair. This person is the Lord of the Lighthouse, Morgan. It's the City Lord. Master City Master. The Lord of Light and Shadow has come. Morgan's position in the Lighthouse was extraordinary and many people greeted him subconsciously. You are not the Lord of Light and Shadow. Who are you? Put down the leader, Morgan said without any hesitation. These strangers are definitely not Lords of Light and Shadow. Master City Master. He is really the Lord of Light and Shadow. Just now he, a believer next to him explained excitedly. You shut up. But he received a sharp reprimand from Morgan. Morgan's accumulated prestige over the years is still effective at this time. In an instant, the fanaticism in the hearts of many people was extinguished. Even some soldiers who put down their guns took up arms again. Kinyan smiled. He didn't intend to continue acting. I am indeed not the Lord of Light and Shadow. Tilda Vertical Bar. As soon as these words came out, countless believers were dumbfounded. Unbelievable eyes. How can it be? Kenyan and the others are obviously gods who came out of the void while praying. All of this is in the eyes of everyone. Moreover, the environment on the ground cannot survive at all. Aren't the people on the lighthouse the last human beings in the world? If it wasn't the Lord of Light and Shadow, then where did these people come from? We come from outside the world. Kenyan didn't explain too much just said something that was ambiguous. However, in the perception of ordinary people, the world is this planet, out of this world. Heaven? Subconsciously, everyone glanced at the sky. Is it? Space? Question mark. Thinking of this, everyone became excited. Before the end of the world, human science and technology have been very developed and entered the stage of space colonization. Mars, and the Moon, have both established some colonies. However, until now, no one has ever returned to Earth. People always thought that those colonies were destroyed too. But now it looks like. That doesn't seem to be the case. The people from the space colony came back. Are you guys coming back to pick us up? Great. All of a sudden everyone was excited. Living on the earth is too difficult. It is almost hard to survive. And everyone would rather die than live. Lack of supplies. But also bear the attack. And the space colony must have brought together the elites of the previous human civilization. With a complete civilization technology tree. Now these astronauts are back on earth. Surely to save them. The survivors seeing that their thinking was wrong. Kinyan followed suit and said, that's right, I'm here to help you. It is not difficult for the current Heian people organization to find a place where there are no monsters, even if it is in the orbit of the earth to build an ecological circle. There are only tens of thousands of people left on the entire earth, and they can survive by making them casually impossible. Surprisingly, Santo Morgan became agitated. For all these years, I have never received a message from space. Back then, the Mayan ecology had spread to the colony along with the spaceship. The bombing land was also destroyed like the Earth. Morgan seems to know a lot of information. However, in the face of Morgan's doubts, Kinyan spread his hands. Since you think it's impossible, then pretend that I haven't been here. You're right. I'm not the Lord of Light and Shadow, and I'm not from a space colony. Since I don't need my help here, I'll go. As he spoke, Kinyan threw Charles to the ground. With such a small number of people, it would be a waste of time to save them. To be honest, the world has come to an end and there is no need to save it. Civilizations cease to exist, and the rest can only be described as survivors. They don't want the man in black to help Kinyan, and they are too lazy to help. With this time saved, it is unknown how many people have been saved in other worlds. Are you tired of chatting with 10,000 to 20,000 people here? That is to say, this two-dimensional world is more important, otherwise Kinyan would not have a BB word with them. Watching Kinyan lead the people and turn away directly. For a while, everyone became anxious. Ah. Don't go, my lord. You can't let them go. They are here to help us. Earth can't stay any longer. Let's go to the Mars colony. This is our hope. After so many years, the colony is the first time people come. How can you give up? Those who spoke were all well-dressed and looked like they had some status in the lighthouse. The class of the lighthouse is distinct, and the upper class owns everything, but the dusty name is not even qualified to speak. Therefore, the Shangmen who have always enjoyed a favorable position also have more ideas. In their view, Leaving aside the illusory identity of the Lord of Light and Shadow, the only possibility for Kinyan and the others is to come back from the space colony. After all, no one can survive on the ground. Right? Shut up. I said they are not. They are not. Morgan knew a lot more than anyone else. He knew that there were still people living on the ground, 
but he couldn't tell the public about this matter. Therefore, he can only use his prestige to cover everyone's voice. However, when people face hope, they can burst out with extraordinary strength. At this moment, in the face of the possibility of leaving the Earth and going to Mars without danger, Morgan's prestige seems to be useless. Someone bit the bullet and gritted his teeth and said, My lord, this is one of the few opportunities we have. Even if it's fake, don't give up. Yes, my lord. Dot, 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 maybe you think the lighthouse is very good, you can continue to hold on. But how many years can you hold on? Ten years, twenty years, or a hundred years? Our fuel has been running low, and the collection of materials is getting less and less. The lighthouse will not stay on forever. Master City Lord, to put it bluntly, you are old and won't live long but we still have a lot of life left. You can't let us be buried with you. When the first person starts to speak, then the seriousness becomes difficult to control. The crowd was turbulent, and even the words became more and more ugly. Morgan's whole body began to tremble. The stable rule that I have established for many years will be shaken by some people who suddenly appeared. Kinyan heard the discussion behind him clearly. However, Kinyan didn't have the slightest intention of turning back. Morgan has been silent all the time. Even if people who usually dare not speak loudly to him start to say something bad, he still has no reply. Just hold your breath. Things have developed to this level, but they still haven't escaped his control. Even if many people are in a hurry, they can only watch Kinyan and the others leave. Morgan's rule still had some effect, and they still didn't dare to cross the city lord because they were blocking Kinyan. Go back to the lighthouse. When the hunting team returns, set sail immediately. Morgan, however, glanced at Charles who was coughing on the ground, and gave orders coldly. Kinyan left anyway. Morgan also returned to the lighthouse. However, even if everything remained the same, a certain seed was still planted in the hearts of everyone present. This moment, it seems that Morgan is no longer as tall as before. The next day, the Wild Hunter team returned to the place where the lighthouse was docked in some embarrassment. The hunters are back. It was attacked this time. Dot, 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 the delivery was not good. Mark, the captain of the hunter, seemed a little decadent, and many died in this operation. Moreover, he also saw some strange things and didn't know what to say. However, Mark found that the people who received him were in a worse mood. On weekdays, no matter how bad the harvest of their hunters is, after all, there are supplies, and the recipients will look very happy. Today, everyone in the hall is preoccupied and absent-minded. As a confidant big brother, he had to choose to suppress his emotions and comfort others. What's the matter? Why does everyone feel that something is on their minds? Captain Mark dot 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 don't mention it. You don't know, a lot of things happened when you were not here. The soldier looked around, and after no one noticed him, he whispered the ins and outs to Mark. Mark was taken aback when he heard that. Light and shadow will sacrifice. People from the space colony appear. Were driven away by the city lord. The amount of information is bigger than he imagined. That's right. Many people are now spreading the rumor that the city owner is reluctant to be in the lighthouse. And he is afraid that he will become an ordinary person after going to the space colony. That's why he drives people away. When Mark heard this, he frowned. The city owner is not such a person. Don't guess. Speaking of this, the soldier couldn't help but say something else. Captain Mark, I also heard that before the end, all people in the world are equal, there is no such thing as dust people and shangmen, are you saying it's true? Where did you hear that? Some old people said dot 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 I don't know if it's true dot 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 they also said that people used to have children to dot 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 what is it? Love, space colonization, it should be the same in mindy, Captain Mark, what is love? I got it. At this moment Mark froze, a girl's face can't help appearing in my mind, what does it feel like to be in love? However, beside this face, Another figure appeared, that was his sister, many years ago, because she pursued the so-called love, she was not allowed by the lighthouse's rules, on a sunny day, she was burned to ashes, while the two were still chatting, someone interrupted them, stop talking, Captain Mark, the city owner told you to come back to his place, we are ready to set sail now, so fast, generally speaking, after returning to the lighthouse, the hunters have to pack up their supplies and prepare to take off, why do you have to take off as soon as you come back today, is it about those people, with doubts, Mark walked all the way towards Morgan's office. Just less than halfway through, I felt the lighthouse tremble. This is where the engines kicked in and took off. However, when he passed by the residential area, he heard countless exclamations. Look, my god, are those people? Number 3x. No. Cannot go. We cannot go. You can't listen to the city owner. We can't go. We can't be buried with Morgan. He wants to drag us to die. Shin. I'm going down. I'm going to find them. Countless people stretched out their heads and looked at the ground as if they saw something extraordinary. Many people even said bad things about the city lord, which is simply unimaginable, on the lighthouse, in front of the public, who still dare to say that the city lord is not. Does this mean you don't want to live? Did they see something? With doubts, Mark also hurried to the edge of the lighthouse and looked down. However, after just one glance, he was completely stunned. FK! Exclamation mark. At this moment, even he, who has seen countless storms and waves, was shocked by the scene in front of him. Dot.
Chapter 93 Ancient One Becomes Latitude Mephister? Question mark. I saw a huge building complex suddenly appeared on the originally empty ground. Those buildings, like a small piece of steel jungle, are full of modern atmosphere. The building complex is very large, and there are three or four lighthouses on top of it just by visual inspection. You know, before that, there was nothing here. And, it's the end of the world. The Mayan ecology has long occupied most of the land on the ground, and there is almost no space for human beings to live. Even the only survivors rely on lighthouses to gather in the sky. Now, how could someone build so many buildings on the ground overnight? A little light is not the most shocking thing, but the most surprising thing. On the outside of the building complex, a layer of transparent film is wrapped. Shield? It's a shield. Under the shield, there are even many wild Mayan creatures attacking, but the moment it touched the shield, it turned into ashes. No residue left. That's the pole devourer. The pole devourer was actually killed. The polar beast is the most common monster that appears in the Mayan ecology after the end. They are connected to the ubiquitous ecological chain, even if they are seriously injured and their heads are blown off, they can be revived after a period of time. Therefore, in the understanding of the lighthouse people, the polar devouring beast is almost an immortal existence. Every time when they encountered polar devouring beasts while exploring the ground to find supplies, they could only temporarily kill them with weapons to delay time. But dot 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 looking at this, even if the vitality of the pole devourer is tenacious, it is impossible to revive it. It has all become particles. No wonder when our wild hunter team came back, we found that there were fewer polar devourers along the way. It turned out that they all came here. Mark muttered to himself. Outside the shield, there were quite a few polar devouring beasts circling around the base. After a part was broken, the rest seemed to be much smarter. They didn't have direct contact, but were just observing. And inside the shield, many figures can still be seen working, coming and going using construction equipment to place the modular base structure. Like building blocks. The internal base building is getting more and more perfect. For the monsters outside the shield, they didn't even look at them. The shield used this time is different from the previous one. This is the latest research success of the Trisolaran and Trisolaran Academy of Human Sciences. High frequency ramp particle shield. Technically, it doesn't break away from the essence of the shield force field, but there is a difference in the excitation method. Under normal circumstances, the force field needs to be maintained, that is to say, to continuously output energy to keep the force field stable at 620 and resist attacks. The oblique wave shield is to make the generator of the output force field unstable. Once the shield control system detects that there is enemy contact, the original continuous and stable output becomes segmented, and the frequency is extremely high. From a normal perspective, there seems to be no difference, but because of the particularity of the force field, this high frequency state will make the force field originally very lethal. It's like a high-frequency vibration knife. The powerful tremor frequency can almost instantly crush any object it touches. This kind of shield is very suitable for this place. Don't worry about those lowly so-called extreme beasts. The powerful base and the protection of the extreme devouring beast in seconds, made everyone on the lighthouse think that these people must be visitors from the space colony with a complete human technology tree. Lighthouse, totally insane. Mark found that countless people began to rush towards the top of the tower. That's where Santa Morgan is and the direction of the lighthouse control room. Even the dust people who are usually submissive and slave-like, have the courage to stand up under this wave. It's a big deal. Mark found that the lighthouse might really be changing. When he arrived at the City Lord's Hall, countless people had already gathered here. On the stage, people can still hear excited shouts. Santo, we can't give up. People in space colonies have already built bases on the ground. Do we still want to live like this? Yes. Their technology is obviously much stronger than ours. Joining them is our only way out. The owner of the city. Morgan, is still stubborn, how many times have I said this? The people in the space colony cannot come back, they are all dead. These people are not astronauts. Then who are they? Yeah, who are they then? Master City Master. We call you City Master because you have led us to survive in the apocalypse for so many years. But now, we can obviously leave Doomsday, why are you stopping us? Even if we leave for space with them, it's still our city. The question of who they are makes Morgan's face more and more. Who knows who they are? Where the hell do these people come from? Captain Mark is here. Captain Mark, say something. Seeing Mark's arrival, the excited crowd made way for him in an instant, as the captain of the Wild Hunters. His prestige in the lighthouse is not low. At this time, everyone hopes that everyone who can talk can say a few words. Mark stepped forward slowly and looked at the crowd around him. He knew that today's matter could not be solved so simply. My lord dot 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 how about we dot 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 stop it. Speaking of it. Mark is the last person who doesn't want the lighthouse to continue like this. Moreover, with such a big disturbance today, it is best to follow the public opinion. I Morgan wanted to say something. But he looked helpless. He also has his own reasons. The city lord. Let it go. Mark said slowly. Morgan looked at Mark, wondering what he was thinking. After a long time, he sighed, but made a decision that surprised everyone. From now on, 
Mark will take over the position of the city lord. I'm tired. As he spoke, he manipulated the wheelchair and slowly fell backwards. Hearing this, the audience instantly cheered. Mark took over as the Santa Lord. Doesn't it mean Morgan Santo has given up? They can welcome a new life! Exclamation mark. 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 For a moment, the whole hall was cheering, and people chanted Mark's name loudly. Kinyan didn't know, and he didn't want to know what happened in the lighthouse. For him, those remaining survivors were just a small episode. At this moment, Kinyan is completely immersed in the two-dimensional world as a graduate student. Agent G. You mean dot 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 there is a mystery of latitude here? As a complete two-dimensional world, how could Kinyan not call Ancient One? Although she is not a scientist, she must be of great help to the research. Almost as soon as it came to this world, Ancient One discovered some keys. Yes dot 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 this world is amazing, and it's the first time I've seen it. Ancient One glanced around, his face full of admiration, and he didn't know what he was looking at. The feeling here is very similar to the world of Mephister in those latitudes, but it is fundamentally different. Marvel as the God-created universe, is originally an all-powerful multi-universe with countless parallel worlds. It's like a lot of bubbles stacked side by side, and in those big bubbles, there are many small bubbles mixed in. Those are the worlds of the so-called Latitude Mephister, most of them are not three-dimensional, some are two-dimensional, some are four-latitude, or even five-latitude. Definitely, the more powerful the latitude, the more powerful the Mephister will be born. The Latitude world gives the Mephisters their power and is closely connected with them. But here is different. This is a complete huge amount of bubbles, but the law of the whole bubble is biased towards small bubbles. It's hard. Bubbles are originally just like in reality, with tension. The lower the latitude, the smaller the tension, and the more difficult it is to form a stable latitude. Refer to blowing bubbles with detergent and water. The tension in this world is also small, but the bubbles are big. So, if we can find a rule to maintain this world... Dot 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 maybe, we can also become Latitude Mephista and create our own Latitude. Ancient One at the moment is even a little exciting. After becoming the person in black, although she didn't have to repay the loan, she regretted not taking out more. Her strength will almost always stop at the moment of entry, unless she practiced herself. However, she has come to the end of the road of ordinary human magicians. If you want to become stronger, there is no other way to go. However, it would be different if she could also become Latitude Mephista. With, Kbaf, her own latitude, she can grow almost unlimited, and she can be as strong as her latitude is. If her latitude can grow to the level of the big universe, one day, she, Ancient One, might also become a creation god-level existence. This is an irresistible temptation for any practitioner. As for becoming a Latitude Mephista, will it be bad to say, so that her Sorcerer Supreme will be criticized? Are you kidding me? If we, Ancient One, cared about this, we wouldn't have borrowed from Dormammu in the first place. Become a Latitude Mephista? Create Latitude yourself? Kinyan was also taken aback. He understands how difficult it is to do this dot 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 and how strong it can be if it is done successfully, although the level of the mysterious side and the technology side is not easy to compare. However, a Latitude Mephista, at least, on the technology side, must also have the combat power of a fifth level civilization, right? If you work harder, it is possible to reach level 6. The most important thing is that after having one's own latitude, one can no longer be suppressed by the rules of the big universe to a certain extent. Almost all of the agents can Yun can use now, and the mysterious side body powers he possesses, come from the Marvel world. Traveling to other worlds will be suppressed by the rules. After all, the source of your power is not our universe, our law. After having the latitude, when crossing, the latitude and itself integrate, which is equivalent to carrying a lopule with you. To a certain extent, expanding the scope of influence of one's own dimension. Even in other universes, it can exert its full power. It's like being a person in one country, but following the local laws in another country. But now we have established a small colony in other countries, running our own laws. China. The question is how to perceive the law of this world? Kinyan asked a crucial question. When it comes to law, it is not something that low-level civilizations can understand. Although Kinyan is learning and improving every day, his knowledge reserves are still in the category of low-level civilizations. After all, the current highest technology of Heian people is only level 3. Well, science me. I don't really understand, but I can show you in a magician way. Ancient One thought for a while, then suddenly stretched out his hand, and slapped Kinyan's chest hard. Afterwards, Kinyan only felt that a force seemed to tear him apart, and origin magic power automatically began to resist this force. Don't resist, Ancient One said softly. As an agent of the men in black, bound by the original law, Kinyan knew that the Ancient One would not harm him. Subsequently, the resistance of origin magic power was released. The moment he released it, Kinyan felt light all over, and his whole body was suspended in the air. Looking back, my body was standing there in a daze. Ancient One still kept patting her, and the other one was also floating beside her. Soul Astral. Kinyan's eyes lit up, looking at his illusory soul. This is the first time he really perceives the concrete existence of the soul, 
And, even in the two-dimensional world, Qin Yun finds that his soul is still in the main dimensional world. Seems to have regained its color. The soul belongs to the six senses. The perspective of the soul will be much more limited than the five senses restricted by the body. Carefully perceive everything around. Analyzing, supreme magic dot 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 expected time 150 days. The evolution system also hints that the power of ancient one is being analyzed. Good guy. This can take effect as long as the body touches it. Qin Yun is also happy to have more power. The body analyzes the power of ancient one, and with our help. The soul begins to observe the world seriously. What is the nature of the world? What is the existence of matter? What is being? What is nothing? Why is there a world, a universe, matter, and what would it be like if nothing existed? This is undoubtedly a very profound question. As long as people are alive, they exist, and they can come into contact with being. There is space, time, matter, and invisible things that are tangible, even if they are invisible, they still exist. However, in order to become a latitude Mephista, one must open up the dimension by oneself, one must understand what is nothing. Everything starts from zero. There is nothing. The first one has. How did it come from? Where did it come from? How to form? Where will it appear after formation? And how to control all this? Can Yun can't imagine, in a world with nothing, what is there, what is nothing, and what it is. If this kind of thinking is in a high latitude world, just an ordinary three dimensional world, with Kin Yun's current situation, it is impossible to find the answer. Because, this has already involved the category of creation power. However, in the two-dimensional world, Qin Yun found that thinking about these issues is actually meaningful. This is like a top student at Harvard, although he ranks last in Harvard exams. But let him go to a third-rate college, and he can still be admitted to the forefront. Environmental factors are very critical. Qin Yun began to fall into a long period of comprehension. Time also passed slowly. That kind of clear way of thinking made Qin immerse himself in it. It wasn't until a sense of weakness came that Qin Yun came back to his senses. Ancient One who was also closing his eyes in perception, also opened his eyes and glanced at Qin Yun. Your soul power is too weak. It's only been two days and it's been exhausted. Rest for a night first. Qin Yun nodded. This kind of exhaustion that goes deep into the soul is indeed not something that can be overcome by force. But, it has been two days. Agent G, how is your perception? Give me another three days, and I have the confidence to open up a latitude of my own. Ancient One said very confidently. Qin Yun, good guy. Is this the gap? Qin Yun felt that in two days. She was just getting started. This kind of thing. Dot, 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 what you need is inspiration. Sometimes, when you figure it out, you have it figured out. Dot, 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 don't worry. Ancient One said comfortingly. After all, there are some latitudes where Mephisto is not that strong at the beginning. Maybe just fell asleep and thought of something inexplicably, becoming the master of the latitude. Okay, then I'll go back first. Chapter 94 Bay Ayui, want to sleep with me? He returned to his body lightly, and a sense of fullness hit him. Still in good health, although the soul vision can see more things but it makes people feel a sense of emptiness. After returning to the body, I obviously felt that this emptiness disappeared. Supreme magic analysis interrupted, current progress, 1.6%. As Kin Yun took a step back subconsciously, the two of them were separated after holding the posture of not moving for two days. Only then did Kin Yun remember that Ancient One's body has been thumping himself, and the consequence is, the power of Ancient One has also been analyzed by the system a lot. 1.6%. Although it looks very low. But Qin Yun has already produced a lot of knowledge in his mind. A force completely different from origin magic power appeared in Qin Yun's body. Then, after being exposed to the magic power of chaos, the two unexpectedly integrated together in surprise. This startled Qin Yun. Origin magic power and ancient one's magic don't seem to be in the same system. Can this also be integrated? But after integrating, Qin Yun didn't find any discomfort in his body, but he still asked in his heart uneasy, System, what's the situation? How do these two forces integrate? The essence of the infinite evolution system is infinite. If you want to be infinite, it is the foundation. Only by integrating infinitely many different forces can you achieve true infinite evolution. The systematic explanation made Qin Yun a little happy. According to the system, the so-called infinite evolution is the ability to absorb almost all power, which is divided into three aspects. Soul, energy, body. The power of each classification will be automatically compatible and become a part of Qin Yun. That is to say, no matter what system it is, Qin Yun will not have conflicts at all. Even if it absorbs a vampire one second and creates a zombie the next second, it's fine. Immortal cultivation and magic coexist. Anyway, it is all energy. From the perspective of the evolutionary system, there is no difference, and it will be integrated by it. Qin Yun's body changed very quickly, but Ancient One seemed to have noticed something. Her soul seemed a little doubtful. It seems to have captured some strange energy fluctuations just now. Dot 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 somewhat like myself. However, the volatility flashed by, and Ancient One didn't think too much, and continued to immerse itself in the wonder of the rule in the second dimensional world of perception. Leaving the office, 
Qin Yan found an agent who seemed to have been waiting for a long time, boss. Outside. Dot, 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 the survivors have been waiting for two days and said they want to see you. Survivor, lighthouse man, hee hee, have they figured it out? Then let people come in, not too much, Mu Bing. There's always something to be done about the lighthouse. Qin Yan just wants to finish the work quickly, then go back to catch up on sleep, and then come out to continue the perception two dimensional rule. Everything that boosts power is racing against the clock until the Herald arrives. Outside the base, the lighthouse floated above the protective cover, and did not dare to land. Because on the ground, a very large number of almost terrifying extreme devouring beasts have gathered. In two days, there were still many unreasonable polar devourers who came to test the protective shield. But it is still the end of ashes. As a result, the local Mayan ecology became aware of this threat and began to gather an army to eradicate it. But the people at the base were not worried at all. This kind of monster comes more or less the same and the power of the shield is enough to deal with everything. Master Mark, there are more and more polar devouring beasts now, and there are a few higher level ones. Shall we continue to raise the height? Mark, who is now the Lord of the City, sat in the position of the Lord of the City, listening to the reports of the people below. The polar devouring beasts have long-range attack methods, and they have to maintain a certain height to ensure the safety of the lighthouse. What do the people below say? They still haven't responded. Mark is also a little anxious. Now the lighthouse is almost in the den of the beast and if you don't pay attention, it will be completely GG. Thought they were willing to listen to the astronauts and the astronauts would take them away. Unexpectedly, after they got it back, the other party just told them to wait. This wait is two days. The lighthouse never stays in one place for too long, because it is afraid of the gathering of polar devouring beasts. Master Mark, Lord Mark, they said they want to see us. Suddenly, the correspondent received the information from the ground base and said excitedly. When Mark heard this, he stood up quickly. Great, prepare the helicopter. Let's go down. The other party said that only three people can go. Upon hearing this request, Mark thought for a while and said, Promise them. The ground base asked them to go to only three people. They definitely didn't want too many people to participate. Originally, they were the one asking for people now. This kind of request doesn't matter anymore. Soon, the helicopter transported the lighthouse team represented by Mark to the top of the shield. Seeing this scene, many polar devouring beasts began to howl. Some even began to spit out long-range attacks. Not good. Pay attention to dodge. Attack is coming. The gathering of countless polar devouring beasts is very terrifying. Acid, iron balls, and all kinds of strange long-range attacks all over the sky will almost block all their moving ranges. Mark's face darkened and he didn't expect these extreme devouring beasts to be so sensitive. Raise the height. Just when they thought that this mission was going to fail, they wanted to raise the altitude first and were thinking about what to do. Suddenly, a beam of light shot out from the shield, directly enveloping the helicopter. Thrust lost. Thrust lost. Engine failed. Uncontrollable. The harsh siren keeps echoing in the helicopter. Mark was taken aback. Damn. At the critical moment, the attacks of those extreme devouring beasts also arrived. The driver looked desperate and even closed his eyes. Lord of Light and Shadow bless me. However, after a few seconds, they found out. Nothing happened. All those attacks were blocked by the beam of light. They, also under the traction of the beam of light, continued to move towards the ground base. This thing is just another way to use the shield force field. Pull light. It has the usage of a shield, but it also has a mode to change the direction of the force field. It can be said that it is a must for interstellar civilization. With the help of the Trisolarans and Trisolarans, the technology tree of the man in black has begun to gradually improve. The background is also gradually developing in the direction of a normal star civilization. The few people who were still in shock got off the helicopter and looked at the bright lights around them, and the base of men in black that didn't seem like a doomsday world. I just feel that there is a kind of luck for the rest of my life. I am Mark, the new city lord of the lighthouse, on behalf of the lighthouse to communicate with the astronauts. Seeing Kin Yun, Mark took the initiative to introduce himself. Mark, Santo. Kin Yun was a little surprised. He didn't expect Mark, the protagonist of the original timeline, to become the lord of the lighthouse in just one day. Interesting. The name of our organization is the Men in Black. However, Kin Yun always felt a little strange hearing the other party call them astronauts. So he took the initiative to ask the other party to change their address. Man in Black. When Mark heard it, he was stunned, but it was just a title, and he didn't think much about it. I know the purpose of your coming dot 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 to go to a space colony, right? Mark nodded. We are the last survivors on Earth. I hope that for the sake of being human, we can have a chance to survive. This matter dot 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 was fine in the first place, but now. Originally, Kin Yun's idea for these people was where they wanted to go, but for the Man in Black. It was just a matter of effort. However, Kin Yun is too lazy to waste this manpower, material resources and time now. The lighthouse is a deformed society, so if you build a space colony for them, you may not be able to get along there. Maybe the collapse of order will be faster. This kind of survivor civilization 
can't be called a civilization anymore. This kind of survivor group may only survive with external pressure at all. Have you seen this base? I can let you move in, and don't worry about the safety here. Even if all the beasts from all over the world come here, it is impossible to break through here. This base dot 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 for us. Mark's eyes lit up. The high technology of this base is visible to the naked eye. They can clearly see the helplessness of those polar devouring beasts outside in the sky. Who said to give it to you? I mean you can go. Can Yun rolled his eyes? The base near the Dimension Gate also needs some wage earners. Can. Mark agreed with almost no hesitation. However, we want three chapters of the law. First, that light and shadow will be religious, don't appear again in the future. Second, the rules here are different from the lighthouse, you need to get used to it. Third, idlers are not raised here, the elderly and children can, but those privileged classes cannot enjoy it here. What Kinyan wants is to save trouble, not to trouble. There are less than 20,000 people in the lighthouse and it is too empty to talk about productivity. They have to be supported by the man in black. For an organization that relies on several worlds, it is no problem to support such a small number of people. Kinyan was afraid that gamers would get used to being the upper class at the lighthouse, and if they had nothing to do, it would be very annoying. Old and young dot 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 can you keep them? Mark's focus, however, was different. Because, in the lighthouse, multiple people are to be abandoned. After one day of age, after the physical strength can't keep up, and you can't work, you will be thrown away. The name is, voluntary travel. But what does it mean here with the men in black? Young people want to work, so old people can be supported without working? Dot 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 asking for flowers. Don't need to die? Isn't it a normal traditional virtue to take care of the old and take care of the young? There is nothing unexpected. Kinyan said very naturally. Okay, okay. At this moment, tears even welled up in Mark's eyes. Why, not earlier? Little to support, old to depend on. To put it simply, being in the lighthouse is almost something you can't even imagine in your dreams. This reminds Mark of his teacher, who devoted his whole life to the lighthouse, and was ruthlessly thrown down when he just entered old age. Boss. There is something going on outside. While the two were still talking, a secret agent came up and handed Kinyan a tablet. Kinyan took a look. Good guy. A woman with white hair, holding a cold weapon that looks like a sword, appeared out of nowhere. Shuttle among the huge army of extreme devouring beasts outside. The whole figure is like a flying elf, stepping on. The bodies of those pole devouring beasts seem to be stepping on steps, dancing gracefully. From time to time, I encountered an attack and I easily dodged it just by turning sideways. Throughout the whole process, not a single sword came out. And her destination is the center where the shield is. It's coming towards us. Bei Aihui. This person is obviously the so-called Bei Aihui who has mutated you to cultivate immortality. It is also the pinnacle of combat power in this world, known as the strongest combat power on the surface. The woman whom countless people fall for. However, seeing Bei Aihui for the first time, Kinyan felt a strong shock in his mind. It's not love at first sight dot 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 but. From Kinyan's three-dimensional perspective, he vaguely captured some information about Bei Aihui. Subconsciously, Kinyan used the method of Ancient One, and the soul slowly left the body again. With just one glance, Kinyan confirmed his thoughts. It turned out to be like this? Exclamation mark. Kinyan discovered that Bei Aihui's soul has actually become one-dimensional. In other words, although Bei Aihui's body is still in the second dimension, the soul that exists in this body has begun to change towards the three-dimensional world looks like a real person. About 50% of them have completely become three-dimensional, and almost half of them are two-dimensional real people. This was the first time Kinyan had seen such a weird thing. Bei Aihui is raising the latitude. But, as a native of the world, how did she do it? In this world, I don't have a three-dimensional concept of safety, do I? At this moment, Kinyan thought a lot, and seemed to draw a line between various concepts such as latitude, world, existence and non-existence. It seems to have caught something but it seems that nothing has been caught. Just a little. Just a little bit. Kinyan has a guess that maybe he can find out the problem with Bei Aihui, and then he can comprehend the mystery of the second dimension and open up the world of latitude. Thinking of this, Kinyan couldn't wait any longer. Completely ignoring the shock of the people around him, he tapped his toes, and instantly levitated. Then, it flew out of the shield at a terrifying speed. Outside the shield, Bei Aihui also seemed to perceive something, and subconsciously looked in the direction of Kinyan, but it was a little stunned because, she discovered that Kinyan was actually flying. Moreover, it seems that no tools are used. No spirit element is used. How did you do it? Soon Kinyan stopped in front of Bei Aihui. It seemed to greet her. The surrounding polar devouring beasts seemed to feel an invisible aura when they saw this man standing in the air. Even subconsciously retreated almost, and the spread formed a vacuum. The pole devourer retreated? Exclamation mark. Scared. Bei Aihui was also shocked. For so many years, she has never seen these beasts have the so-called fear. Today. Kinyan was just floating there, not doing anything. The pole devourer was terrified. Kinyan tilted his head to look at Bei Aihui, and said, 
It's very interesting. How does the energy in your body come from? From Kenyan's perspective, the energy in Bay Ihui's body seems to be the main way to cause her soul to ascend. The first time we met, you asked me this kind of question. What people didn't expect was that Bay Ihui, who had a cold face, rolled his eyes. Kenyan colon. Then what should I ask? Bay Ihui looked at Kenyan with great interest. Why are you looking at me so hot? I met a pervert once, and he looked at me like this. Later, he died. Are you like this too? Do you want to sleep with me? When Kenyan heard this, he almost suffocated himself to death. Good guy. We are not perverts. I just want to know the secret of your soul latitude you. Chapter 95 Come and have a baby with me. The arrival of Bay I Huey surprised Kenyan. However, in the original storyline, Bay I Huey seems to have been secretly watching the operation of the lighthouse. It is not impossible for Bay I Huey to take the lead with his sudden appearance. After all, whether it is the Grand Survivors headed by Bay I Huey or the Lighthouse Survivors headed by Lord Morgan, in the eyes of the two survivors, Apart from them, there should be no other human beings in this world. Now that a third party force popped up suddenly, Morgan could bear it. But Jerk Yui couldn't bear it. You seem to be very strong. Let's compete, Bay I Huey said to Kenyan coldly. Since the end of the day, she has never seen anyone stronger than herself. But, for some reason, she feels the pressure and threat from Kenyan. Hearing what Bay I Huey said, Kenyan smiled. He really wanted to communicate with Bay I Huey and discover her secrets, but Bay I Huey has always been indifferent. I don't know if it's because of his personality or he is looking for something to be hostile. However, if you can convince dot 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 definitely the best. Kenyan landed slowly, not planning to use his ability to fly to take advantage of the distance. Without saying a word, he stretched out his index finger silently and ticked it off. It was the first time Bay I Huey saw someone who dared to treat him like this, as the strongest combat power on the surface. Shouldn't she do this kind of action? Rush, boom. Almost as soon as Kenyan signaled, Bay I Huey began to become illusory. Then, Circles of ripples oscillated directly in the air and scattered in all directions. This is an instant breakthrough of the sound barrier. Where Bay I Huey was originally staying, there was only an afterimage left. And she broke through the sound barrier with her physical body in the blink of an eye and reached supersonic speed. This scene shocked Mark and the others watching at the 127 base. This is something humans can do. In a few tenths of a second, Bay I Huey broke through the distance of more than 100 meters from Kinyan, and began to attack Kinyan when it was hard to see with a naked eye. Boom, boom. Ordinary people can't see Bay I Huey's attack trajectory at all. They can only see countless ripples spreading around Kinyan. It seems that there are at least dozens of attacks in one second. Countless clouds of smoke and dust were stirred up. Even the surrounding polar devouring beasts subconsciously took two steps back again. What's the situation? I can't see it. The smoke is too much. Bay I Huey's slender and slender body contained such terrifying power. Soon, the smoke and dust raised all around covered a radius of 100 meters and it was almost impossible to see everything inside. Infrared capture is enabled. The base's monitoring equipment is obviously much better than the human eye, under the observation of the infrared camera. Kinyan is still standing in place, while Bay I Huey has almost turned into countless silk threads, constantly weaving back and forth, and can attack Kinyan every time he turns. Boss will be okay. Some special services have begun to worry. How is it possible? Have confidence in the boss. But why didn't he fight back? Maybe it's pity for Fragrance and Jade? About ten seconds later, Bay I Huey also stopped his movements, and quickly distanced himself from Kinyan again. Like an assassin, he can travel thousands of miles away without a single blow. The smoke cleared. Bay I Huey's chest began to heave, as if he had consumed a lot of energy just now. On the other hand, Kinyan, still standing in place, even the movements and expressions are the same as before. The most outrageous thing is that the pure black suit on his body is not even stained with a trace of space. At this moment, Bay I Huey couldn't hold back his aloofness and couldn't help saying, are you a tortoise? Why can't you move? When Kenyan heard this, he spread his hands. You can't break my defense, and I can't help it. At the moment, origin magic power filled Kenyan's 5 meter radius, turned into soft power. Every attack of Bay Ayui before was blocked by the power of origin magic power. In the end, it disappeared, and Kenyan didn't even touch half of it. However, Kenyan could also feel that Bay Ayui's attack was really powerful, and his total magic power had dropped by 5% in just a short while. Kenyan also looked at Bay Ayui with a little excitement. This woman is simply a humanoid missile. Did she do this entirely by relying on the strength of her body? At this moment, Bay Ayui realized that he was actually underestimated. Kenyan didn't even intend to fight back. However, just now she almost used all her strength in the last few strokes. But it really didn't break the defense. This is very uncomfortable. You attack me. Bay Ayui felt that Kenyan was like a tortoise. Maybe it was some kind of special ability. In addition to her strong physical fitness and spiritual energy, 
She is also a master of fighting. She believes that as long as there is a move, there is a chance to crack it. This is the confidence of the martial arts practitioner. I don't recommend that. Kun Yun shook his head. Close combat is his weakness, and dot dot dot. In fact, Bei Aihui's movements were too fast just now, even he could barely see clearly. In terms of speed and explosive power, the difference between the two is too great. But he didn't really have anything to do with Bei Aihui. He only needed to limit Bei Aihui's room for movement, and his own advantage was great. Come on, let me see how you look. Bei Aihui stood up slowly, took a deep breath and hooked his fingers at Kin Yun. It seems to be dissatisfied with Kin Yun's attitude of belittling her. It's quite arrogant. Seeing this scene, Kin Yun smiled slightly. Then, he raised his right hand. Bei Aihui immediately narrowed his eyes, wanting to see what Kin Yun was going to do. However, in the next second, she only felt that the surroundings began to spin. Mirror space. Yes, it is one of the housekeeping skills of Ancient One, space magic. Among the few magics analyzed from Ancient One, the mirror space was considered lucky and exploded in advance. Moreover, because it is an analytic version, and Kinyan has the power of origin magic power, his understanding of the mirror space is already very deep. However, it can only be used in a small range. R. From Bei Aihui's perspective, everything around him is undergoing earth-shaking changes. The mountains and rivers are cheap, and the stars will turn around, even empty feet, straight into a state of weightlessness. Looking down, the original ground disappeared, and he began to fall crazily as if there was an endless abyss attracting everything. What kind of method is this? Bei Aihui was also dumbfounded, and subconsciously dug the ground, but found that there was nowhere to receive force. Kin Yun slowly floated in front of her. Do you still want to fight? Bei Aihui's physical fitness is strong, but also a little bit. At least, in this situation where there is no force point, she has nothing to do, she can't even move, she can only be slaughtered. It is possible to forcefully use strength to push the air away as a boost but it is only a temporary solution, not a permanent cure. Not to mention the effort. The effect will not be much better. At least it is impossible to have the previous speed. As the saying goes, the most important thing for a martial arts practitioner is to play. Now that the plates are gone, her body will lose at least 9% of her strength. Dot 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 I know that you have other means, but given your physical condition, it is very difficult to use once, right? But Kin Yun knew that this was not Bei Aihui's limit. She still has the power of a new system of Lin Yuan in her body. Maybe it can make her explode. But if Kin Yun remembers correctly, Bei Aihui's physical condition is worrying, and every time he uses his strength, it will cause damage. It is possible to die in place if you use too much. Kin Yun doesn't think that Bei Aihui will be so impulsive and lose his life for nothing. How did you know? Bei Aihui was a little shocked. Only a few people knew about his physical condition. It's a secret even in the gathering place. She has never met Kin Yun. How does Kin Yun knows this secret? Not only do I know that there is something wrong with your body, I also know the reason. It's because this world cannot bear your soul. Kin Yun observed Bei Aihui for a long time, and many thoughts even appeared in his mind. He already had a deep understanding of Bei Aihui's physical condition. So, then you are wrong. Hearing this, Bei Aihui rolled his eyes. What kind of shit reason is this? Her body is due to the genetic modification experiments back then, plus the sequel left by the battle. The regiment will be like this. What kind of world can't hold a soul? That's too much nonsense. According to what you say, the world can't tolerate me. Shouldn't I be dead long ago? Kin Yun put his hand on his chin, and said with interest, If you have to say that, it's fine. This world is a two-dimensional world, but it has a part of a three-dimensional foundation. Strictly speaking, it is a 2.5 latitude space. But because you have experienced many things, originally you have become strong enough. So, your soul, which has crossed the two-dimensional, starts metamorphosis at the 2.5 latitude. The world of the spirit cage is not originally a pure two-dimensional paper man, maybe it is related to 3D. The foundation of the world is actually 2.5 latitudes, but the latitudes are consistent. 2 is 2, 3 is 3. This caused the current Bei Aihui to be stuck. That is to say, she is originally strong enough and is entering the process of raising the latitude, because the foundation of the world cannot be improved. Success is also 2.5, failure is also 2.5. If it is not because of 2.5, she will not be able to take this crucial step, but she cannot make a complete transition. Listening to Kin Yun's theory, Bei Aihui was taken aback. Up well, stuck? What theory is this? Let's put it this way, don't you think it's strange, with your physical fitness? I don't know how many times better than ordinary people. Even ordinary people will be fine if they get injured for a while. Why do you think you can't get better? You have a huge amount of energy in your body but you can't use it unscrupulously. What do you think is limiting you? Is it the genetic experiment that actually succeeded but you thought it failed? Or is it your so-called injury that you can't even explain? Kin Yun's words were like a heavy hammer hitting Bei Aihui's heart every single word. I. Who are you? How do you know so much? How much do you know about the original experiment? Bei Aihui couldn't help asking. Bei Aihui, 
you have also experienced many things. You should understand that nothing comes in vain. For lunch, Kinyan shook his head and said, I do know some things, but I don't know much, but I should be the only person in this world who can help you. So, so what am I going to pay? Bei Aihui said almost impatiently. Kinyan laughed, hooked it. It's actually very simple. If you give me a job and help me optimize my genes, I will completely solve your problems and open up a whole new world for you. Regarding Bei Aihui's question, Kinyan was very confident. Moreover, her physical fitness is really awesome. The subjects who are also genetically modified can be regarded as super soldiers. In comparison, Captain America and Bei Aikai Ikui are not at the same level. With Bei Aikui's physical fitness, if her genetic expression is included in the genetic project that the man in black is currently researching, Kinyan has a good idea of the basic quality of the man in black in the future. There was a lot of anticipation. Moreover, Kinyan himself already has the ability to regulate genes with the help of the wireless evolution system. Maybe it only takes a few small experiments, or even a direct analysis. Kinyan can also have the same physical fitness as Bei Aikui. This temptation is too great. Who wouldn't want to have such an awesome body help you optimize your genes? When Bei Aihui heard this, he looked at Kinyan with a complicated expression, and then said something that almost made Kinyan bleed. I don't know what your purpose is... But my reproductive system was destroyed during the experiment, and I couldn't produce eggs. If you just want to do bad things with me, if you can solve my problem, then I can promise you, and it's the first time for me. Bei Aihui didn't know the strength of the men in black organization at all. In her opinion, in this era, how could there be conditions to support such a huge experiment? The so-called genetic optimization is not just the combination of two people to give birth to the next generation. This is the simplest way to optimize genetics in this era. Still, having a baby... She's not good anymore. But just doing things, she's still fine. As long as her body can stop collapsing due to a little use of strength, for her, even being a maid for Kinyan is worth it. No one knows her own power better than her. With 4.4 unscrupulous power. She dares to rush into the nest of Mayan ecology alone to save mankind. Cough 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 cough. Kinyan didn't expect that this cold woman could say such a thing. It's outrageous. For a while, he coughed several times. Bei Aihui thought he had hit Kinyan's idea. I curled my lips. Sure enough, men are all the same. And then continued, then let's say it like this. However, I also have conditions. All of this is based on the fact that you can help me recover. And after recovery, I can do that kind of thing with you. And I can also work for you but leave me some free time. When Kinyan heard about free time, he subconsciously said, free time is fine. The man in black is free most of the time except when he is on mission. Then I realized that I seem to have forgotten to explain, and said, but in fact, I don't. I don't have that bad idea. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Bei Aigui. I believe in you. You are the strongest person I have ever seen, and with such a base, in this era, you are already one of the top figures in the world. I think you'd better not lie to me... Dot 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 because the price of cheating is very high. This is when Bei Aihui started to speak harshly. After all, it is impossible to really trust completely when meeting for the first time. Kinyan was a little dumbfounded. Man, what's all this about? I don't have to lie to you. That's good, let's get to know each other formally. My name is Bei Aihui. My name is Q. Kinyan thought for a while, and for some reason, subconsciously said his name. My name is Kinyan. Chapter 96 Soul Blending why are you taking off your clothes? Humans are strange creatures. Bei Aihui had some indescribable misunderstandings with himself, although Kinyan wanted to explain, but after being interrupted twice in a row, he didn't know why, so he didn't continue to speak. Maybe it's a sweet two-dimensional woman who wants to warm your bed. Even Kinyan can't refuse such a thing, right? Besides, maybe like Wanda, we can use this situation to analyze it. The infinity evolution system cannot be wasted. Bei Aihui visited the base for three days. During the period, he even took a look at Mark. That look gave the feeling of a mother looking at her son. But Kinyan knew that Mark was definitely not Bei Aihui's son. It's because Mark, once, was also part of the experiment. That was the last experiment that humans started after the end of the world in order to study ways to deal with the Mayan ecology. And Mark, also the product of the experiment, is considered by many to be the hope of saving the world. But, Bei Aihui doesn't think so now. For many years, although she couldn't use much force, the energy and strength in her body actually increased every day. Once her ability is unlocked, according to what Kin Yun said, she feels that she may be able to complete the task of saving the world. In addition, she has seen a lot of novel things in the base these few days. Although Kin Yun and the others have never explained their origins, the strength of the hardware cannot be ignored. The conditions here are simply too good. Countless supplies, a safe environment, a variety of powerful huge amounts of weapons. Kin Yun and the others seem to have brought hope to the world again. However, Bei Aihui was a little anxious. When do we start? Kinyan said that he would help her solve the problem, but for three days, Kinyan hardly saw anyone, 
so she just asked her to wait. What are you waiting for? Wait for Agent G to complete the sublimation of life. Agent G? Sublimation of life? Bei I Huey looked suspiciously at the direction of Kin Yun's gaze, which was the meeting room next to him. These days, Kin Yun goes in and spends most of the time dot 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 and doesn't know what he's doing. However, just as Bei I Huey suppressed 21's curiosity and prepared to wait, an invisible wave suddenly emerged from a conference room and began to spread with astonishing vibrations. This is. This fluctuation feels very strange to people. It's like a newborn morning sun, and like an old man in his twilight. At this moment, everyone's emotions became relieved and calm. It's like lying on a lazy chair, drinking afternoon tea with your loved one. But in the next second, the sky collapsed and the world turned upside down, but it did not cause any harm to myself in the lazy chair. Just like that, floating in space with the fragments of the world. It's done. After Kin Yun perceived this fluctuation, his face brightened. Ancient One, realize the true meaning of latitude. Agent G succeeded. Wow, it's amazing. Will we also have individual combat power at level 5 and level 6 in the future? Not sure. But at least level 5. This is the Lord of Latitude. This trip was not in vain. I made a lot of money. All of a sudden, everyone in the base began to cheer. See this lively and beaming atmosphere. Bei I Huey was at a loss. What happened? Agent G is in a similar situation to yours, but she goes a step further. Dot 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 you are stuck in two-dimensional sublimation to three-dimensional. Dot 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 she created a latitude by herself. However, in essence dot 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 the sublimation of the level of life is something worth celebrating. Kinyan explained with a smile. As someone who has already started on latitude and longitude Mephister, he too understands how obvious the progress of Ancient One is now. With its own latitude space, the power of Guai will not be limited to the physical body. She can obtain energy from space which is equivalent to having infinite blue bars. Moreover, as the space becomes stronger, she will also continue to become stronger. There is no upper limit. In the past, when Ancient One was engaged in big battles, it would go out to borrow due to lack of strength. But now it is no longer necessary. She can swallow it directly. If Dormammu appears in front of her again, it will not be as simple as pulling wool. It is very likely that Dormammu's dark dimension may not be able to keep. This is also the first step towards the creation god level. Dot 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 I did not understand. Bei I Huey said frankly. What Kin Yun said was beyond her cognition. Girl, you will have such a day too. However, the person who answered the call was a person who came out of the office. She was smiling and seemed to be in a good mood. When Bei I Huey saw Ancient One, his expression was a little unnatural. What she didn't expect was dot 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 it was a female monk in a suit. The style of painting suddenly became inconsistent. Congratulations. It seems that there are no accidents, and everything is as you said dot 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 from now on. You are also a four-dimensional life, right? Kinyan stepped forward and congratulated Ancient One with a smile. Thank you this thank you was sincere from Ancient One. Without the help of Heian people, it is impossible for Ancient One to get out of the fourth wall and come to a different world. For her. These insights and experiences are the most precious. At the beginning, she didn't expect that she would be able to achieve the current level in such a short time. It can only be said that sometimes, perhaps choice is more important than hard work. You have found a good seedling. Ancient One set its sights on Bei I Huey. You can see a lot of things that ordinary people can't see at almost a glance. Bei I Huey's potential, Shang Dan. The more you know about latitude, the more you realize that latitude is not that simple. Ancient One said slowly, At first, I thought that two-dimensional is a low latitude. Maybe it's not a big deal, but now it seems that the lower the latitude is, the closer to the truth it is. There is only a difference in the energy level. Two-dimensional is not inferior to three-dimensional, and it is even more difficult to upgrade from a lower latitude. Ancient One's words contain a lot of insights. According to the cognition of most people, the higher the latitude, the stronger it is. But, the essence of the universe actually starts from one latitude. The lower the latitude, the more critical it is and the harder it is to get out. People in the two-dimensional world can hardly understand everything in the three-dimensional world. People in the three-dimensional world can't understand the four-dimensional. However, the difficulty of the latitude jump is not actually getting more difficult as it gets older. From four dimensions to five latitudes, it is far more difficult than from five latitudes to six latitudes. That's why Ancient One looked at Bei I Huey as if he wanted to look at an outstanding junior. Bei I Huey has already embarked on the road from two-dimensional to three-dimensional. It's harder than what she's doing now. Therefore, Bei I Huey's potential is almost the highest that Ancient One has ever seen. Not even wonder, little girl, the future is bright. Work hard, you won't be disappointed here, Ancient One said as if he had experienced it. At this moment, she completely recognized the organization of the men in black. Dot 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 I'm actually over 80 years old, I can't afford to be a little girl. Although the girl's age was a secret, Bei I Huey didn't want to be treated like a child. It's still weird for her state of mind. Hearing what Bei I Huey said, Kinyan and Ancient One looked at each other, then both of them burst out laughing. How old do you think Agent G is? Kinyan asked with some evil taste. Sixty. Ancient One looked about forty years old. But since Kinyan had already asked, 
It must not be that simple, so Bei Huey said a little bit older. Ha ha ha, Detective Q is almost 800 years old. Ancient One also added, to be precise, it is 768 years old. Question mark. When Bei Huey heard this age, he broke his guard instantly. There was also a look of surprise on Gao Leng's face. More than 700 years old? How is it possible? There was no modern civilization at all a hundred years ago. Dot 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 people at that time didn't even know their genes. She is eternally youthful and powerful because of genetic technology. But 700 years ago, it took a lot of effort to make a magnifying glass. How could it be possible to micro-adjust people? The world is big dot 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 bigger than you think. Let's go, let me show you. Ancient One also completed the exploration of the two-dimensional world. Qin Yun felt that he could go back for a while. By the way, let's solve Bei Huey's problem. As for myself, there is a gap in strength between him and Ancient One, and it is not a day or two to create your own latitude, there is no rush. A few minutes later, Bei Huey was brought near the portal by Qin Yun. Looking at the deep dimension gate, for some reason, Bei Huey had the urge to go in immediately. It was as if something on the other side of the door was attracting him. In a daze, Rui Huey and Qin Yun walked in together. Then, I lost consciousness. A few hours later, Kinyan stood in the infirmary of the base, watching various instruments scanning her. How can you wake up? Kinyan was also a little anxious. There has never been a problem with the dimensional gate, and I don't know how many times I have traveled through it. But unexpectedly this time, Bei Yui fell into a coma. This is what Kinyan never expected. Moreover, the most surprising thing is that Kinyan thought that the moment Bei Yui stepped into the Marvel world, he would be complemented by the law of the three-dimensional world. This is also one of the ways Kinyan originally thought to solve Bei Huey's physical condition. But he was wrong. At this moment, even in this complete and sound three-dimensional world, Bei Huey's body still maintains its previous state. That is dot 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 the two-dimensional appearance. Still long legs, still sweet, still grassy. It shouldn't be. It's as if the person in the anime ran out. In the three-dimensional world, it's very inconsistent. But it feels weird. It's like a large precision figure. But people are in a coma, send her back first, don't really cause problems, Qin Yun felt a little regretful, if Bei Huey had an accident because he traveled through the world, it would be his fault, he is too confident, wait, I think, maybe we can try another way, however, after studying for a long time, Ancient One took the initiative to propose a solution, I suspect that the reason why she is in a coma is because of the incompatibility of body and soul, she was in the previous world, wasn't it because her body couldn't bear her own energy, Ancient One speculates that at the moment, Bei Huey's soul has probably been three-dimensionalized. However, she, it is still in the second dimension, and there is a high probability that dot 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 her rising latitude is just a soul, not a body. Therefore, this made her fall into a coma the moment she reached the three-dimensional world. Only the soul ascends the latitude dot 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 good guy. Doesn't that mean that even if she wakes up, in the three-dimensional world, she will still have to move with this two-dimensional body? It's not impossible. Ancient One spread out his hands, and then, he squeezed out to spell and lightly hit Sun's body. Afterwards, a transparent figure was seen floating out of Bei Yui's body. It is the soul of Bei Yui, and her soul, as expected by Ancient One. It really has completely changed into a three-dimensional appearance. A girl with delicate short hair was looking at them with a confused face. I really want to have a dream. I dreamed a lot of strange things. Wait, is that me lying there? Exclamation mark. You are Kin Yun. How did you become like this? Seeing that Bei Yui's soul was still awake. Qin Yun breathed a sigh of relief. This matter is a bit complicated to say. Let me tell you slowly. Qin Yun began to introduce the ins and outs to Bei Yui, and this countless information made Bei Yui feel that his soul was a little down. Men in black. 693 connects different worlds. Responsible for contact of the third kind. Could there be aliens in our world? The two-dimensional world. Three-dimensional? I will be a three-dimensional life in the future. All of this was too complicated for Bei Yui, who was still thinking about how to deal with those monsters to protect his companions a few days ago like the kind where the whole world is beyond my understanding overnight. The impact on Bei Huey's three views is huge amounts of, that is to say, my current body is still a two-dimensional life, but my soul is a three-dimensional life. What should I do now? Can I go back? Ancient One said on the side, I don't suggest you go back now. Your body and soul are adapting to this world, I can use magic to let you temporarily control your body. As before, as long as you get used to this world, you may be able to use the three-dimensional world in this form. After all, strictly speaking, you are already a three-dimensional life. How long will it take to get used to it before going back? Bei Yui couldn't help asking, she was still worried about those companions in her gathering place. Short, one week, long, one or two months. If someone can blend with your soul, maybe you will adapt faster. Up to now, Bei Yui can only use Ancient One's method for the time being. Qin Yun also breathed a sigh of relief. But the problem is not as big as imagined. Thinking of his own oolong, Qin Yun said with some embarrassment, Ahem, that's good, let's do this first. You get used to it, 
rest and rest we won't bother you. With that said, Kin Yun hurriedly left the medical room. While walking, I said in my heart, maid, don't be so sloppy next time. Dot dot dot. Even if the system is good, special circumstances must be considered. After silently scolding himself a few words, Kin Yun also felt a little tired. Back in his room, he was just about to rest when he found a figure who opened the door by himself and appeared in his bedroom. Bei Aihui, why are you here? Kin Yun was taken aback. I will fulfill my promise, Bei Aihui said very calmly. His expression seemed to have returned to the way it was at the beginning. As he spoke, he even began to unbutton his clothes. Good guy, the skin of the second dimension is called soft 212. Ah, ahem, cough, what you need now is rest. Get used to it, and... Your problem hasn't been resolved yet? Kin Yun said quickly. It's solved. Dot dot dot. I can feel that the thing that has been suppressing my strength has disappeared. Bei Aihui kept moving his hands, and said to himself. Also, didn't Agent G say that soul blending would better allow my body to adapt to the new soul? This soul fusion is not what it means. Soul fusion is the most common method for magicians to practice. It is to practice in the way of soul astral, and perceive each other's perception, so as to achieve faster comprehension of the magic purpose of the law. It's not. This kind, this kind should be called, Water 212 Milk. Chapter 97 Three Hours of Death, The Bishop Arrives. Why should I take the initiative in this kind of thing? The moment I heard this dot 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 combined with Bei Huey's cold and even mocking face. To be reasonable, things have come to this point, and Kinyun is not prepared to be tense. Take one step and do two steps. Walked up slowly. That's not necessary. Put it down. I love it. Then. Band. Unfortunately, at midnight, Kinyun still couldn't fall asleep. After all. Everything that happened just now is memorable. I have to say that Bei Aihui's taste is really unstoppable. It's not like Kin Yun didn't have this kind of experience before time travel, but this feeling of the second dimension appearing after reality is very special. Moreover, Bei Aihui's physical fitness is indeed beyond ordinary people. Even if he was injured just now, he still gave full play to his subjective initiative and practiced the industriousness of not being lazy. At this moment, Kin Yun even had the urge to smoke a cigarette although he doesn't smoke. Why are not you sleeping? Some lazy voices came from beside his ears, and Kin Yun's face was lifted with his white arms, and he turned to her side. Didn't you sleep too? Kin Yun smiled slightly, but there was another flavor in his eyes. Then, then, the two looked at each other, once again in very tacit understanding. However, Kin Yun didn't know why, but always felt like he forgot something. Early in the morning, when the first tray of sunlight came in through the window, Kin Yun saw a figure. Bei Aihui saw Kin Yun facing the direction of the door with some embarrassment and subconsciously looked over. It turned out to be a woman standing at the door looking at them in shock. Ahem, when did you come? No surprise, people are astonishingly dark. I Wanda only felt that there were so many strange thoughts in her mind, but she didn't know how to say a thousand words. In the end, she could only say, you guys, go ahead dot 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 I, I'm just passing by. A strong sense of loss welled up in my heart, even with anger, because Kin Yan never started this kind of thing even after staying with him for so long. Dot. Already edited. The joining of Bei Aihui is a joyous occasion for Kin Yun. Moreover, after a period of soul fusion, Bei Aihui's soul has almost completely stabilized, and he can perfectly control his body without the help of Ancient One's magic. Kin Yun, also during this period, obtained a new ability, Angel's Body. The excellent human evolutionary direction obtained after being transformed by Angel Potion, with the addition of quick throughput energy, to gain strength strengthening, speed strengthening, and lifespan strengthening. The power can reach up to 30 tons, the speed can reach 10 times the speed of sound, and the lifespan, as long as there is no accident in the body, there will be no life limit. The existence of the gene ability was detected, and it was merged into the gene control. Current resolution, 30.2%. Lin Yuan, on the premise of a strong body, through exercise and research on the Mayan ecology, the essence of life energy in the body is extracted and cultivated, which can continue to grow with the strength of the body. It has been analyzed with a current energy base integrate degree. 30.2% The two abilities possessed by Bei Aihui are both capable of greatly strengthening combat effectiveness. Moreover, I don't know if it's because the distance between the two of them is too close, reaching a negative number, and the analysis speed is very fast, only a few days to resolve 30%. Angel's body, almost all-round strengthening of the body's structure, possesses extremely strong strength, explosive power, speed, etc. The most important thing is that Angel's body has completely released the limitation of lifespan. This is a very unexpected receipt, even a little pleasantly surprised. Kinyan originally thought that this thing could only prolong lifespan. Unexpectedly, it could completely prolong lifespan. Is it so easy to achieve what countless people dream of? As for the energy of Lin Yuan, it can be extracted from the body, which is more like an oriental practice, but after all, it is an imitation of the Mayan ecology, and the practice method is more or less evil. 
because, the so-called extraction of spiritual energy from the body is not only from the cultivation of one's own body, but also from other beings. As small as flowers and trees, as large as humans, cattle and horses, etc. If it is placed in the system of cultivating immortals, this thing is more like a combination of physical training plus magic training. However, for Kin Yun, the appearance of Lin Yuan is a great improvement for him, because, he can finally increase the level of strength by himself. Before, whether it was analyzing wonders origin magic power or ancient one supreme magic, there was an upper limit. That's the one being passed. When the resolution reaches 100%, Kin Yun's magic power cannot be improved, unless you continue to analyze and integrate other people's power. But now, even if no one gives him an analysis, Kin Yun can continue to improve his energy level through practice. You know, all the energies of Kin Yun can be integrated with each other. I have to say that Kin Yun gained a lot from this trip to the spirit cage. Ancient One became the master of latitude and he also got a big promotion. However, Kin Yun couldn't be happy, because, pioneers, take it. The bishop has entered the Milky Way for the fourth day. One more day, he will arrive. How is your genetic medicine research vertical bar? After ten days of study, Tony Banner and the others have completely devoted themselves to the research and development of the gene-locking potion. Boss, it's still a little bit worse, it will be fine in a little more time. 808 has dark circles under his eyes. It seems that these few days have been difficult for him. Tony and the others had to study for at least 10 days before they started working, but he never stopped from the beginning to the end. Glancing at the other people in the lab, they were all immersed in their own work, and Kenyan felt a little helpless. 808, I know that this kind of thing can't be rushed, but the time is really tight. I just want to know if there is an exact number. For example, how long will it take to make it? With Wanda's current situation, there is a high probability that the pioneer bishop cannot be fooled. If there is no genetic medicine, the moment the pioneer bishop arrives, there will inevitably be a war. The result of the war is nothing more than two. The first one is to win, and then the pioneer civilization will send a large force to continue the fight. This will undoubtedly be a long dug of war. Kenyan has no confidence. The second one, if you lose, everyone will die and be resurrected. Give up this world, then give up this world, close the dimension gate here. Reasonably speaking, this is the last thing Kink wants to see. This means that the man in black can no longer shoulder his responsibilities. Definitely a huge amount of hit to morale. Therefore, in order to solve the problem in the best way, it is to let Wanda confirm the identity of the Queen's reincarnation. The importance of the genetic medicine was immediately reflected in this diplomatic negotiation. With it, Kinyan is at least 80% sure. We have compiled most of the genetic codes dot 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 and performed 190,000 combinations of experiments, and the results are very good. Everyone has put forward their own ideas, and the experiment is progressing very quickly. I am confident that after 30,000 compilations, I will be able to produce a genetic medicine with perfect effects. 808 gives an affirmative answer. 30,000 times, then speed up the progress. 30,000 times is not much, and it is not much. It only takes more than a day for them to compile. However, the timing was a coincidence, because Bishop will definitely arrive on Earth before the compilation is complete. The tenth hour before the arrival of the Bishop, everyone did not eat, drink or sleep, and put all their energy into gene compilation. During this time, they completed 19,000 compilations in 12 hours, 5 hours before the arrival of the Bishop. There were only 6,000 compilations left. Seeing such progress, Kinyan expressed his joy. As long as there are no accidents, it can definitely be completed before the arrival of the bishop. The last hour before the arrival of the bishop, a bottle of blue potion was slowly released from the genetic compiler. Under the attention of all the people, a secret service voluntarily applied to become the first test product. And, after performing quantum backup on himself, he injected the blue potion into his vein without hesitation. It must be successful. Zhao Hailan looked at the scene excitedly. This is far beyond the cradle of life technology she developed back then. As a scientist, this sense of participation almost made her overwhelmed. Kin Yun was also standing at the observation window outside the laboratory. Although he looked calm on the surface, he looked at this special agent with anticipation in his heart. A few minutes later, Secret Service began to trample violently. Afterwards, blue veins popped up and bead-sized beads of sweat were densely covered on his forehead. He clenched his fist tightly, as if countless ants were biting him in his body. The stimulation he suffered could be felt from a long distance away. How about it? Kinyan asked. Vital signs are not degraded, and it's still ongoing. The circuit breaker is working. The principle of genetic medicine is to break the original genetic lock in the human body. But, after all, you can't really let the genes be unscrupulous, so wouldn't you have cancer all over your body? Or become something that is neither human nor ghost? Therefore, the gene locking potion has two stages, fuse, and cover. After the lock is fused, the new lock will replace the previous lock and cover the original genetic information. However, compared with the original lock, the new lock is more intelligent and controllable. This is a control system written by themselves. It allows people to control their own genetic expression, and to add and modify it arbitrarily. 
to have the same ability as the pioneers. Kinyan is an ability obtained through direct analysis. So, there was no reaction at that time. But to do this through genetic medicine, the process is extremely painful. Every cell and every gene fragment in the body will be forcibly torn apart and reorganized. This is a punishment similar to dismembering a corpse. Moreover, because it was the first person to experiment, in order to keep the experimental data from being affected by any foreign objects, they didn't even give this special agent anesthesia. No one knows how painful this process is. Regardless of whether the experiment is successful or not, his treatment level will be increased by one level in the future. Of an independent house, and manage a small team. Kinyan sighed. Although he brought it from the system, he is still a complete human being. For making such a big sacrifice for the organization, Kinyan can only make up for some other things. Success. Ten minutes later, the data on the instrument gradually stabilized. The Secret Service also passed out at the last moment. This kind of human extreme pain, he persisted for a quarter of an hour, already. The willpower is already quite strong. Tony and 808 checked his body and said excitedly, Okay, seeing this scene, Kinyan also had a happy face. It's a success. Then I'll come. Seeing this scene, Wanda took the initiative to stand up. Time waits for no one, Kinyan didn't say much, just nodded silently. Give her anesthesia. Since the experiment has been successful, there is no need for Wanda to suffer this pain. Agent W. Don't worry, just sleep and awakening will be fine. On the side, Helen Zhao was holding a syringe, as if Trask was whispering in her ear, and the people watching felt a little weird. Kinyan rolled his eyes, even at this time they still have the mind to engage in such wicked things. However, when the dust settled, Kinyan's nerves also relaxed. However, sometimes, accidents always happen inadvertently. Just when Kinyan thought everything would be fine, the life monitoring device on Wanda's body began to sound the alarm quickly. Drip, drop, drop. Something is wrong. 808's expression changed, and he quickly began to operate on the screen. What's the situation? Kinyan also hurried forward and asked. Incompatible. How can it be incompatible? 808 dumbfounded. The genetic drug that can work perfectly on secret service, but it has a strong rejection reaction on Wanda. Is there a difference between men and women? It shouldn't be. 808 muttered to himself, kept looking at Wanda's data but didn't find the crux of the problem. Tony said thoughtfully, Agent W is a super ability man. Could it be the reason? Wang Mo's. Although Tony's level of biotechnology is limited, as a scientific research genius, after studying for a few days, his thinking is still very active. The most critical place was clicked almost instantly. Yes, 808 size lit up. It must be like this. Agent W is a super ability person with energy in her body. So there should be a mutation in her genes. If you compare people to computers, a genetic agent is a program of some sort. Ordinary people's system is XP, but Wanda is super ability. Her system may be Windows or Win 10. The old version of the program cannot be compatible with the new version of the system, so the current situation has occurred. Doesn't that mean that the gene locking potion has no effect on Wanda? Kinyan's expression turned ugly. If so, it will be troublesome. No. This is easy to solve. Just change the genetic code of 10 medicines according to Agent W's gene. It's like a programmer adapting a new system. Just, it takes time. How long? 3 hours. 808 states a deadline. However, at almost the same time, Kinyan received a message from the correspondent. Boss, the Herald protagonist has arrived. He has sent a communication invitation. Call to see Agent W. Herald Bishop, here we come. And the first thing I do when I come here is to meet Wanda. Dot, dot, dot. I'll think of a way to see if I can buy you three hours. This negotiation is the highest level of civilization that the men in black have to face. Even Kinyan has to prepare all the details, so as not to leak a single flaw. Good. Activate Agent W's backup first, and restore her physical condition. Let's readapt the genetic medicine. The last three hours, unsuccessful. Then Cheng Rin Hu. Chapter 98 Level Planet Behemoth appears. Battle Pioneers. Pioneer Bishop. Ares. Kinyan hasn't even seen himself, but he has already seen the huge. Starship in the sky? It's not right to say it's a starship, because this thing is a big dinosaur. Even Kinyan was shocked by the thing above his head. Seen from the moon base, it is juxtaposed with the Earth, almost half the file size of the Earth. It is covered with spikes and armor of unknown material. In terms of structure, in addition to the general image resembling a dinosaur, the body is densely covered with some holes. There is no doubt that these holes are the launch ports of some well-known weapon. This is their beast of Ares. If it is said that the powerful existence of the pioneers was only guessed before, now it is almost a fantasy that has come into reality. This thing, without a doubt, is the product of the non-peak of biology. To be able to transform a life to such a huge size, and to travel through countless light years with the body of a creature, this technique alone is far beyond the current understanding of human beings. How heavy is the Earth? 60 trillion billion tons. This thing, just from the look and feel, has half the file size of the Earth. Isn't it 30 trillion tons? A human is only one or two hundred catties, which is a few tenths of a ton. And the largest living thing known to man is the blue whale, 
which is 1 to 200 tons. Looking at this thing, it is not an order of magnitude at all. It has more than 700 eyes alone, and each eyeball must be at least 500,000 tons. Looking at the scanned data, Tony gasped even more. This is a living creature. The largest vehicles made by mankind, sea fortresses, and aircraft carriers. It is only tens of thousands of tons, and 100,000 tons is already the top among aircraft carriers. And the thing in front of me, the eyeballs alone are 500,000 tons, bigger than an aircraft carrier. It's hard to imagine how terrifying this monster is. Moreover, according to the surrounding gravitational force, although this thing is only half the size of the Earth, its mass is more than three times that of the Earth. Even the Earth and the Moon are starting to shift their orbits due to its gravity. At this moment, countless data are being continuously aggregated. The results obtained are astonishing. The density of this creature is very high. Heavier than the Earth, it just stays near the Earth and the strong gravitational force has a terrifying impact on the surroundings. At the moment, on the Earth, earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, almost many disasters that are rare in a century are being staged simultaneously. Even the moon base can feel the tremor 057 from under its feet from time to time. At this moment, there is no need to try. The fighting power of this giant beast has been fully demonstrated. He doesn't even have to do anything, just stay there, without any outside interference. Within a year, human civilization on earth will be destroyed. This is the bishop of the pioneer civilization. There are three more like this. Even Tony, who was usually full of arrogance, took a deep breath at this moment. Watching this scene in disbelief, it's hard to imagine, if this kind of thing appeared on their earth, how would they deal with it? Three? No, no, no. Three is just the pope of the bishop. Kenyan shook his head. There are not only three bishops in the pioneer civilization. Bishops are just a general designation of rank. There are only three popes in the three pioneer sects but the number of bishops is three digits. In other words, there are at least a few hundred bishops. Hundreds of Tony was at a loss for words. If this thing comes to the whole world, it will be finished. If hundreds of them come, what can stop it? This is a war beast thousands of times the mass of the earth. Just thinking about it makes my scalp tingle. Bishop Ares, let me welcome your lady queen. While they were still discussing, a small flat's war beast slowly flew over their heads. Then, a pioneer with a height of about 10 meters came out from the mouth of the beast. He spoke in a human voice with a cold face. For high-level civilizations, language is just a way of communication. They can even learn all the languages on the earth within a minute. This is just the simplest biotechnology method. The queen has something to do now. I will temporarily act as the queen's agent to handle the conversation with Ares. Kinyan looked at his body shape and clothing, and roughly analyzed the level of this person. It turned out to be a bishop level. It's just that the battle beast he's driving now shouldn't be his natal battle beast. It has to be said that Ares is very new to the Queen's reincarnation. This person should be the highest level pioneer except the Pope. Agent, just rely on you. How can a lowly race be worthy of the Queen's speech? However, what Kenyan didn't expect was that the other party's attitude was unusually strong. As soon as these words came out, the atmosphere on the field instantly became tense. The other party didn't show any face at all. He he, CBDH, Kenyan narrowed his eyes, it's a bit difficult to deal with. At this moment, two voices came from afar. My lord my lord. No. No, this is the queen. Taking a closer look, it turned out to be the two herdsmen that Kinyan and the others had come into contact with before. These are the two pioneers who have been responsible for grazing the earth all this time. After this period of time, they have already become acquainted with humans. They even arranged a lot of forces to help humans resume production. I have to say that knowing the mistakes can make a big difference. It is not unforgivable for the harm they have caused to the earth. After all, as the lowest level soldier, he just obeys orders. In diplomacy, there are no permanent enemies, only permanent interests. Shepard, are you the first lowly man to dare speak in my presence? However, facing his own race, the bishop was also very unfriendly, and his words were full of contempt. Even, in the next second, under everyone's gaze, he just glanced at the herder who was speaking. Moment, boom. The head of the herdsman exploded. Numerous liquids mixed with brains and minced meat spread out. Question mark he even killed his own people. Tony was also taken aback. He didn't expect these high-level pioneers to be so irritable. At this moment, everyone has a clear understanding of the level gap of the pioneers again. No wonder the Greys has changed their attitudes so quickly after guessing that Wanda was the reincarnation of the Queen. There is absolutely no such thing as human rights in this civilization. Did I let you kill me? However, facing such a violent scene, Kinyan snorted coldly. He knew that there was a high probability that this person was sent by Ares to show them off. Moreover, he has almost guessed Ares' thoughts. Regardless of whether the Queen's reincarnation is true or not, even if it is true, he still has to take the initiative. The so-called coercion of the Emperor to make the princes. Kinyan is very suspicious that Ares is not the fanatical believer that those herdsmen said at all. While he may indeed have fanaticism, 
Entitlement is likely to cloud something. You can't show weakness at this time. Otherwise, even if they start peaceful diplomacy, they can only be the pioneers forever. This is something Kinyan cannot tolerate. While speaking, Kinyan held his hand. I saw that the body of the grazing man that was exploded by the bishop began to dissipate into a group of particles instantly. Afterwards, they began to gather around Kinyan again. Minced meat, blood, and all kinds of strange things all disappeared, as if time was going backwards. Recondensed into the previous appearance, he, resurrected. This is the magical function of the quantum backup instrument. The resurrected herder was still a little confused. Subconsciously looked down at himself. I was just now seeing this scene. The bishop who was originally indifferent like a weapon killer was stunned for a moment. Even he can't understand such a method. As the top biotechnology civilization, they also have means of resurrection. But it is nothing more than the use of genes, flesh and blood, etc., which is more inclined to the way of life rules. But like in Yun, directly breaking up and reorganizing all the particles of the original body, even they can't do it. The bishop got serious. You dot 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 have earned the right to speak to me. My name is Ferno the seventh of the twelve bishops of the Alpha Temple. Surprisingly, Kinyan's tough act of resurrecting the shepherds has won the respect of Bishop Ferno. At this moment, Kinyan seems to understand the way to get along with the pioneer civilization. This biological civilization, maybe, just can't give them a good face. Thinking of this, Kinyan said, He he, you are just a bishop, and you are worthy to talk to me? Let Pope Perry's come and talk to me in person. Give him three hours. Her Majesty the Queen will wait here for an audience. We are queens. How can you take the initiative to meet a bishop? According to the identity logic of the pioneer, it should be Ares who came to see her in person. However, if Ares wants to come in person, he must disembark from the spaceship, that is, leave his war beast. As a person with such a high status, it may take a long time to think about it. After all, the higher the status of the person, the more concerned about their own safety. Three hours might not be enough. However, as long as you can delay it, it will be fine. When the genetic medicine that can be used by Wanda is completed, then everything will be no problem. However, what I didn't expect was that Ferno didn't seem to play his cards according to common sense. He actually got angry. I saw Ferno suddenly laughed when he heard Kin Yun's words. It's been millions of years, and no lower creature dares to talk to me like that. Even if you are the Queen's man, it won't work. What Kin Yun didn't expect was that Ferno didn't have the pattern of a diplomat at all, and he started acting like a rascal when he came up. As he spoke, he glared at Kinyan with the same eyes. Not good. Kinyan's heart trembled, because, he felt a powerful spiritual force suddenly appearing beside him. This is the method Ferno used to kill the herdsman just now. As the seventh protagonist of the Alpha Temple, a veteran pioneer bishop, Ferno has been a bishop for tens of millions of years, even longer than Ares. His mental power can almost be described as vast as the sea. Kinyan didn't have time to think about it, and immediately mobilized the power of his whole body, such as chaos magic power, supreme magic, and Linnean. Several kinds of forces integrated together to form a special structure that trapped Kinyan up. In an instant, Kinyan felt as if he had fallen to the bottom of the 10,000 meter seabed, and the ubiquitous pressure slanted from all directions. However, under the obstruction of these forces, Fernuo's spiritual attack was barely blocked. Huh? Ferno was taken aback. He didn't expect this lowly creature to resist his own mental oppression. This power, from Ferno's perspective, Kinyan also had a powerful spiritual power, and it is mixed with special attributes. In terms of level, it is even higher than the density of mental power that I have condensed for many years. It's just that the total amount is much different. Are you really a queen? The energy level is not high, but the density is astonishing. This reminds Phils of what the herdsman who was killed by him said before. There is only one possibility, according to the legend of the temple. The queen will get part of the power bestowed by the queen, and possess the authority of the queen. Know that I am queen, state. Kinyan also lost face, because his power is being consumed crazily. He can only tear off the queen's skin first. However, I originally thought that the identity of the queen might make Ferna feel a little more apprehensive, but what I didn't expect was, Kinyan found out that the other party suddenly increased his strength. He even directly interrupted Kinyan's words, so that Kinyan had to grit his teeth and use all his strength to resist Ferno's suppression. Looking at the murderous look in Ferno's eyes, Kinyan suddenly felt that he seemed to have misunderstood something. Queen, it doesn't seem to be his amulet, because the queen's consort is the queen. Well, maybe everyone wants to be the queen. After all, who wouldn't want access to the top of the line ability of the forerunner, Ferno, Ares, maybe one of the reasons why they are so anxious to meet the queen is to become the queen and get the blessings from their ancestors, good guy, Kinyan felt helpless, just when his brain was spinning wildly, thinking about how to break the game, a palm was placed on his shoulder, and after that, the pressure around him instantly lightened, ancient one, shot, Kinyan's heart relaxed, and he gave Tong a grateful look, ancient one, already at the level of the lord of latitudes, has the ability to confront the pioneer bishop head-on, even surpassing it. This is also one of Kinyan's current hole cards. Kinyan took a few deep breaths, 
then pointed to Ferno and said, If, your behavior represents the attitude of Ares, then, you will die, and Ares will never be forgiven by the queen. As I said, Kinyan's threat was very serious. Ferno also turned his attention to Ancient One. The sudden appearance of this lower creature made him feel threatened. This is the biological instinct, the feedback for the strong. Kinyan was driving the magic and the city delivered the message, Agent G. It seems that we have to do a battle. I don't know how the battle will turn out, but it is necessary to limit the battlefield. No matter what whole cards this Ferno has, Ares war beasts are a threat if they stop near the earth. Dot, 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 we need a venue that will not be disturbed. Kinyan understood that Ares might not have come with good intentions. So dot, 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 maybe punch first, and when you punch, ask questions later. The so called hit one punch to avoid a hundred punches. I'll try my best. Ancient One understood what Kinyan meant. He was talking about mirror space, the mirrored space that encloses Ares war beasts. This thing is too big. Before this, Tong Yi opened such a huge mirror space from the bed. However, she is not what she used to be now. Maybe she can give it a try? Do it. Chapter 99 Potion Completed Strong Interview with Ares Originally, Kinyan wanted to use the art of language to deal with the pioneers. After 808 has finished adapting the gene-locking potion to wander, everything will be fine. However, Kinyan overlooked the most important point. Weak country, no diplomacy. The Queen of the Pioneers, as an almost godlike legend in the civilization and culture of the pioneers, is portrayed deep in the genes of every pioneer. Undoubtedly the one at the top of the pyramids received admiration. There are countless legends about her, but, as a biological civilization, the individual ability is used as the level, and the evolutionary level is used as the way to rise. Is the so-called queen really just a title? To be able to lead a race with a clear hierarchy like the pioneers, the queen originally must not be a weak person. Even the reincarnated queen must be able to show strong strength to be convincing. Ares was able to run over immediately after hearing the news from thousands of miles away, which shows that he attaches great importance to it. However, after he descended, he didn't show up at the first time dot 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 but sent another bishop. This is the temptation. He needs to know what state the current queen is in, and what ability card she has in her hand. If he is too weak, Ares will definitely take advantage of the vacancy dot 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 to force the emperor to make the princes. And, if the queen is as powerful as the legends say, it's the one who leads the herald. Ares can also completely say that these are all Ferno's personal intentions, and he completely shirked the responsibility, and then continued to be his fanatic. So. When Ferno acted so strong and didn't give any face, Kinyan understood that this fight had to be fought. At the moment, both sides are actually acting. Kinyan wants to procrastinate, Alpha Temple wants to test. This is Ancient One's first shot after becoming the Lord of Latitudes. An invisible fluctuation instantly spread to a radius of tens of thousands of kilometers, until, the war beasts of Ares were wrapped in it. Everything around changed instantly. Ferno is very sensitive, and he perceives something different almost instantly. Space dot 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 fluctuates. Not just simple spatial fluctuations. Mirrored space, as Ancient One's forte, is a spell produced after the magician's ultimate understanding of space. A similar mirror space can be reproduced in the current space environment, completely isolating the objects in the space from the outside world. After Ancient One became the master of latitude, the understanding of space has been raised to another level. The scope of this mirror space is far larger than imagined. Even war beasts that had reached the size of the level planet were not accidentally dragged in. Who are you? Ferno saw that the Earth and the Moon had disappeared from his eyes. Understand that all of this is done by Ancient One. Those who can do this are definitely not ordinary low-life beings. She is one of the Queen's Knights. Kinyan understands that this hand of mirror space can be regarded as bluffing the other party. The Queen's Knight? Ferno wanted to say something else. But he saw behind Kinyan and Ancient One, a circular portal exuding golden light suddenly appeared. As a punishment for offending the Queen, let's feel the Queen's wrath. Saying that, I saw Kinyan and Ancient One just in front of them. Went into the portal and disappeared. Question mark. Ferna was dumbfounded. What's the situation? After leaving the mirror space, Kinyan gave the order with almost no hesitation. Come here, bring me all the things that can explode in the base. Nuclear warhead? Nuclear bombs are fine, they are too low end. How many antimatter bombs are there? The inventory in the base is not much, but there should be a lot of Tresolerans. Bring it. Kinyan's plan is not complicated. Mirror space is just the first step. He was not prepared to confront Ares beasts head on at all. Level planets other combat power is definitely more terrifying than imagined. However, it will be different if you close the door and beat the ferocious wild dogs. That is to say, in a minute or two, through the dimension gate, soon, the Secret Service sent the antimatter bomb supported by the Tresolerans. Antimatter is a very terrifying matter which is different from the normal state of matter in the normal universe. It is the mirror image of normal matter. A normal atom consists of a positively charged nucleus surrounded by negatively charged electrons. However, antimatter is made of the exact opposite, having positively charged electrons and negatively charged atomic nuclei. It looks like nothing, but once antimatter and positive matter come into contact, a terrifying chain reaction will erupt, annihilating everything. Moreover, 
This process is a geometric multiple, not the addition and subtraction of negative and negative. Under normal circumstances, only 6 grams of antimatter is needed to completely destroy an Earth. With this characteristic, the preparation of antimatter is also very complicated, and it needs to consume a lot of energy and basic positive matter to obtain it. Trisolaran's battleship engine energy system is the antimatter reactor used. The entire Trisolaran civilization now only has less than 500 grams of antimatter, and Kenyan borrowed half of it this time. That is 250 grams. Can the mirror space withstand the explosion of this thing? Looking at the metal box in front of him, Kenyan knew that if one of them didn't control this thing well, they would all have to finish playing. 6 grams of antimatter is enough to destroy the Earth, and this 250 grams is enough to blow up the Earth for an unknown number of rounds. Don't worry. The mirror space is a space law, there is no entity, and it will not affect the outside world even under a powerful attack. Ancient One is very confident in the mirror space. That's good. Open the door and give them a big gift first. Almost in the blink of an eye, the metal box in front of him disappeared. Sent it in? Did it explode? How's the situation? Kinyan asked impatiently. Ancient One closed his eyes, then shook his head. It exploded, but the war beast is still there. Hearing this result, the Secret Service around seemed a little disappointed. In their imagination, so many antimatter bombs are enough to destroy everything. Kinyan was not surprised. After all, it is a sixth level civilization. It is really unrealistic to destroy their top combat power with just one blow. Go on, take the nuclear bomb. What kind of particle bomb? Gravity bomb. Today, our goal is to clean up the organization's ammunition depot. The most powerful bomb had no effect, and Kinyan also failed. It just so happens that the men in black are upgrading their technology and the old guys in the arsenal who are about to be eliminated are still useless to occupy space. Just use it all at once. Soon, a long queue began to form at the gate of the dimension. Countless vehicles transporting materials kept moving towards here with items. What old missiles of the 21st century level, high-yield nuclear bombs, and even the coalition government also ship things from their own arsenal. Even low-end weapons such as grenades and mines are not wasted. Ancient One, as the controller of the mirror space, began to act as a porter and detonator. Continuously transfer the piles of weapons into the mirror space to detonate. I don't know, I thought there was some kind of arms trade going on here. Trisolaran is still the big head of this arms deal. They also have a lot of explosive weapons. For a moment, the originally depressing atmosphere even became a little joyful. Do you think these things are really useful? I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about whether it is useful or not. Explosion is art. Kinyan looked at the time, and before he knew it, Two hours had passed. Low-end weapons have been bombing for so long, should they relax their vigilance? Kinyan knew that there was a high probability that these things would not cause any harm to Ares beasts. But, there is one thing to say, after facing these garbage attacks for a long time, they should relax their vigilance. So dot 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 it's time for another big one, too. Thinking of this, Kinyan took out the small pistol that he had been eating for a long time. Agent G, open your mouth, I'll take two shots. Ancient One didn't think too much thinking that Kinyan just wanted to shoot for fun. Then he opened a teleportation door the thickness of an arm, linking to the mirror space. Kinyan adjusted the power of the small pistol to the maximum, and then aimed at the space door, pulling the class without any hesitation. A powerful stream of particles shot out from the gun barrel in an instant. The strong light spot makes people unable to see the opposite scene at all. But Kinyan didn't care either. The most important thing about beating a dog behind closed doors is that no matter whether the beating will kill you or not, just beat it all at once. However, what is surprising is that before Kinyan was launched, his complexion changed. Not good. Dot 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 they're coming out. Just as they were talking, all of a sudden, everyone noticed that the void seemed to be cracked open. It's like there is an invisible mirror in the void, starting from a certain place, cracking inch by inch. Then, it seemed that some boundary was broken. The huge war beast appeared before their eyes again. What's the situation? Doesn't it mean that the mirror space will not be affected by the attack? Kinyan quickly put away the small pistol. Watching all this with a serious face. It wasn't the attack dot 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 it was them. It was also the first time that Ancient One encountered an enemy who could break through the mirror space by himself, and his face was a bit ugly. All prepare for battle. The strength of the pioneers still exceeded Kinyan's expectations. As expected of an old sixth level civilization, even the mirror space can't really trap them. In just over two hours, I found a way to break it open. It's just that, at a glance, it's not that the war beast didn't suffer losses from the closing door and beating the dog just now. Brokenness can be seen in many places. If it is compared to a person, it probably looks like it has been cut twice. Dot 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 ask for flowers. It's not serious, but it's broken. This is good news for Kinyan. Whether it is the antimatter defense or the small pistol, it means that at least it is not indestructible. As long as the gap does not reach a certain limit, there is still drama. Kinyan has already opened the system mall, 
ready to use balance to buy something good. Microcosmic force field disintegrator, analyze the composition of matter and energy bodies, disintegrate and explode the force at their connection points. Price, 30,000 points. The principle of this thing is not a bomb. However, he is much easier to use than bombs. It can disintegrate all energy barriers and material barriers in terms of composition and destroy stress. Just like materials with a strong interaction force, they also use strong interaction force to firmly lock the connection between substances. The gap makes it resistant to almost all damage. But in front of this disassembler, these structures will be destroyed and completely destroyed. However, its price is also very impressive. 30,000 points. It's still a one-off for the current Kinyun. It is also a luxury, the kind that is gone after one use. However, Kinyun gritted his teeth and bought it. However, just when Kinyun had just placed an order and was about to launch it immediately. However, it was discovered that dense black spots had come down from the war beast, and there was a communication request for a truce. The speed of the black dot is very fast, and they only took tens of seconds for a distance of tens of thousands of kilometers. I am Ares, here to meet Her Majesty the Queen. At the head of the team is a pioneer who looks very short. Definitely, the shortness is only compared with other pioneers. His height is about 1.8 meters, like the height of an ordinary human being. It was Ares himself. However, compared to his identity as the bishop and pope, this figure is a bit strange. Aren't pioneers stronger the taller they are? The ferner just now is more than 10 meters tall. Could it be that after becoming a bishop, he began to return to basics? However, the arrival of Ares himself made Kinyan heave a sigh of relief. This means that Ares should have made a decision to negotiate peacefully. Kinyan bet right. See you as soon as you say? What about that bishop named Ferner just now? Ask him to come out and apologize first. Kinyan still maintained his strength. He understands that at this time, he cannot be soft. Dot 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 bishop Ferner dot 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 was killed by an antimatter bomb. Ares's clothes are extraordinary, but he speaks like a young man. Facing Kinyan's questioning, he said helplessly. He didn't react the moment the mirror image space appeared. Even Ferno was still looking for the traces of Kinyun and the others. Dot 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 unexpectedly, an antimatter bomb appeared in the next second. For Beast, perhaps the bomb is not fatal. But for Ferno in the nude outfit, 250 grams of antimatter, even if he is a bishop level figure, it is simply not something he can handle. The majestic seventh bishop of the Alpha Temple didn't even show his war beast, just hating the Northwest. I have to say, this death is not worth it. Ares is still a little uncomfortable, because. Kinyun's actions, to be honest, are a little too disgusting. In the beginning, face the attack of antimatter bombs. Aside from beating them by surprise and causing the beast to receive some insignificant injuries at first, Ares didn't think it was very bad, but he died an accidental ferno. After all, they are already at the sixth level of civilization, and they are driving their own war beasts. Ares doesn't think this kind of low-end attack can defeat his war beasts, but, with the increase of attack methods, Ares really wants to vomit because those weapons are too weird. From the age of gunpowder, to the age of particles, to the force field. It's a total hodgepodge, throwing out trash. It's like you're driving a top-of-the-line Lamborghini and racing someone else on a bike, occasionally a motorcycle, or Wuling Hongguang. Throwing bananas on the ground while running, throwing poop on your car. Although it can't do much damage, the nausea is really disgusting. Then, after two hours of devastation, why does Ares still appear here in person? Because, its battle beast once again broke the defense. Moreover, what made it break the defense this time was an attack from the particle stream of the blue giant star. This attack made his whole body excited, because I once said that the pioneer civilization is stuck at level 6 to level 7, which is the point from medium level civilization to high level civilization. It is the combat power of level fixed star. The reason why the queen has a high status is because dot 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 the pioneer queen is an existence that can control level fixed star beasts. Level planet beasts grow by devouring planets, and level fixed star dot 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 by devouring fixed star. All the keys are chained together, and everything is obvious. Chapter 100 System Rewards Icarus Mecha Queen really has the power to control fixed star. This conclusion instantly changed Ares' thinking. He has no intention of continuing to test at all. For the first time, he chose to appear in front of Kinyan and the others. Ferno is dead. After his antimatter is wiped out, he won't even have the chance to reorganize. The meaning of Ares is obvious. Ferno may have provoked Kinyan and the others before, but now, Fernuo is also dead. What he did before hopes to make a fortune. However, Kinyan knew that Ares must have benefited from Ferno's original attitude. At this time, Kinyan had two choices. First, pretend that nothing happened. Ferno died, and everything disappeared. Second, keep going. Kinyan chose the second option, because, he knew that at this critical moment, if he continued to be strong, he might be able to bluff them. Dead? Ferno was accepted by you, right? What he did, what do you mean by the plenipotentiary? In other words, can I understand that you want to give the queen a blow? Ares also didn't expect that Kinyan would be able to bring this matter to light. Not even the idea of saving face at all. 
he hadn't encountered this kind of situation for many years. But after all, it is an old fried dough stick that has lived for millions of years. Ares said without changing his face, 360 Fernuo is not very obedient. When we first came, some malfunctions occurred in the war beast, I was still dealing with it, and Fernuo came down by himself fits. Beast malfunctioned? Kinyan subconsciously glanced at the huge monster tens of thousands of kilometers away. The most ridiculous thing is that at this time, it trembled in a very cooperative manner, and even raised its head and let out an inaudible whine. Guys, is this the beginning of the show? As the Pope's car, one of the top beasts of the pioneer civilization, how could it break down at such a time? A malfunction. Can you still break through the mirror space? Kinyan rolled his eyes and said, Mirror space? You mean the space bubble that trapped us before? Space bubble? Is the essence of mirror space a space bubble? Kinyan was thoughtful and advanced civilizations seem to have very clear explanations for certain phenomena. This matter, while speaking, Ares' mental power suddenly began to shrink, and it became a voice that only Kinyan could hear. This is my secret. The space bubble was opened by myself. One of my night races is a creature that lives on a white dwarf. His genes gave me space. Dot. According to Ares, this is a very magical star race. They are also a special biological civilization. Once, because of a problem with the spacecraft, they were captured by a white dwarf and could not escape. So this civilization survived on the white dwarf. I don't know how many billions of years of evolution have allowed them to evolve into an indigenous race of white dwarfs. White dwarfs are dense planets with very strong gravitational pull. The previous life was a type of fixed star. As a massive celestial body, fixed star has countless hydrogen fusion reactions inside it and emits a lot of light and heat. This process of fusion and heat release is also a process of resisting the gravitational force of matter, allowing the fixed star to increase in size without collapsing. The white dwarf is a compact celestial body formed after the fusion reaction of the fixed star is over, unable to compete with its own material gravity, and finally the materials gather together. Its material density is extremely high. Even the gravity of the ground alone is more than 10 million to 1 billion times that of the Earth. It is almost impossible for life to be born naturally. If human beings reach a white dwarf, they will be crushed into a mass of matter smaller than a sesame seed in an instant. And this unlucky form of white dwarf civilization can evolve to the ability to survive in hundreds of millions of times of gravity. It can only be said to be very terrifying. And by integrating such a gene, Ares strength can be seen at the tip of the iceberg. Knights are some special races chosen when the high forerunners evolved. Advanced pioneers will integrate the knight gene into their bodies to evolve some more powerful abilities. Ares, as the Pope of the Temple of Alpha, sat in this position at the age of a hundred hail, it is said that it is because of a powerful knight ability. And these three abilities have always been secrets. Unexpectedly, Ares actually spoke out on his own initiative. Kinyan squinted his eyes, wondering if Ares was sincere. Or continue to act. If this ability is made public by Ares, that's fine. If it's one of the abilities he's been hiding, then Ares' attitude may be worth considering. This ability, apart from me, no one else knows. As if seeing what Kinyan was thinking, Ares said proactively, I am extremely loyal to the Queen. The Alpha Temple is always surrounded by the Queen. I, as the Pope of the Alpha Temple, represent all the pioneers, and express my supreme respect to the Queen. Ares turned into a fanatic at this moment, a loyal and unyielding look. So, Queen, please let me meet her Lady Queen and show my loyalty. When Kinyan heard this, his eyes narrowed. Really, Ares said so much, just want to see the so-called Queen now. However, Kinyan looked at the time. Wanda's genetic modification should not be completed yet. The reason why Kinyan dared to appear in front of the pioneers was because he originally possessed the genetic ability of the pioneers. Ares and the others did not show any surprises. The identity of the queen will not arouse suspicion. As a high-level biological civilization, some genes are expressed in front of them, and perhaps the problem can be seen at a glance. So, now, Wanda is absolutely not allowed to play. The queen is resting. You drive the war beasts away first and wait for the reception. Kinyan needs to wait for a while. Let 808 do his work. Wait. Hearing this, I didn't expect Ares, who has always had a good attitude, to become stronger. We have traveled tens of millions of light years, and we are not here to wait. As the queen's most loyal warrior, our Alpha Temple must ensure the safety of the heroine. 200 million years. We've been waiting for 200 million years. Ares looked very excited. For 200 million years, we have no faith, we have stagnated, and we have lost everything. And the queen came again. Every minute. For us, is time that cannot be lost. Queen, why do you want us to meet the hostess? We respect the queen's choice. You are the queen, but if you threaten the queen's safety, then someone will take your place. At this moment, Kinyan only felt that Ares' mental power became violent, and he seems to reveal his meaning from the language. Sure enough, Ares is here for the queen's position. All the temptations and actions he did before were just for this purpose. In fact, the moment he saw Kinyan, he knew that the queen was real because the genetic expression on Kinyan is the most essential ability of a pioneer, coupled with the pure energy he possessed. 
leaving Ares without the slightest doubt, Qin Yun became the queen. However, a certain thought occupied his brain even faster. Queen, it's not just a title, it's an expression of power. Can get the queen's gift and control a more powerful force. Ares is already a bishop, controlling top level war beasts and various special abilities. If you go one step further, you can only rely on the queen. To obtain part of the queen's power, he will completely become the most powerful pope among the three temples. The atmosphere instantly became tense. Qin Yun also found that his so called queen status seemed a bit embarrassing. It seems that even with the identity of the fake queen, the pioneers were deceived. Inside the pioneers, there will still be countless people who want to replace themselves and become queens. What's the matter? Just when Qin Yun was still thinking about how to solve the problem, suddenly, a powerful red energy spread from behind covering every inch of the surrounding space. This is. Kinyan and Ares turned their eyes to a certain direction almost at the same time. All I saw was a figure, carrying a storm of red power, sweeping towards them. It is Wanda. Jean Medicine, a success. Kinyan glanced at the time, it was even half an hour earlier than expected. He is the man I chose, it's not your turn to question him. Wanda, speaking, is the domineering queen fan. What he said made Kinyan a little embarrassed. For some reason, he remembered the surprised look on Wanda's face when he was with Bei Yui the day after undergoing the transformation of the gene locking potion. Wanda's origin magic power development rate has increased significantly. If Wanda could only control about 5% of chaos power before, now it must be at least 20% or more. The development of origin magic power is not superimposed addition and subtraction, but geometric multiplication. From 5 to 20, it seems that it has only increased by 4 times, but the combat power has at least increased by more than a hundred times. Just looking at the power covering the audience, one can imagine how strong Wang De is at the moment. Even Qin Yun had to use extra strength to stabilize himself and continued to float in the air. Ares also felt this huge power, his face was dull, and he muttered to himself, Queen, it's really a queen. The red pure power with attributes almost fits all the descriptions of the queen in the legends of the pioneer civilization. Even the genetic information 1.21 wonder reveals a fresh smell. This must be the vitality brought by the queen's new life. What he didn't know was that it was because time was too tight and a small part of the gene-locking potion was still in effect after it had not been completely modified. Welcome to the return of the queen. At this moment, above the void, all the pioneers knelt down at the same time. You can even see the fanaticism in their eyes. No one knows how important the queen is to the pioneers. This is a 200 million years of waiting, 200 million years of hope. At this moment, the legend shines into reality. It was also the first time for Wanda to experience such a scene, and she almost showed her timidity. Subconsciously glanced at Kin Yun only to see Qin Yun showing an encouraging look. Wanda held her breath and tried her best to perform. I heard that someone wants to change the queen for me. Hearing this, I felt that I almost didn't laugh out loud, but I still held back. Ahem. Qin Yun also coughed. The atmosphere, from the original tension, suddenly seemed to loosen up. Seeing the attitudes of those pioneers, Qin Yun knew that everything was different. At this moment, the system's notification sounded. Drip and the pioneers' diplomatic mission completed. Reward. Light Industrial Mecca. Icarus. Daily missions have been refreshed. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.